Hello everybody and welcome to a very special episode of Modded Gungeon. This is of course episode 100. Um, we've been waiting for this one for a little while and of course... Yes. Marathon! Never Named is here with me. We're doing something kind of crazy that I haven't really done before on the channel. Um, on any game really. We're going to play every single base game character in a row in one video to the dragon. Every single one of them. Um, and it's going to take us probably about six hours. So we are going to be here for quite some time. Um, yes, we've, also, we've set aside the time. We're we, ready. We, we will say, if a character dies, that's it. They're dead. They're gone. Next character. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to try my best to not get characters killed. Um, uh, it's like a... Ooh, it's a nuz. Fuck. <laughs> Um, it's one of them Pokemon things. Yes. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Do you see what I am? I just got. Yeah, the good one. Oh, Accelerant. You just changed Accelerant, didn't you? No. Wait, did you not? I didn't. Fuck you on about. Oh, it's I changed not this one. No, trace, no, no, no. I changed okay, Tracer yeah. round. They just have a similar sprite. I apologize. They absolutely do not. They've got, the little are whiff, you on? they've got the little whiffy bit on top. The little so, whiff. So they the both have a bit of a bit of smoke, which means same sprite. Yes, exactly. I get By the to bully him for a whole uh, six hours. This is amazing. It's, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite something. But the, that crown that I just got, um, I'm pretty sure that lowers our damage, but it means that we can never not get a flawless. Yeah, it lowers damage against bosses in in particular. Yeah, is it, is it is it not just damage overall? Is it only boss damage? It's only boss damage. Okay, nice. Okay, so pretty good stuff. Um, means that this this we shouldn't die as this character. Triples the damage dealt to enemies by fire. That's pretty good as well. I don't know how much use we'll get out of that. We also of course start with an extra key here. I don't know if I should use that dude every single time, but I kind of want to. The little machine. It's really powerful if you can cheap. find. Uh, it's really powerful if you can find a uh, fire weapon. Yeah, I can imagine even fossilized gun is amazing with it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I like it. I like it. Oh, but yeah, this is just going to be basically like a, a podcast with just an, an inordinate amount of gungeon in the background. Um, and Isn't that what it is every time? I mean, it is that every time, but this is it's more so that, that this time because there's just so much of it. There's just an un ungodly amount of it. I'm excited. Yeah, we're going to hate each other by the time this is we done. Are. I, I, I do have to say, I have woken up particularly early and never named has stayed up particularly late or like gotten up particularly late for this. So, I don't know about him, but I'm definitely a bit tired than I would normally be, so... I'm hoping that basically as well, the recording see, goes on, I'll wake thing, up right? more. I... He, I have to make sacrifices to record with you. Which I do. Indeed. Because you're the one with the real life. I'm just <laughs> uh, a, a freak. Um, so, I, res I tend to respect your schedule more. But, like... If it's, if it's between me staying up till 6am or making him get up three hours early on a weekend, uh, <laughs> no, he's getting up early. Yeah. Well, we, we did discuss him staying up even later, but um, we decided against that, mainly because I, I've been told by Katie that I need to go shopping with her. Um, so I'm, I'm still gonna have to do that, but we can uh, now we can just take a pause like yeah. midway through, and I can go and do some shopping and get some food, um, it, rather than we've starting made, three hours later we've, than we've would made otherwise. Arrangements. We've we have, come to an agreement. We have, we have. I'm hoping we see some wacky shit throughout the course of these uh, these runs. Oh, we will. I'm Depends wondering how much we'll break this, the game. I, I, I have to say, I have to say, I've uninstalled a good few mods to, for this to try and improve stability, mainly custom character mod. The game is running way, way better. Like, night and day better. It's not had a single FPS hitch once so far. 
Oh, that's a relief because it's hitching all the time on the the screen share. So oh, I was yeah. having major no, no, anxiety. No, 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 no. For, but that's like, just the screen share. It's just the screen share. Like, literally, it has not hitched a single time for me. And by now, I'd normally hitch at least seven or eight times. Um, heart padlock. What does that do? Heals you in exchange for keys. Okay. Not very good, but if you have a lot of keys and not a lot of health, it's fine. What does this do? <laughs> uh, specifically buffs the damage of arrow wi ar arrow guns. Okay, so, so like that's not... Bows, crossbows. It's not super good now, but could be good later if I buy it. Yeah, it could be good if you get like a, a crossbow weapon. Anything that fires an arrow or a bolt or whatever. Yeah. Or so if I was the, hun the, if I was the hunter, it would have been really good. Yeah. Damn. But yeah, we, we decided to just do vanilla characters this time around, just because of the sheer amount of characters that already is. We thought adding modded character onto that would be a little bit uh, devastating just for vanilla our vanilla characters morale. and vanilla floors to keep our sanity. Yeah. Because we don't want to be here all, all week. Just half the week. Black Stabber. Oh my god, is that a JoJo reference? Oh, what the hell? I think you reload. Ah, I see, yeah. yeah. I thought it had done that thing where it glitches out the projectiles for a hot minute. I'm like, oh no, already? <laughs> no, I, I just remember this gun from when it was originally shown off. The Prayer Amulet. Adds a shrine. Oh, that's amazing. Fucking love that. Is that one of yours? No, no, I wish. That's a really cool one. I love I, shrine I think ring. that's Bunny. I think that's Bunny. So charge up, do the thing, and then reload to launch them all. No. <laughs> Who needs to launch them all when he can just walk into them? I don't... Were they doing damage when stationary? I don't know. It looks like they don't actually do damage until you launch them. To that's prevent actually, you from cheesing it. I that's actually a good way of doing it, yeah. Because his health bar wasn't going down when he was walking over them. I wasn't paying attention, I'll be honest. Well, yeah, you shouldn't really, because you're in a boss fight, but I have the liberty of... I don't know why I'm trying wow. so hard to not get hit. It literally doesn't matter, but oh well. Health. <clears throat> also, that crown actually might be really good with Bunny's secret shop. Oh shit, yeah. Because you're going to get a master around every floor, so you can always buy something. Basically, there's only two things I'm willing to take from this, and one of them is right there. Oh, you should live a little. Ah, I Come don't on, like how, often, how often are you going to do a map? <laughs> Neither, but I have to, so... I was going to say, the only two things I wanted to take were the all stats up and the companion uh, contracted killer buddy. The others are a bit too wacky for my taste, slash I don't know how to use them correctly. Um, and you're never gonna if you don't learn. I can't remember what Void Chess does. I think Void Chess sucks up pickups and eventually gives a payout. Okay then, um, and I might as well do this to get a pickup. I'm guessing this counts as a pickup. Boom. Why not? Um, You've already crossed the, uh, the threshold of it being really able to wants the, me. To, it really wants uh, me to know that this is once more into the breach item. Really wants me to know. <laughs> so much so that it oh, overlaps yeah. over itself. Look at that. What the hell? That's strange. Did you know that this item is from Once More Into the Breach? Apparently it is. Right. Let's get going to the next floor. Uh, I have recently finished the game Hypnospace Outlaw. I have recently learned about the game Hypnospace Outlaw. Right, so it was right now. I don't know what that game is. Uh, basically... It's a game about searching the internet. For... The, the premise is that you're on this fictionalized version of the late 90s internet. And you have to browse it to find secrets and illegal content to report and such. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so you're going through pages, solving puzzles, like, 
there's an uh, an in-game currency, quote unquote. It's not like a real. It's in the game. You earn it by uh, reporting content, and you use it on web pages to to buy programs like new desktop backgrounds and shit. <laughs> That's uh, so good. But just like the real internet, if there's a system, there'll be a page somewhere that teaches you to exploit it. So if you know what you're looking for, you can find programs on this fictional internet that let you hack this currency system and get infinite money. <laughs> and stuff like that. That's really cool. Oh shit, got to open that. Ooh. It's the this exact... is an oddments. I gotta say, it's the exact same item from, um, from Isaac. I don't, I'm guessing it doesn't do the same thing. But uh, gives great strength at the cost of increasing the potency of any character related effects. Pretty cool. Also, it said that it would prevent the Lord of the Jammed. Oh, very nice. So, I guess you just get more curse from things, but the Lord of the Jammed can't show up. I mean, that seems like a complete win-win to me. Uh, that's probably why it's in a red chest. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, I hate that attack. Oh, uh, mini boss health bars is working. Yes, it is. I didn't make this mod, but I, I ported okay. it. Don't, on behalf of... Don't swap away when you've got swords in the air, otherwise they won't... When we reload, they won't disappear. Good to know. I, I didn't make the miniboss health bars mod, but I did port it to Bepinex because the person who made it, uh, Golden Revolver, has moved on. Um, They're not dead, they've just moved I on. Just to say, you might want to rephrase that, buddy. <laughs> I knew, I knew exactly what on. you meant. They're, they've passed on to another life, which is not this. They all spawned on top of you. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Why just suck them up? Ah, what the fuck? What happened then? Oh, I killed it and it dropped a slime. Fuck you. I was really confused for a moment there. Yeah, you tend to get confused a lot. Oh yeah, very like easily. An old man. Very easily. <laughs> do you know? Yeah, uh, it... Do you know that recent fucking uh, Jacob and Ezel video that you hated watching? Yes. I had someone message me on Discord saying like, Hey, I really hated watching that. Here's some mods that'll help you. <laughs> you suck so badly at- Oh, chest is open. The well rod. This uh, gun used to be sucked. insanely overpowered. It's been nerfed a little bit, but it's still okay. Uh... You suck at playing Jacob and Esau. I fucking hate those characters, that's why. They're just dog I'm, shit. They're just I'm the gonna worst be honest, designed you, pieces of shit. You are the worst at playing them, and that's well, why you can't play mm, them right. No, 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 you don't no, no, have no. fun because you suck. No, 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 no. I'm not that, ashamed to say it. You actually suck at playing those characters. That time because if you in play particular, them right, they're amazing. That time in particular, I especially sucked because I hadn't played them in so long, like a ridiculous amount of time. And when I was doing my dead fucking, goals, they, they, they were fine. That whole fucking video, you were like, oh, why, why do they have, why does he have flight? Oh, I hate that he has flight. When you picked up the fucking flight item, I oh. wanted to strangle you. Of oh, course. the consequences of my own actions. No, that's not the point I was trying to make. The point <laughs> is, why the fuck don't they both get flight? It's the stupidest fucking thing in the world. And I thought I had a mod on that made it so they, get, they both get flight when one of them does, and apparently I disabled that mod at some point. I'm very annoyed at myself, because the also, fact that uh, only one can get flight is just stupid, in my opinion. Also, uh, you had flight and you were still blowing up rocks to get pickups. Yeah. That, no comment, just, yeah, yeah, yeah I just, did. Just, that's true, yeah. that's true. Yeah, I, I did, motherfucker, so what? I, I had flight and I blew up the rocks to get to the stuff behind them. Ugh. Fate me. Trine room, every floor. Here's the worst trine. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's get up here. I don't know why I always roll over that when you can just turn around. Your talents for causing me pain are, are great. I, there is, there is a very good reason why I thought that it was a painful run uh, in the title, because I knew that people watching that were going to fucking hate themselves for watching it. Well, I, don't, I hated you for it. No, but I mean, you hated yourself for the decision of deciding to watch it. Well, uh, see, I, I love Jacob and Easter. They're great characters, and I enjoy playing them. Uh, 
And I hated you for being uh, stinky brain. They're the worst version of playing two characters at once, in my opinion. <laughs> Some of these days we're gonna have. One of these days we're gonna have to do like a co-commentary Isaac thing, where I just teach you how to play that fucking character. <laughs> Maybe. Why would I do that? Stupid. Um. Oh, I can't even get the health out now. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I wanted the health I'm to so suck proud. up, and I can't have it. Hello, good sir. If, if you play them right, Jacob and Esau are immensely powerful because they are double DPS. But you just gotta... One thing that really annoys me is when people play Jacob and Esau, and they're like, Oh, is such a dead weight. Oh, he it's is. like, motherfucker. Give him any items. What did you expect? No, you put all your items on one character and none on the other. That's how you play them. No, it isn't. It is. It it genuinely isn't. It is. Basically, if, if you, you play like that, if you decide to put any items on your other character, really, you're just ruining the chance of potential synergies later, because then the items don't synergize with each other. So you might as well just put them all on one character and actually have fun. That's. Oh my god, that's why you lose. That's I'm directly telling you how I how I play Jacob and Esau and have fun with the character and enjoy them and think they're really powerful. And you're like, mm. no, I think I prefer the to the way I play them, which is the way I hate. Yes, I'm just basically making it as apparent and obvious as possible that no matter what you tell me, I'm not going to like the characters because they're terrible and need to be oh, you're deleted a from the game. I hate it. I hate, you so much. I hate that character so much. They're just the worst. They should be designed differently because the way they're designed is bad. Oh. You're you are directly saying that you play them wrong and yep. you don't like the. I play, play them, them wrong right. because they can't be played right. They can be. You just refuse to. Playing them right is. I'm, one I'm fun. trying to tell. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you right now how to play them. Also, this oh, is good. Oh, Esau has less... He'll fucking um, destroys things. Jacob has less damage. Esau has less fire rate. Jacob gets the damage upgrades. Esau gets the fire rate upgrades. Esau gets the health upgrades. Esau, uh, Jacob gets the range upgrades. No, but, like, uh, I don't... give the character oh, stats it... and items that complement them. No, but, like, the... The DPS output doesn't make any difference if you give it to both characters rather than giving it all to one. Really? Like... The only time that that's true is if the if, if one of them's already at fire rate cap. Otherwise, just give them all to one and you have the exact or, same DPS. Or Luke, or or if they get separated by accident, which is way too easy to do because the characters are bullshit. Oh my fucking god! That's like your biggest gripe, and I'm telling you how to make it slightly easier to manage. And you're like, hmm, uh, no, no. What's this? Actually, Seth, I would prefer if I would prefer uh, to hate them. Stop giving me dog shit, bitch. So this looks like a planet side gun. It's not. Oh no, I think this is knife to a gunfight. Yeah, Spark. That's... I think this is based on my lightning code. <gasps> oh, it is. Oh, that's cool. It has a, has a very version of the lightning code. It's a very, very odd sound for the type of gun that it is, but I will take it. I think it's based on a slightly outdated version of the lightning code, but it, it will still work. It recently, didn't you? Yeah, I made it slightly less buggy, so you may still get a few visual bugs with the lightning, but nothing too bad, because cool, most like of what it. I changed was just visual. Yeah, I'm I really, like it. really happy that uh, Ski. Really happy that Ski wanted to change this stuff. Oh, why? I just wanted to see what it looked like with this. Oh, it's nowhere near as cool as I thought it'd be. Yeah, that was a bust. I was really hoping it would look really cool with the lightning, and it didn't. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not taking that. I just wanted to buy it to see what it looked like. I, I was hoping it would, like, spiral the lightning around me and make, like, a little weird lightning spiral, but it just kind of fired it into the wall. 
there are kind of issues with trying to make lightning do that. Uh, because of the way I coded it, it lightning always tries to travel in the direction it was first shot. Yeah. Because I made the lightning jitter around so much that uh, in initial tests, it would veer off wildly, be completely inaccurate, and be impossible ah. to use. Because yeah, all, the, all the jittering would stack up. So I elected to make it so that lightning will always prefer to tra travel in the gen it was first fired. So that it's at sense. least somewhat accurate. That Anyways, I sense. hate the fact that you hate Jacob and Esau and refuse to learn how to play them correctly. I will never. They're just horrible and I hate them. And I'm never willing to learn them. Oh my god, you are so I like smelly. Him. Change uh, changes each of the player's shots I bet two you shots don't. that fire in opposite directions. Oh god. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this, is, this is... I bet you don't wash your balls, you smell. <laughs> I don't. Why would you? Fucking right. I don't this, think I want this, this item this, either. This item... It's cool, but it... it this makes... item is just my, uh... The wall ray, but unironic. See, this item is absolutely fine. But I'm on controller, which means I have aim assist, which means this just doesn't really work. No, because it would suck on PC too. It's fine. Or on, on mouse and keyboard too. It's fine, like, that I don't have aim assist while I'm aiming at things. But the bigger problem is, if there's an enemy in front of me and I'm trying to hit, hit an enemy to the side of me, it will aim assist to the enemy in front of me. Yeah, we can't, we can't use this. It's fun, but it's not for this run. We're trying to, we're trying to build something beautiful here. And that is only slightly pretty. have issues. Don't we all? It just really sucks that I love this character and you're like, mm, actually, they're shit. Like 95% of Isaac's I'm a baby. fucking hate them. They should be made easier because I'm a baby. I'm not, I don't want them to be easier. I want them to be non-existent. I don't think that their, that their um, gimmick is at all fun. I don't think it has any place in Isaac and it can go away. <laughs> It's not that I want them to be easier. I just would rather they don't exist. It also doesn't help as well that if you're playing I modders, really... they're the laggiest bitches to ever exist. Oh my god. You you realize that your modded setup is not, like, the norm, No, right? I, I realize that. Most people that. don't have enough mods to, most, like, most people don't the have, battalion. Most people don't have that issue. But I do, so I'm allowed to complain about it. <laughs> Killer Queen, dynamite with a laser beam. Fires bees. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell happened then? Oh, I see, it fires nitrous, I get it. I just accidentally exploded one directly on top of me somehow. Oh. This is pretty good. That's really weird, but I love it. One of those really, like, weird and creative items that works super well. Yeah. It's very strong. Alright, big boy, pucker up. Go into the big blue goatsy. Big blue, big blue, big blue. Oh, speaking of, um, I was doing some magic eye pictures the other day. I messaged you about it. Yeah, yeah. And I was I was looking online to find interesting magic eye pictures, and one of them was just Goatsy. <laughs> it's like I'm I'm looking through, seeing if I can you know identify all the different pictures, and oh no, yeah, there's Goatsy. Always. Oh, the old the the old days of internet uh, shock sites. Oh, they gosh. they were really something. The old days of the internet is just there's a lot more on it now, but I feel like the stuff that was on it was just more easily available somehow and worse back then. <laughs> well, the internet wasn't as curated back in the day. There, yeah. There's a reason they call it the Wild West when speaking of the internet in like. 
historical terms, they the term that is used is the Wild West of the internet. Yeah, it was pretty wacky. The Weird West. But... Like, were you ever tricked into uh, shock sites back in the day? A few. Care to elaborate? Um, There was like fucking meat spin and all that sort of shit that everyone ended up getting taken to at one point or another. Oh, um, Meat Spinner's tame, though. There was, Meat Spinner's there tame. There was Pain Olympics. Everyone got tricked into visiting there at least I, once in their childhood. I never, I never actually found my way to Pain Olympics. That was probably the worst one. I have seen one man, one jar. It was not nice. Oh, uh, jar guy, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. I have, um... I, I... There is something beautiful about knowing the context, though. Because, like... To this day, I still find people talking about the jar, and mm -hmm. uh, no, I I know many things that that could mean, but like hairy legs walk into frame over <laughs> over a jar yeah. has become a meme, and it is one of those if you know you know sort of situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm I hate that I know, but I'm glad that I know. Oh, that's the worst. I've also seen one of the. Um... People getting getting their head cut off videos as well. Oh, they're dime a dozen. Yeah. Uh, for anyone unaware, the jar that we're talking about is. You don't want to know. <laughs> you don't want to know. A guy shoves a jar in his ass and it breaks. Yeah. It's, and it's, there is it's, a waterfall of blood. It's pretty rough. It's it's one of those videos that for some reason people always like pranked you into watching as a kid. Or a, a young teenager, and yeah, for oh, some reason, makes, pretty much everyone has... It makes my butthole itch. For some reason, everyone had seen it. It's the worst. But, like, at the same time, it is comforting to know that that guy was fine. I, I don't care uh, if he was fine. He's obviously not mentally fine. He's fucked up. Listen, man just wanted to shove something in his ass. He didn't know it was going to break. It's a glass jar. Your asshole's it, relatively tiny. Listen, <laughs> I, I would not assume that my asshole had the sheer grip to break a jar. I wouldn't assume it either, but would you really want to risk it? <laughs> like, or just, just fucking put a cucumber I, up there or something, I don't know. I would not assume that I had the sheer grip strength to, to break a jar, so I kind of understand this guy not getting that either. You can understand that all you want, he still shouldn't have had any reasonable reason to think this is something I want to do. And film Mate, it and probably, put it on the internet. He was probably fucking horny. Well, I, I fucking hope so. But like, god damn. Oh, he didn't have any reason to shove that jar up his ass. I think he had a very reason that seemed like a very good idea to him at the time. It does seem that way. Hold on, where are the jars? No jars here. I'm still not unconvinced that the jar item in Isaac... Like... Oh, God. <laughs> it's not a reference to it. Don't make it Don't make it that. See, I, I don't know what it is like a reference to, if it's a reference to something, but I'm not unconvinced that it's a reference to that video. Because it is a jar that stores hearts, and hearts in Isaac are like blood and viscera and such stuff. So it's like, I mean, come on. Ah, this boss. I love this boss, but goddamn, it is the most visually messy thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the telegraphs are really good, but when, when there's so many of them on the screen at once, it gets really Stop crazy. moving! I like moving. But, see well, you're moving so much when that's not how you're supposed to do the laser attacks. Except oh for this God. one. You have I to might actually die. I, wh why are like, my guns dog shit against this guy? If he does the spam lasers, you got to stand still in between the lasers. That, I, was, I was standing still in between the lasers and I still got hit. Oh my God.
I watch with bated breath. Just die already, what the fuck? Oh my god. <sighs> Why did that take so long this time? Holy shit. Because you powered him up to max. Dude, I don't think that's a thing. I think you've made that up. You have to put in all of them for him to start moving. I think, no, you can put in one. It's That's why he has the radius circle. I don't think that's true. <laughs> well, next time you find him, we can find out. Because if I recall correctly, the reason there are, I, I, I could be wrong. I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure the reason why there's four is so that you can power him up to any level and uh, leave the circle to activate him. The reason why he doesn't, didn't, the reason why he seems to not power up, up to uh, until you give them all because, is because you insist on paying all of them before you leave. Otherwise, why would there be that radius indicator? I mean, you might be right, but it doesn't make that obvious in my achy, opinion. Achy, 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 uh, achy. Why, why would I need achy? I have five keys. Well, yeah, but you achy and nesting chest, dumbass. What does the nesting chest do again? It, like, spawns chests in exchange for keys. You can get a shit ton of items this way. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Kimolet, which means blanks are also keys. Oh, the worst fucking familiar. He's good. Shut the fuck up, boy. That S skeleton is my friend. S tier my ass. Secret room. Secret room of that chest. Room. I know, I know. If you know, then why did you go in? Just shut up. God damn. The only thing that's good about him is his little wiggly arms. There's also a lemon party back in the day. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Oh, he's Best really good. Familiar. He's really good. He's such a he good gave, familiar. Literally just walked into the fucking room, didn't hit a single one of the enemies, and destroyed the chest. <laughs> he gave you half. To be fair, that's a problem that I think could happen with any uh, familiar. Dude, come on. Out. Don't no. leave him. No, he's a piece of what dog shit. What the fuck? Dude, that, was ha that would happen with literally any familiar. The only reason he destroyed the chest is because he has good DPS. Hmm. Doubtful. Oh my god, I hate you. I hate you so much. He is the worst. He's just, he's fine. Oh my god, that guy managed to slip through. I didn't even see him. Um, he's fine, but there is no world in which you could ever agree that he is S tier. At all. He's not even A tier. Look, he's S tier for the cute factor. This room is pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> Walking into the fucking smashers. Because dude. I forgot they were there. How? Like, I don't know. Anyways, I need to buy health. Oh, there's no health That's to buy. Like... Good. One second. Right, we are back. Sorry about that. Okay. I might. I, like, my health is not looking good right now. And there was no health to buy, which is very annoying. I personally feel really good that I was able to get all my, like, problems with you existing off my chest today. I mean, there's so much more time. There's so much more time. I know, but I, I, I ranted about the shit that I wanted to. Um, and now and you I, can I really, now, now you can get really down to brass taxes and start nitpicking. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it is very satisfying to do. Like, I think <laughs> everyone who's watched a YouTube video has wanted to scream at the person playing at some point. Oh my god! Open your fucking eyes, dickhead! Uh, I think everyone's wanted to scream that at some point, but I actually get to, in real time. It's amazing. Gun Shredder. Eats your current gun return for a damage boost, depending on the rarity. Ooh, I've got a lot of guns you can eat. <laughs> um, yum. Um... Okay, Yom. that was a uh, five percent. Um, ten percent looks like. Yom. How does that not have a synergy with the A key, by the way? The re key, whatever. How does it's what? Called. The re key that I just ate. How does that not have a synergy with the A key? Ah, uh, because I wasn't sure what to make the synergy do. It does have synergies with other key related items. Oh, there's another. The main point of the. What the fuck is this? 
The handheld catapult. Oh, handheld catapult. No, try it, try it. <laughs> is, it, that, it, it, it is it actually good or is it just kind of to show off the uh, the whole use case? It's fine, but I think it's a bit iffy on controller. Might be, yeah. Uh... I don't have any blanks left. Shit. I don't know how to fight this guy normally. Elling on yourself? Okay. I don't know what gun to use. See, the fun part is, you don't even get to argue oh, that this is a modded gungeon thing, because this is just a vanilla boss. Oh yeah, I'm just really bad at this boss. Like, if I don't have a blank, I find this boss kind of hard. If I have a blank, it's literally the easiest boss in the entire game. I don't think you should really be using this gun no, for the, uh, the last it's phase. Even too much. Bow. Black hole gun, not bad. Not bad? Uh, you know, one of the best guns in the game, not bad. This, I don't think it is, personally. It's okay. Could be better. Could be better, you know. It's just a, a fucking black hole. I don't think it's one of the per best guns in the game, personally, but... Oh, it says the man who needed a blank to take out the kill pillars, the gun that, like, takes all the fucking bullets off the screen is bad. Right, let's go. Next floor. I don't understand you. you you'll come to understand. Not if I make you first. <laughs> I'll turn you to the dark side. I, I no, I'm the fucking dark side. I'm a I'm a different shade of dark. I'm like magenta. That's not dark. What was it? Indigo. <laughs> That's the one I was thinking of. That's like magenta. Excuse me. Shut up. <laughs> Curse of the flames, be careful. Oh shit. Wait, did, did that item that I have that makes enemies burn quicker, will that work for fire fire that I didn't produce? I'm guessing it will, won't it? Uh, this this fire doesn't actually hurt enemies because it, oh. it was too powerful. Like, the curses were meant to, like, not be... The curses were meant to be undesirable things. But Curse of the Flames would legitimately clear rooms for you. Before you even um, entered them as well. Uh, no, because the fire only triggers when you enter. Ah, okay. But it would clear rooms immediately, which I didn't want. Sounds fun to me. I like this weapon. This weapon's cool. I think Curse of the Flames does... It does hurt enemies if you have a specific synergy. There's, uh... Remember that h holy water item I made? Yeah. It has a synergy that makes all curses positive. Oh, ah, for fuck's sake. Ah, you stupid bastards. Why is the hitbox on them so big? So, like, uh, with that synergy, Curse of the Flames, the fire is... doesn't hurt you, but does hurt enemies. It's the opposite. Oh my god, I Same can't even see those ones. Sludge. Walking into stuff. Same with Curse of the Hive. With, uh, with... Curse of Butterfingers and that synergy, taking damage, uh, rapid fires a bunch of guns from the bullet gun. Oh, nice. And with Curse of the Hive, the spawned bullets are friendly. Ah, nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. Get oh, Curse of Infestation, uh... rather. Let me get the names of my own content. I need to add more curses to vary it, because I, partially I feel the reason why curses suck is, is familiarity. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, I think familiarity really because... breeds contempt. It's just hard to think of good curses. It definitely is. Uh, like I want to make one that uh, has a chance to evolve enemies, like chance for enemies to be replaced by veteran variants. Okay. Uh, I also want to make one that makes enemy bullets smaller. So a bit harder to dodge. Or, well, except yeah. it's easy to dodge, but a bit harder to see. Yeah, and it's actually... Originally, enemy bullets were tiny in the original yeah, version know, of seen, Edge of the Gungeon. Yeah, I know, I've seen, yeah. Yeah, if you've ever seen old screenshots. I kind of want to make them that size again as part of a curse. That'd be cool, yeah.
Secret room. I don't really want to spend a blank on that. I don't think it's worth Secret it. It's only a brown chest. Oh, what do you need the blanks for? The dragon? I thought you were good at this game. Well, I don't need them, but you've seen how I've been playing recently. There's a potential chance oh, I do oh. need them. No, dude, check, at least check out that shopkeep. Come on. I already know what most of those items do, and I don't. Uh, one of them's the crocodile heart thing that I can't afford. Uh, another one is the wooden heart, which makes me take more fire damage, but gives me a heart. And then I don't know what the third one was. Well, I mean, going into the dragon, the dragon doesn't spawn fire, so like, you do have curse of uh, do you have curse of the uh, flames? But at the same time, like, that's only going to be there for a few seconds. Don't be an idiot. You know that's half me to do. I know, but I still a, have that's hope. That's a huge challenge for me. You can't just say don't be I an still idiot have and expect hope. it to work. I, I've just been trying to think of other curses that would be uh, interesting to have. Can this fire uh, pop off, I... please? Oh my lord, okay. That was that was fun. Who made that room? Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. for fuck's sake. Uh -huh. Was it you? I think it might be, but I'm not sure. I know I've made a room that is small and has. How, how come the fire spawned it? upon me killing that dude? What happened there? Because he was a because he was a champion and he spawned enemies. Oh fuck! Mimic sick. mimics don't count as entering combat, but spawning regular enemies does. Was that so when he worse? died and. Really, it wasn't worth it at all. You might be able to get more, uh, stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna do the boss while I have this amount of health. I'm not f fucking around with the rest of this floor. Right, babe, take care. Oh, also, I should tread some more guns. Tread. 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 Anything I'm not gonna use, I'm just gonna shred for now, so I can get a ton of damage. And then all of these I'll probably use. Actually, I'll shred that as well. If I open up my uh, my art canvas, I can take a look at the icons I've made for potential future curses. There was one uh, curse I was considering, like where enemies have bouncy bullets. That just seems ugh, horrendous. <laughs> Not like all the time, but it would be a chance thing. Where there's a, there's I feel a chance like that's that worse. any bullet spawned would be bouncy. Well, it would, it would have the trail that, like, you know, that uh, bullets have. I get that, but it's like, I feel like if, if I got cursed for the bouncy or whatever, and that meant I knew every bullet was going to bounce, it'd be horrible, but at least I'd know. But then it's like, I get cursed for the bouncy and just some bullets are going to bounce. So if there's something like the dragon, you could be fine for most of it, but then one bullet can bounce and hit you because you didn't expect it. If every bullet in the dragon was bouncing, you would die. That's why I would want to make it chance yeah. based. Because there is literally no way to make every bullet bounces fair. No, no. There's also, uh. Was considering doing one where a bullet can or a. Like, like maybe extra enemies spawn in the room? Extra bullet again. I, I, I was actually going to go with beadies. Uh, so I could theme the curse around the beholster. That could be curse cool, of yeah. the beholster. Chance uh, for rooms to contain additional beadies. As long as it's like maximum of like two, I think that works. Two to three, I think. Dep if, I can f if I can find a way to figure out how big rooms are. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say, actually. It depends on the room size. But then you get somebody who's technically made a room that's gigantic, but you can only move in a small part of it. Yeah. So you wind up fighting 10,000 BDs in like a tiny box. <laughs> first and run was a victory. That is the despite first all your, done. Despite all your bitching. Oh, despite you should have taken the bullet, dude. 
Why? Oh, let's do the past. That, that, that is a very good idea. It's too late now, but that would have been a very good idea. No, no, hold on, hold on. Once once you do this sequence, we can fix it. Can we? I How? How can we fix it? Okay, so uh, pick the marine and go back into the gungeon. Oh, uh, can you tell? And we can just load past? it. We can just load into the past. Yeah. Okay. Nice. 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 But you have to you have to enter the first floor first because if you load yeah, from yeah, the of course. It'll actually bug things out. It might. I don't know if it bugs things out anymore because I think Sparpy might have fixed that. Should but we just go I'd into the gun? Yeah, I gotta say, should we just go into the gungeon just in case? Yeah, I'd rather not risk it. Because doing the pasts uh, would be a nice thematic way to end things off. It would. You're right. For each character. We're coming for you next Plus, episode. It's been forever since you did the pasts, I think. Who the fuck? Oh, this is a glitch with... Fucking hell. What oh god, heck? this glitch. <laughs> What's so, going on with him? Oh god. There is this... Everything is gone. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> There's a glitch where when you fire the gun that can kill the past... Uh, restarting sometimes just fucking breaks uh, color patterns. Like that should be game... broken forever now. Uh, it also disables the mini map, so we may want to figure out how to unfuck it at some point. Right, let's have a look. If if it has done that, while well, I'll pause the recording. We'll reboot the game. Uh, we can do the past. Yeah, past. You don't rebooting. need mini maps, sir. Yeah. Uh, taking its sweet fucking time. It is. One minute. Going to. Well, actually, no, no I, don't, I don't have mini map. Does mini map have... normally show in this room? Uh, you. Sh it should, yeah. Oh heck. You right. don't have. You don't have mini map. You just have map map. Uh, load level. Yep. Uh, marine. And uh, marine past, yeah. Let's do this. I think you won't have the correct guns, but we can also easily fix that. It's the hegemony carbine you start with, isn't it? Yes. Do you also start with the um, Medal of Valor? You do, don't you? You don't. Okay. You um... have the supply drop, and you technically shouldn't, but also, I don't really care. That's just an ammo drop. Hey... H A G A. I'm so proud of him. He's, he's learning so fast. The problem, I think, is that the game thinks you're entering the past, so it disables the minimap, even though you uh, are just restarting. Yeah, we have to reboot the game real quick, but that one it won't make any difference to you guys watching. Doing the past might fix it. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe yeah, because if that's if that's the error that's occurring, maybe finishing the past actually sorts it out. It's entirely possible, but I don't know for certain. Oh, for fuck's sake! The fake poison got me. I hate that bullshit. I love the fact the um the marines helping you in the fight do actually do damage, but they do such little damage. Yeah. They deal two damage a shot. Nice. <laughs> what damn shit monkeys. They are imps. They are not imps. Stop being, stop being racist. They look like pieces of shit with corn in them. Stop being racist. It's not a good look for a British man. What do you mean? It's like the average look of a British man. Not good, yeah. <laughs> That's a jammed one? Why? Oh no, it's just it's just a champion. Oh, uh, they actually bleed. Yeah, they leave little splats everywhere. Man, this attack. Fuck you.
Hey, we got him. And slain. This guy uh, is a mix of references, actually. Uh, it actually gives me an opportunity to talk about the past. Uh, the past are like all references to different things, of course. Um, and the Marines past is a reference to Doom and also a reference to Half-Life. Yes. Yeah, I remember you pointing that out to him when we first played Half-Life 1. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, we really ought to... Get back on that. ...finish Half-Life 2 episodes, because... Yeah. This this guy's been so busy, and finally we're, we're leaning off that, but... He's like, I want to do a long-form thing with you. And they're like, Half-Life, Half-Life, Half-Life. And he's like, Gungeon. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll try the... Uh, breach and see if it's still shagged if it is we'll have to reboot we will rebooting takes about 10 minutes as well so that's gonna be fun pilot <gasps> fixed ah nice 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 good to know right doing my cheat bits yeah so he cheats and he still says the game is too hard it's unbelievable a really good gun a really good active. Uh, really good active. And a paper badge. Don't know what that does. Paper badge, um, it used to be shit. It's, I've made it a lot better. Paper badge is a 50-50 chance to either deal double damage or no damage. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds rough. However, I changed it so that it actually becomes better the more coolness you have. Ah, that's good. Good. So if you can get more coolness, it will begin to... It's like, it skews 5% um, more to the good side for each level of coolness you have. So if you have 10 coolness, it's just double damage. Nice. I like the way as well that it actually reflects the damage that you're dealing based on the shot size. It's a lot... It is a lot better with fast firing guns as well. Yeah, of course. Because you're hitting more shots. Like, the heroin's with... actually going to be awful for it. <laughs> Yeah, with slow guns, uh, it's either really good, as in one bullet takes out uh, anything, <laughs> or it does nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the heroine's actually going to be kind of useless until we get some coolness. It's a reference to Paper Mario. Yeah, I can tell. Just by the sprite. A tough little bastard there. He was. Little Chica. Little Chica? Little Chica. Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh god. Is this, is this a hint? Is this a hint that we're going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's? Literally oh my god, never. I can't wait. Oh, come on, it'd be fun. I would rather buy a fucking fursuit. <laughs> but that, that game is utter dog shit. As if you don't already own one. Come on. Five Nights at Freddy's is an interesting case study. I feel like... It, it was actually... If you're into Five Nights oh. at Freddy's, you're a bit of a basic bitch. <laughs> oh, shut up. You play The Binding of Isaac. It's just like jump scare game. That's all it is. It's just so... Uh, I know so that the, the, thing, the right? further iterations did add on to it, but still, I just... Uh, I don't know how that the game ever with, got popular. with Five Nights at Freddy's is that it, it's, it, it was the ethos of the time period that it came out in. Five Nights at Freddy's is a, a pretty solid core concept for a game uh but it, i feel at least that the series steadily degrades as it goes on you're saying the first game was the best one uh, the first like few games pretty much uh i'm of the opinion and a lot of people are of the opinion that the second game is the best one in the series I played 1, 2, and 3, but I don't remember the distinction between either, any of them. I, I, I remember because them all being very samey. People feel like the second game has the right amount of complexity, the, the right amount of tension, uh, without being too bogged down in its own story. Yeah, I kind of get that. Uh, 1 is fine, but it's... It's very simplistic. It's very basic. Yeah, one was really Three. basic. One was literally just 
cameras, jump scare. That's it. That's your lot. The thing with Five Nights at Freddy's and the thing with jump scares as a, a thing is that there are three types of horror. Uh, horror, terror, and uh, disgust. Disgust is, is the horror you feel upon seeing something vile. Like Southern Outlast. Like, like rotten meat or hanging corpses. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot, like a lot of what's in Outlast. Horror uh, is the feeling... Uh, can I just... Can I just rant a little bit? About what that gun? the actual fuck is this gun? I watched Alexa get it. It looks like the worst gun I've ever seen in my entire life. It's yes, I do it's watch... genuinely just ugh awful. <laughs> I'm you sorry, are feeling, but God you are feeling damn. the third type of horror at seeing this gun, are you? Like it the just... same type of revilement as you would seeing rotten meat. Why does it deal damage to you if you miss? It's just ridiculous. Because I didn't know how to balance back then. But like, it doesn't even do enough damage to warrant that. Even close to enough damage. Even if oh, you get a good streak going. It's just, Listen oh to my me. god, it, it's just it awful. Deal. Remember how it does more damage the more shots you land? Yeah. There's no cap. It can get to a point where it one shots everything. That's why it can hurt you. Because at the time I felt like, hmm, the fact that this is literally uncapped and can do one shot pretty much anything if you uh, cure it enough with it. That, that's pretty solid. It needs yeah. a big downside. I'd, what I'd do is I'd add a cap onto it and remove the taking damage bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm considering doing. Because, oh my god, I watched Alexa get it and I was like, he is rightfully annoyed by this. <laughs> that thing is trash. Are you done? I'm sorry, Can I go yes. back to discussing was, game design? I was, I was genuinely so annoyed when I watched this video on it. I'm like, what is this? So... <laughs> <laughs> Muffled cry. Bottle of hot sauce right there. Aw. It gave me a massive speed up and I just walked straight off the edge. But also, uh, the wand actually changes each time you pick it up. Oh. So, like, uh, yeah, this is a dead spell. Because there's, uh, each, each run, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was, it was a different spell last time, and it's different this time. Because there's three different, is it there's different? four it different. It looks like the same spell. Uh, might, might be. There's four different starters, what spells in Noita. Yes. Um, and this gun, in reference, each time you get it for the first time on a run, it can be one of the one of the different uh, starter setups. So it could be that that weak green bouncy thing or, or whatever. The weak green bouncy but, one's my favorite. And you can have that all for the low, low price of this. Um, I was saying Five Nights at Freddy's 3 was, is generally considered to be really confusing. I don't like, really know much about them. I just know that Matt Pat sold his soul to the devil and for some reason had some weird affiliation with the game and wouldn't leave it alone. YouTube views. That's what that weird affiliation is. I feel like he was being paid off by the developers, like 100%. He was being paid off by YouTube. I don't even think it was that. I, I genuinely think it was the developers being like, hey, keep talking about our game and we'll give you money because he just, just wouldn't leave it alone. It's like, God damn, there's nothing more to talk right. about. He doesn't need to be paid off by the devs if YouTube is giving him a fat paycheck every time he talks about the game. Because whether or not you like it, the game is popular. What the fuck is this? The fuck? Check the description, maybe? It's meant to be the thing from, um... Thingy, isn't it? Thing from... Oh, release to detonate. Ah, release. So hold the fire. Okay, I thought it was click to fire, then click to detonate. Not the other way. Okay, that makes more sense. Right. Yeah, regardless of what you think about it, Five Nights at Freddy's is popular. Oh yeah, I know. Matt Pat doesn't, he doesn't need to be paid by Scott Cawthon. He needs to be paid by YouTube. 
he's being paid for covering something that's popular. This isn't a conspiracy theory. Damn, I, I, I don't know how he does it though. I just like fucking have to quit YouTube after doing that many videos about Five Nights at Freddy's. He must be so bored. Yeah, imagine like doing your whole channel on one game and discussing it and making theories and shit. That's such a miserable existence. It is. But like, at least the game that you picked is actually interesting. Unlike Five Nights at fucking ooh. Love cheek upon all this sort of stupid weird shit that people do. Hey, about that hey, game. to it's be fair, bizarre. to be fair, to be fair, cheek upon is spicy. It's an animatronic okay. chicken. Can people like leave it be? Listen, the robot parts only make it better. It's just weird. <laughs> Why are people so peculiar? Oh god, so it's this room. One thing about the- you still have such an aversion to this room, despite the fact that it's been changed just, so many times. It's just too big. Yeah, because it spawns a lot of enemies, and I don't want to put them right on top of you. Just make it spawn less enemies and make it half the size. <laughs> it's not how it works. I can't just go into the room editor and click resize. <gasps> Clown bullets. Nice. Also... Which- Oh, which... that clissy. Oh god, which one of these is good? Uh, most. Clown bullets is pretty cheap, though. Yeah, bullets. I'd personally go clown bullets. Wait. Fill a sile if you can get it. Will... Oh, the fuck... <laughs> I rolled at the worst place to roll there. Fuck you, you stupid bricks of shit. Um, will I be able to clown an enemy with a shot that deals no damage? Yes. Nice. No damage shots can still impart, like, bullet effects. They just don't do damage directly. So if you have, like, fire or poison or a transmogrification, they can still do that. Nice. But, like, the thing with the development of Five Nights at Freddy's, which is something I, you actually... It is really interesting to look at because it is an indie success story. If anyone who is yeah. aspiring in the world of indie development should study Five Nights at Freddy's, uh... To, to look at like what it does right, what it does wrong, and learn from its mistakes. Yeah, undoubtedly so. It's an insane success for such a basic game that took probably about two days to make. Oh, are those custom uh, uh, breakables up there? I think they are, yeah. Targets. Shoot them. That's pretty cool. More custom breakables. What is this? Healthy bullets. Is it healthy or hearthy? Healthy. Healthy. Enemy bullets near the player have a chance to turn green. Touch these bullets to get a damage boost while at full health or a half heart, half heart heal while not. Seems pretty interesting. Undertale reference. Ugh. That's another game that I just can't stand. <laughs> oh, you fucking cunt. Also, it looked like it worked on the turrets there. So, like, what? you could cheese it for infinite health. One of the bullets from the turrets was green. <laughs> Huzzah. How much of a damage boost do I get? 25%. It looks like it's probably temporary and only one at a time. But like, the fact that you can abuse turrets for infinite healing with that item seems to be a bit of an oversight. Yeah. Also, I thought it would like turn them green as they get close to you, not just if they fire. This seems really overpowered. So the thing with Five Nights at Freddy's, it started off uh, as a game called Chipper and Sons Lumber Company, which was supposed to be like a like a lumberjack tycoon. What? How the uh, hell did it get to where it is now? <laughs> Fuck. Basically, it was supposed to be a lumberjack tycoon. It wasn't a horror game, but uh, reviews for the game were fucking awful because it was a bad game. And on top of being a bad game, the character designs were fucking terrifying. <laughs> so people uh, left reviews saying, this is fucking terrifying. They look like malfunctioning Chuck E. Cheese animatronics and I'm scared of them. <laughs> and so uh, he said that, I think, he said that that like sent him into a depression when he was he discussed his development philosophy. 
but he took that feedback and made Five Nights at Freddy's out of it. He he took the fact that those character designs were horrifying <laughs> and built upon that that fear of uh, malfunctioning machines uh, to design something that was a successful horror game. See, I gotta say, I like this gun, but I cannot, I cannot physically stand firing it because of that noise. <laughs> it's so loud and it happens so too often. Yeah, someone ought like, to adjust the volume. It's not even the volume, I think it's just like... Or? No, I don't think so. I think it's the sound from Team Fortress 2. Also, I just don't have good guns for this fucking badge, whatever it's called, anymore. I've run out. Yeah, well, at least you don't need to worry about health. Because we have a turret room on this floor. I mean, I'm at full health already now. You know what, I might as well just use my pistol at this point. In theory... 50% chance for double damage, 50% chance for no damage shouldn't technically affect your DPS. No, it shouldn't. But it, it just it feels like it can sometimes. You can get fucked over if you fire a full mag and don't get any damage. Yeah. It's just it's just luck. Man, this healthy bullet is so busted. <laughs> I've been hit like six times and I'm still at full HP. Yeah, this needs to be like a black chest item, or at least a red chest one. Also, I think clowns do a blank effect when you kill them. They do sometimes, not all the time. It's the balloons, I think. Yeah, well, for all of those pops and didn't do a blank. Ah, right, right. Well, my bad. I think it'd be just too, too powerful with amulets if it did it every time. Greg, Greg. the egg. Greg, the egg. Um, and, and after Chipper and Sons and the release of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, which received massive support, um, he, it, he pretty much said that every FNAF game was made to fix something that he felt was lacking in the previous. So Five Nights at Freddy's 1 didn't have a lot of complexity, he made Five Nights at Freddy's 2 to add some more mechanics and depth to the game. Um, people felt that Five Nights at Freddy's 2 was lacking in story, so he made Five Nights at Freddy's 3 to wrap up the story. People felt that Five Nights at Freddy's 3 wasn't scary enough, so he made Five Nights at Freddy's 4 to wrap to make something spookier. Uh, so on and Wasn't so forth. he churning them out like once every four or five months at this point as well? Uh, I don't recall. I, I do remember at some point, like, reading about how quickly he was releasing them. He made Sister Location, again to try and tie up the story. Uh, after 4, they, they stopped being numbered uh, chronologically, like, n numbered sequentially and just got names. Yeah. Uh, Sister Location was meant to tie up the story some more and introduced the first like semi free roaming elements where you move between different rooms um so how many of them were where you just sat in the security office was that just the first uh one? uh one two and three you are stuck in the security office okay four you're stuck in a bedroom uh sister location you spin, you, you actually move around the facility and do things. Um, there was Pizzeria Simulator, which was a, a FNAF game masquerading as a uh, pizzeria management tycoon, <laughs> where half the game is spent in this bright and cheery uh, pizzeria building screen, and the other half is spent in the office uh, actually playing a FNAF game. Uh, I then there was screwing me right now. <laughs> then there was um, uh, Ultimate Custom Night, which was just a a 
it was sort of meant to be a send off. Yeah. Is that the last Ultimate one of the custom... series? Technically, no. Basically, yes. I'm guessing there's fan games out there. Is that what you mean? No. Um, Ultimate Custom Night is the last, like, true FNAF game because it's the last, like, mainline game made by Scott Cawthon. The, oh, yeah. the creator of the series. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. are more games that he's, like, given some people license to make games in the universe that are technically... Oh, fucking, uh, this item's shitting on my dick right now. God damn it. Also, did you see then that I was th I was three half hearts down and I walked into one bullet and it fully healed me? Yeah. Like, it literally, you can afford to take as much damage as you want as long as you don't die. Yeah. I just wait here. Damage means... And it would I be go. really good if you could get an on damage effect, actually. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's, that's full health again. Finally, I can use a real gun again. But basically, um... So, Ultimate Custom Knight wasn't really a... a... It did have story elements. It was meant to tie up any loose ends left over from Pizzeria Simulator. Because... How, how much story last... was that? I didn't even get what story this game Too much. Have. Too much. The game, basically, he wasn't... It's evident that he wasn't really thinking about the story early on in the series, and realized that if he could tell... That he could tell a much more engaging story than he was, and uh, had to try and fit it in. The story is, is very obtuse, very behind the scenes, but at the same time, because of that, it enthralled a lot of people who yeah. enjoyed the mystery it's, aspect. It's, it's kind of like games like Elden Ring and Dark Souls, where the story isn't in your face, but it is there. Hollow Knight, stuff like that. Yeah. And that's why MatPat was able to make so much content about it. Because it was open to it. interpretation. <laughs> yeah, it was open to interpretation, and because the story was, by nature, shrouded in so much... Uh, that's why he uh, used to make 40 videos a month on it. Basically, yes. Um, and in a way, those videos were important to the longevity of the game, because the game was popular. Schwarz loses is fast firing. It might be useful to you. But also stout bullets. <laughs> also coolness. Oh, coolness, yeah. Infinite Actually, health. Coolness might be best. Infinite health, coolness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yes, that is 100% what you should take. <laughs> Holy fuck. And then I take this for the double damage. Actually, I don't know, stout, stout bullets, 60% damage. Do the rest of the floor and see what you yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Ideally, you'll we... find a room with a turret. I gotta say, do we have any rooms with turrets so far? We don't, do we? But if not, you can just find a room with like a shotgun or something. But, whoa, what are those? I don't know. Whoa, all gem dudes. Yeah, that's what I was asking. What are I, those? I, I didn't even see those guys to start with. What the hell are, are they? Those? Like, do they like block your shots or something? Because it Maybe. looks like they're doing a blank effect. Be cool. Can I destroy? I can destroy them. Okay. Oh. Cool. Rat's having a whale of a time right here. Look at this dude. Put him out of his misery. I did. Um, because the by its nature, the franchise was so shrouded in mystery, it was kind of necessary to have someone to unravel it. And there were multiple people who took up that mantle, but Matt Pat was, of course, the most prominent. Yeah. And at the same time, it caused a feedback loop. Uh, Matt Pat's videos made the game more popular, which made his videos more popular, which made the game more popular. Uh, it's 10 coolness for 100% double damage. So, yeah. you want to get up to 10 if you can. Dude, Greg, the egg just blocked from my healing shots. Fuck you, Greg. Greg, can you get the fuck out of the way, please? Yeah, that one double healed me again. Considered, oh, you know what it might be. I wonder if they've just done on collision rather than like, uh, 
a, a one-time thing. Like maybe the bullet's technically colliding with the player hitbox more than once. Every time it collides per frame sort of thing, yeah. Maybe. I, I can't say that for certain, but that's one reason that it could be acting this way. Oh, come on, dude. But Fire more bullets, please. Fire more green bullets. You look like a fucking barbershop quartet. Uh, They're just not firing them. What are they doing? Come on. It could be that there's a cap on how many can spawn in a room. Maybe. It's kind of looking like that, actually. So not technically infinite, just nigh on. Fucking Greg! You got in the way again, you... Sorry, sack of shit. I'm gonna fucking pummel you into the floor, you stupid egg bitch. Might want to cigarettes a bit more prematurely. Right, we're up to 10 now. So you should be at 100% double damage now. Just fire a few shots to make sure. Like, yeah. buy some from your uh, sidearm. Just to guarantee that you know that yes, you're at 100%. Yeah, double damage. And also... Turns out... The paper badge was not a lost cause. There you go. Plus 60% on top of that double damage. Fuck yeah. I can use this now and it actually be good. The thing with Five Nights at Freddy's, because uh, it is actually really interesting to discuss it in a meta context. Like, discuss it as a game. Yeah. is that it embroiled itself in so many layers of story that after the main four games, it required Sister Location, uh, Pizzeria Simulator, and Ultimate Custom Night, three more games to tie up all the loose ends. Hello. Uh, there, there were other games uh, in the franchise, like, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's... What, what's the fucking RPG one? FNAF World. Ah. Which was a a whimsical RPG that was just meant to be like a silly, fun thing that was vaguely... Okay, we can test it now, actually. Only pick one of them, and then walk away. It does work. I That isn't obvious at all, in my opinion. It was obvious to me. Oh god, some of his bullets get really glitched out when they're the healing ones. Yeah, I think animated bullets kind of fuck up with uh, changes. So, see, he's he's still doing attacks, but he's doing them a lot less... Like, th these are, attacks are a lot easier than yeah. the full power-up. So, you were wrong, I was right. I expect my apology in the mail. That explains why at the full power he drops such an insane amount of loot as well. I mean, he still dropped quite he, a lot there, to be fair. He, he only explodes if you do him full power. I've only ever done him at full power. Hey, it's this thing no, again I don't want. <laughs> uh... Right, let's go. From what I understand, Scott Cawthon seems to be an alright guy. Like, bit strange, very much a hermit, but like, I don't know anything terrible about him. I could be wrong, I don't know, maybe he eats children. Doesn't seem like it so far. I think people would know about that. He's one of those developers who's really adverse to the spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like the people at No Man's Sky. <laughs> Well, no, they uh, they did, like, public in-person interviews. Like, Scott Cawthon, people have to, like, wrestle for an interview out of him if they want to talk to him about his games. The heck is this? Uh, a gun. Yeah, it is. Um, fires mini rockets towards the inbuilt targeting system, reloading a full clip, locks on the currently targeted enemy. Oh, I see, I see. This is going to be awful on controller, but otherwise pretty cool. I think I might save that for bosses, to be honest. Also, its name is literally Targeter. Pretty cool. 
right? But, but you know, in, like, what I meant about fucking uh, No Man's Sky is like Sean or whatever his name oh, I, was. Just... I know they're adverse to the spotlight now. <laughs> it's not even just that. It's just like they were saying, the, like in like an interview over the last few years, talking about like h- how they came to like be such a big fuck up um, in terms of like their first release and how it let everyone down. And Sean was just kind of like, yeah, I'm not a PR person and I don't know how to speak to people. So I just kept saying yes to things because I'm so awkward that I didn't know how to say no. And it basically just created this insane hype and expectation that I couldn't possibly live up to. <laughs> yeah, but with NAF, again, I've been talking so much about it because there's a lot to talk about. Uh, <laughs> I officially, do, <laughs> I do kind of like the way that it was like, hey, I don't like this game at all. And you're like, OK, let me tell you everything about it. <laughs> well, not liking it doesn't mean. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, 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 it is interesting. I, Understanding it from a design perspective is different to making you. Yeah, like def- it. definitely, yeah. It's like, there are huge problems with Five Nights at Freddy's, especially in the later series. Humongous issues, uh, which I wouldn't blame anyone for not liking the game because of those issues. I can't at the same the time, time, I still want to make I you saw... play them. I can't remember the last time I saw or played it. I definitely played one and two. I think I played three. And then after that point, I kind of grew up. <laughs> so, Scott Cawthon has, I think, officially retired from making the games himself, but because it's a humongous brand, um, he has given permission to uh, some studios to make games in the universe. Yeah. Uh, one of these was Five Nights at Freddy's um, Help Wanted, which was actually really good, from what I understand. It was a was VR title. I was say it was the same style of game, or was it quite different? It was... Uh, fi- Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted was the first, like, four games remade in VR. Oh, shit, okay. With, with additional content and minigames. Nice. And... From what I understand, because I, I I don't have VR, but I have seen the the entirety of Help Wanted. Uh, it's actually really good because even if you don't find Five Nights at Freddy's scary, being in VR adds an extra layer yeah, of immersion. Yeah, definitely. Like people who who didn't find it scary, like were terrified by Help Wanted because being in VR. It just by nature immersion. makes it a lot scarier. Yeah. Yeah. And Help Wanted was made by Scott Cawthon, but by this uh, studio that he permitted to use the IP. Yeah. And this studio is also the one rep- responsible for Security Breach, which is the latest FNAF game to date. Ah. And the worst. Security well, Breach is a broken, glitchy, abysmal piece of shit. With just the title slapped on it, essentially. Yeah. It, it it's technically takes place in the same universe with the same characters, blah, blah, blah. But it it definitely demonstrates that the, the, the studio did a fantastic job at archiving existing FNAF content in the form of Help Wanted, but did a terrible job at making new content. They didn't, they, they didn't understand the game enough to actually truly adapt it into something new, but they, but they didn't have to understand it to remake it. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that sort of thing has happened quite a few times with various games. Yeah. Help Wanted is like the first true free-roam FNAF game. But it's just not very well made. Ah, isn't this the one that's glitched that I still haven't fixed? I'm pretty sure it is. Probably, yeah. You fucking dickhead. Um. No, no, no. I, I adore Security Breach because it's a piece of shit and I, I find it so funny <laughs> to, to laugh at. Like, it's terrible. And I love it. There's a lot of games like that, though, where they're lovably shit. Like, the game gives you a power-up 
that lets you just shoot the animal. It gives you a gun. <laughs> Amazing. Which, like, completely defeats the point of a horror game. Yeah. Like, there are some... There are some horror games that successfully pull off weaponry. But it is really hard, because giving the player a way to fight back is a surefire way to make them feel less afraid. Yeah, definitely. And the gun in Security Breach only stuns them. It's a, like a light gunny shooting in their eyes. But it doesn't really make it much better. It, it reduces the feeling of fear to the same feeling of fear you get in a feel like a first person shooter. Yeah. Which you might be afraid or startled, but you're never really afraid of an enemy. No, definitely not. Because you can just sh shoot it and w run away. One thing that's not even like I haven't even thought about with how crazy this fucking um, healing shots is is it makes it so much easier to dodge because you don't have to dodge half the shots. The Master Pact. All Master Rounds are replaced with Cursed Damned Rounds, which give an additional damage up. Hmm. Yeah, this is just um, an advanced version of Librem of the Chambers. Which, uh, it changes the actual Master Rounds themselves into yeah. different items. Rather than changing how they function when you pick them up. Yeah. Which is a little bit late for me to grab that, but oh well. I gotta say the June Lib mod, whatever it's called, um, I can't remember what it's called now. But anyways, um, Oddments. It, yeah, no, it's not Oddments. It's the other one. Um, no, the, the June cursed... Lib is what the cursed items one she made. What the hell's that called? Um, the Court of the Crimson King. That one. Oh right, right. I forget that uh, I forget that not everyone just puts all their items into one mod. Some people have our uh, organizational skill. <laughs> oh, there was there was a an argument that you missed in the you might have gone back and read it, but there was an argument that brewed a few days ago in the Gungeon uh, subreddit that kind of annoyed me. But people tell people. I'm ready, sir. Um in the thingy the Discord told me to stop arguing, which I was sad about. I like arguing. Um, but so, basically, I'm sorry, uh, is this you admitting to arguing on Reddit? No, not Reddit. Discord. Well, you said the Gungeon Reddit. I meant Discord. God damn it. I did not mean the Reddit. On the Discord, well, yeah. Uh, I that's, I that, sound, that sound clip exists now of you saying you got into an argument on Reddit, so... I mean, everyone gets into an argument on Reddit at some point in their life. If you use Reddit. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you're someone, a, someone a joined. Someone joined, and basically, do you know that issue with the um, the stats HUD, where if you have a weapon that changes damage values, it'll just rapidly switch between the DPS, and you can't really tell what it says. Yeah. They posted that, and they were basically just like, "Well, dungeon modding shit. Even the most basic things don't work." And they were like, oh, dungeon modding's just very bad. Like, th there's nowhere near enough, not enough quality of life mods and all this sort of stuff. And I was just like, well, that's fucking rude. Just join the Discord and just say that it's shit. Um, and, oh my god, I just got, just, I ended up getting into this massive argument because this person just joined and was basically just like, I'm not going to play dungeon modding again because it's shit. Because one issue happened. It's like, it's just, it's just full of bugs. It's like, it's not. Yeah. No. It's like a really shitty entitled attitude. Like, same kind of attitude of a person who'd, like, not play a character because they refuse to learn how they work. That's different, because it's me. Now, I, I, I do kind of agree that we do need more quality of life mods, but I wouldn't say that it's necessarily a but flaw, like, just they, something they, that could be better. It wasn't even just that. They, like, they basically co outright called the entirety of the, of the modding community, like, of, of the mods that exist shit. It was basically it's just, just like, if you compare it to a game like Isaac, Gungeon modding's just very, very bad. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> and um, they were like, oh yeah, there's just not enough mods. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's because there's like eight people making mods versus like a thousand in the Gungeon community. Um, yeah, I'd love it if more people made mods. And I was like, saying, one of the things I was saying daunting. as well is, oh my God. And one of the things I was saying as well was like, 
if you split all, like, your gun categories into a bunch of different mods of, like, 10 guns and items per mod, there would be literally hundreds more mods. <laughs> yeah. Like, the reason that my mod is one mod is because I feel like it's more organized that way. I don't really feel the need to pump up my numbers. I, this music I, I, I could release a new mod each time I make an item, uh, but that feels uh, disingenuous. Don't know why this music's still playing, but... Okay, there you go. Um... But yeah, <laughs> eventually it got sorted out. Like, in, in the end, they kind of, like... I can't remember how it ended, but... We, we, we kind of came to an agreement. We understood each other's points. And it, it kind of faded away. But I still found it pretty funny. They just came in and they were like, modding shit. And I'm like, no, you can't just say that. Because, <laughs> like, obviously everyone was offended by it. Did you feel it funny that people are, like always comparing it to Isaac modding when Isaac modding's like you now are magically 30 like frame rate <laughs> yeah it's it's more because I think in Isaac modding the API is just so dog shit rather than the mods themselves yeah like, the game well, Gungeon, the game no was distinction just... the, the game was just like clearly not built for modding at all and was kind of hack oh, job together it just occurred to me, this gun, yeah. uh, the, it's an S-tier gun, um, you sh it has a, a s s small thing, uh, it breaks boss D DPS cap. <gasps> oh. Usually, like, by default, it doesn't do enough damage for it to be that overpowered, but it's intentionally the sort of gun where if you get high damage upgrades, it's the kind of gun you want to be using. Yeah. Because it does ignore DPS cap. This is going to be fun. But anyways, I have been uh, considering porting more of my quality of life mods to Bethan, just to give people more reason to play modded if they don't want content. Sounds good, yeah. I would do that. Aura bullets as well. That'll be good. <laughs> ah, Godhead. Godhead. I fucking love Godhead. I don't know how, how the aura scales, though. I don't know if it's static damage or base in your gun. Ooh, also, this can insta-kill bosses, too. What's that? I don't know. Secrets. Know. Secrets. Secrets. I think it's a oh, shrine. Wait. There's a synergy woman that I never use. Let's go use her. Use the synergy woman. Use her. Good good term of phrase. You've got to use the woman. I ain't judging. Oh, oh. fucking hell. He's got a top this is, hat. Uh, this is a reference to uh, pointy. pointy One, a mutual friend. Yeah. Um, Basically, their icon is a pink mushroom in a top hat, and this is their favorite... Their favorite item of mine that I've made is the Mushroom Companion, so I gave the Mushroom Companion a synergy. Yay! Uh, and Pointed has continually, consistently failed to get that synergy on stream, despite go going for it, ever they <laughs> get the chance. And you get it, like, second run of this video. You have to link it to her. Uh, it gives um, piercing shot and uh, more damage. With aura bullets, it looks a bit funky. <laughs> there's definitely a cap on the healing bullets. Oh no, maybe not, because there's, there's more here actually. Oh. The hammer just fucking just nicked them from you. Well, this run went well. <laughs> you see, see how well-timed that hammer was then. That was great. Absolutely. <laughs> Fucking drive it home. Don't forget to get the bullet. Yeah, I won't. I won't. That was really cool. Um, oh, I should also go and grab this blank because blanks carry over. But I do get major anxiety when stuff goes wrong in modding, especially when it's not somebody who I, I can bully like uh, you. <laughs> you mean when it's Alexa? <laughs> or Hutz? Or Hutz. Yeah. Um, 
But like, just in general, I don't like there being bugs. It upsets me. It bugs you. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's so funny. No, it's definitely one of those things that it's out of your control and it's just one of those things where it just so happens to show up for the first time or at least they do something different that you've never done that causes a major bug that you couldn't have really predicted would happen. It's just, that's just how it is sometimes. It happens with me all the time. I break stuff in modding all the time because I use things in ways people wouldn't expect. Also, did the game just crash? You have to appreciate oh, no, 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 people no. are charitable. Like, if you find an issue, please be please be charitable. I'm trying. I'm going to say, Alex has been really good about that in his series so far, where he's, he's very understanding of the issues, and he's still willing to carry on. I mean, this many episodes in with the issues he had, a lot of people would have just stopped. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's Alex is a good egg. He's carried on. The one thing I do find funny that he does, uh, that I don't think is really that bad, but I'm sure some modders will take it to heart, is when he sees an item and he just goes, that's dog shit, straight, like, without even touching it. <laughs> I mean, I do that too, so it's fine. Yeah, there's, there's this habit that I uh, of hyperbole that I've generally developed a tolerance to. Like, I'm used to people saying that's terrible when what they really mean is I don't need that right now. Yeah, especially in Rogue, like, it's a big thing. Like, uh, in Inscription, there was this thing a while back where one of the big inscription YouTubers, Sift, yeah. uh, who did inscription modding, uh, had this sort of like a fallout with the modding community because uh, they were upset because a lot of modders uh, in the inscription community were kind of young um, and impressionable. And uh, there was this fallout because of that miscommunication where Sift would say, I'm not taking that, that is trash. Uh, that is garbage, that is terrible, uh, blah, 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 blah. When, like, he, obviously, if, if you pick up on that context, he doesn't mean it's a shit idea. He means it's a shit for I his don't need, Yeah, like, by and large, the majority of the time, this is terrible, this is bad, this is shit, translates to, I don't need this right now. Yeah, pretty and, much. Uh, the, the inscription modern community kind of had a bit of a falling out with them because they didn't get that subtlety. But that's something that pretty much every YouTuber does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. We can start another run, but I'm probably going to have to pause halfway through to go shopping. Alrighty. Uh, do you want to do Convict next, if we're going in order? Yeah, we'll do Convict next. Yeah, I, I, I can definitely get how, like, if you're not part of the modding community for long or you don't watch a lot of work like YouTubers, it's super easy to misinterpret what they mean by that. Yeah. And then obviously there's, like, what you said to me to me as well, where there's the frustration of someone picking up your weapon, not understanding how it works and writing it off. Yeah. Like, that happened to um, to Ski in one of Alexa's recent videos. He he got, like, the Berserk Rifle or something it's called like that, where you set yourself on fire and you deal more damage. And right as he set himself on fire, he got a massive lag spike and basically just took damage for no reason on reloading the gun and had no idea why. And so, probably in his mind, he's just written off that gun as garbage. Yeah, and you know that that's bad, and yet you do it constantly. I do, I do. Convict. Why do you do that? I don't know. I'm a wrong one. You're a broken bitch. Construct is a fucking amazing weapon. I don't know what that is. Neither. Peace standard. I don't... I, the only one I know is the Constructor because it's ancient. It's from... Left D-pad, or whatever his name is in the Gungeon code. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Retrash. I don't. I, like, I, I'd like to know where Retrash as a name came from. It's an interesting name. Is it because it, it kind well, it's, of sounds it's when like you're a, trash, but you're trash twice. It, it, it sounds like just a funny way of saying recycling. <laughs> 
Yeah, the Coiler, an attempt to buy the Spark Company to Ooh, create a recharging... Oh, this is another Spark one. Yeah. Uh, enemies hit with this Coiling Shot will detonate. Uh, ooh, cool. And we've also got the uh, Peace Standard. Reminder to spread love and peace as long as the person agrees with you and isn't oppressed. <laughs> Oppressing your rights. Dude. Deal more damage the longer players does not kill for in combat. Interesting. Right, so... Okay, so this isn't a charge shot. But it does blow shit up? That it does. Oh, so it, like... That's... It's, it's an odd one, but it seems powerful. It seems like it could do with a visual effect, so that you know that they've been hit sort of thing, and that you know they're about to explode. Yeah, I did arc weapons as like this fancy, super corporate kind of uh, lightning weaponry company. And uh, Ski uh, joined in. I, I was stoked actually that he wanted to use my lightning code. Um, and he made Spark, which is like a knockoff. <laughs> and it's, it's brilliant because all his weapons are functionally unique. But they, it's kind of a bit of cross-mod thematic consistency. Yeah, honestly, this weapon fucking is so cool. I love this thing. I there's been a say fucking suck. <laughs> there's been a few weapons recently that I've picked up and just fucking loved. I can't remember what it was, but there was an episode recently where I got one of Planet Side's weapons, and I just absolutely loved it. Oh, fuck you. And Feebled and Renewed. Feebled, Renewed. That's it. And isn't that isn't renewed like ammo or something? I think my I think it might be. No, it's, it can't be ammo. This is still down or down a few shots. Let's forget what that and, train and does. Enfeebled is reload speed, isn't it? Enfeebled is health. Oh, is it? Oh, I, I lost a heart. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Intriguing. Yeah. Like, uh, I recently fixed some bugs before. I I have trouble bug fixing because I'm just not good at identifying the problem. I hate, honestly, one of the things that made me quit coding more than anything else was bug fixing. I fucking hate finding and fixing bugs. Like, I had to fix uh, an issue with Curse of Butterfingers. And I couldn't figure out what was wrong. So I just changed shit until the issue stopped happening. <laughs> so you just hack jobbed it, basically. It's called shotgun debugging. All right. <laughs> just messing with the code uh, until it stops happening. Yeah, that's the actual term for it in, in programming. I, I, I should make a shotgun debugger gun at some point. This is a really cool gun. I just I, One thing I will always say and this isn't like a slight against the gun itself or the modder. Guns need better sound effects in modding. There's so many, I, I realize that you are, you are limited a lot of the time to just being able to use what's already in the game, but this gun is really, really cool. And it just loses so much of its impact and punch because it just doesn't sound right. Yeah, absolutely. I feel I, like that's a huge, been... huge part of a gun's style and identity. I've been trying to, like, sort that out personally with my own guns. Like, not even just... Just using different stuff, like taking sounds from the Jolta or the regular Shotty or just other guns. Even if they're not an interesting sound, they're a, a unique sound yeah. to the baseline. Because this one does actually have an interesting sound. It's just... It's quite quiet and, like, doesn't really fit the gun very well. But it is a unique sound. Yeah, it sounds like a flute. The ring gun. Oh, I, I think I know what this is from, actually. It's from Team Fortress 2. Is it? Yeah. Is that specific? It's what, literally, what it's, it's, from? it's from the, the reference collection, I think. Uh, Blamco. Oh, Blamco. Yeah. Ah, fuck, I thought it was from... Uh, if, if, it, if it was from uh, Round King... It would have been something completely different. Rapid fire mechanism that shoots syringes that have a chance to poison. Okay, cool. In Space Station 13, you can get a syringe gun that kind of looks like that. Maybe that's a TF2 reference. Or maybe the TF2 references to the other game. 
Maybe it's I doubt it. I doubt it very much. No, it isn't. Oh, this gun, this gun fucks. The fact that it can spawn turrets is one of my favorite things. I really want to, like, make more guns that have in-combat utility effects like that. Like, spawning tables and turrets. I say, this but... is one of my favorite weapons from Retrash's pack. It's so cool. And I had to think of a good uh, idea for a gun that would spawn turrets that isn't just a copy of the constructor. What we got here, then? All chests will drop guns instead of items. That is terrible. Get rid. You could keep it until you find a cell crate. I suppose, but... I'd have to find it next floor before I open any chests. I mean, you don't... One floor of guns isn't going to kill you. No, I like items are so much more fun. <laughs> Fine, I guess. If you really want to, darling, I'll let you drop the item. But that's your Christmas present, okay? <laughs> if you find it later in the run, you're low on guns, then it's a good idea. But right at the start of a, uh, of a run, I would rather not have all guns. Although... <sighs> Arguably, having all guns is probably better for your run in general, but items can be more fun, in my opinion. I'll see if there's a cell creep first. Boom. <laughs> That's so cool. I love that. Which the enemies glowed or something. Yeah. They, been, like... they, 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 should, they should use the, um, the sunlight javelin effect, maybe. When they've been impregnated with power. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So they're like they're like the kind of glowing with their energy. The sunlight javelin that, effect would work really well. That effect is actually just a reskinned fire. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, it does fire damage. Um, like I I actually recreated it for uh, my bullet shuffle item. Yeah. Which is like a random bullet effect each shot. So like an insane uh, fruitcake. Yeah, 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 I want that item. Hopefully we get it this uh, episode. I really love this. It's S tier, so you'll you'll be looking for um. Oh fuck me! Oh, that was horrible. I'm glad you like my trap room. Hey, oh, hello. Look at the arc. I'm really, I was talking as well in the Discord about making cross-mod synergies, and I really hope someone uh, makes a mod that has a bunch of cross-mod synergies. I, I think that'd be really cool. It's something, this, it's something that um, this game is missing, because it just, it creates a situation where you don't see many synergies, because if you're using Equilibrium, you find so many various things from different mods that you don't get synergies all that often. I mean, it's nice that they are oh. rare, but I'd like them to be more common. The thing with cross mod synergies is that for a lot of people, they're just not worth the time. Well, no, that's true. But if there was one bespoke mod that you downloaded separate to the original mod that added cross mod synergies, and someone put some effort into that, that'd be really cool. Yeah. But it, it's just kind of. Yeah, do I want to code content that most people won't see? And for, for a lot of modders, actually, that's why they don't make synergies at all. Like. I know Bot, not a bot, uh, really just didn't enjoy making synergies because she felt it was a lot of effort for stuff that people just wouldn't see at all. I, I feel and, like uh, it, it's one of those things where you, you are right. It is it is a significant amount of effort, especially if it's a cool synergy, like some of yours where it's a different version of the gun or whatnot. But the sheer amount of joy slash dopamine you get when you get a cool synergy is just unmatched in Gungeon. <laughs> And that's why you take synergy chests. Yeah. Because they're just... Even if the synergy isn't all that amazing, synergies just getting them feels cool. Yeah, absolutely. Might have to open this. Ooh, hello. And then also... The ability to make a uh, like one item in your or gun in your mod that's a synergy magnet, I think, is a really good way of doing stuff. Like this is a synergy magnet for expand. This gun yeah, just has so many different synergies. 
Yeah, they're really fun. Look, I, I'm working on the service weapon from Control. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is a very good game and a very good gun. Um, there's a lot of different forms in the game. And I'm trying to make those forms into different synergies. Frog gun. Currently, only two of the forms are synergies at the moment. There are, there are like six forms. Uh, there's So I've used one of the forms as the base. See, now this is a gun that has good sound. See? This gun... Yeah. Honestly, it's... The sound makes it. I'll have to... I, I say, the gun's power itself... Probably not a gun I'd otherwise use, because I'm not a big fan of bow and arrows in this game. And it does look a little bit like it's got a banana on the front of it, I'll be honest. But the sound work is divine. It's a reference to the devil went down to Georgia. That makes it good. Exactly. Right. I'm going to use frog here, though. Frog is... Frog is... Love frog is life. Yeah, frog is ridiculously overpowered, but I <laughs> feel like nerfing him at this point is... Like, oh, no. It'd be blasphemy, yeah. Frog is so good. He will sit as the paragon of the C tier forever. Yeah. This is yet another gun as well where, even though the sound design doesn't quite fit, it fits enough to make it feel really nice. Yeah, I just took the sounds wholesale from that one thing. PhD flopper. What does that do? Getting a lot of... Getting a lot of, uh, thingums from the reference thingums. collection. Damn. Almost useful. Not enough to survive the apocalypse. We'll never know. Yeah, we'll, we'll never know. I'm guessing you explode when you get hit or something. Maybe. In, in Call of Duty, PhD Flopper is a perk that you can get in zombies. And I as well had a stamina up for as well, and then we got two of them. Um, is a perk that you can get in Call of Duty Zombies that when you belly flop, it is an explosion. That I was expecting it to be when you roll, you explode, but that's not what it does. Hmm. Yeah, when you dolphin dive, when in, in you hit the floor, you when get I a think, explosion. When I think of Flopper, I just think of that one Minecraft April Fool's update from years ago, where they replaced droppers with floppers. <laughs> oh god. Has there been, like, anything that just makes all of the April Fool's things into one update? Like, every single April Fool's joke is one version of Minecraft? Because That the... would be impossible. I'm guessing there's some conflicting things, isn't there? Yeah. One of the, um, April Fool's updates was making Minecraft into, like, a, uh, one of those games from back in the day where it's like, free trial, you have 20 minutes to explore. Yeah. Uh, really crunchy graphics. You found a red key card. Use it to open red doors. Um, and just like, uh-oh, you fell into the nightmare. You died. <laughs> uh, and that would just be completely incompatible with some of the other April Fool's updates, yeah, like yeah. the one that made everyone into villagers. I like the most, is it most recent one? The one that just made it into like, everything has to be crafted and it's like really hard to craft stuff. I don't recall, I haven't really paid attention to the April Fool's updates in a while. The la I think it was the last one was really cool. It made the game significantly harder. It was one that made infinite dimensions. Like, they just made the game completely randomly generated with infinite dimensions. <laughs> nice. And it was really interesting and fun to explore, but completely unplayable. I'd imagine so, yeah. Back to my arc, boy. I think this has been our best run so far in terms of how well I've been playing. Yeah, sure, I'll give you that one. But then also, I do have some of the best weapons and stuff that I've had so far. I like this gun a lot. This gun's fun. Thank you. I love you too. Good shit. Hopefully we can get uh, the dark synergy. Yeah, that'd be so cool. That, I need the dark marker for that, don't I? Uh, there's a few items that would work. Dark Marker is just one of them. Let's hope for it. 
Yeah, like I was saying about synergies, it's just... They're just... They're a lot of effort, but they go a long way. Yeah, and I, I'm willing to put in that effort within my mod, but, like, cross-mod stuff is another level of effort that's, like, do we yeah. really want to bother? But yeah, I just noticed, especially now that now that Equilibrium's a thing, which is, is a mod that needs to exist. The show mod is ridiculous. Um, but... Thanks. Um, it does mean that you just do not find synergies very often. Uh, what does this do? I think... Um, Bullets have a 10% chance to become something. Having their damage, rusty. but... Um, having their damage, but infest... What? Having, having. their damage. Um, but infested enemies with rust. Enemies infested infected with rust take 50% more damage and be slower than aura that spreads rust to enemies. That sounds pretty cool. Let's, let's take it. Yeah. See? Dopamine. Not a good synergy, though. Well, this is a decent synergy. Makes looking a lot better it's than normal. It's fine. It's fine, but I don't really like it. Um. So yeah, it looks like uh, less damage on rusted bullets, but rusted bullets make enemies take more damage. Ooh, this thing has an actual meter now for like how fast you're going and how much damage it'll do. It's cool. I was the first gun. I was the first gun. I was the first person to I make a gun with a meter. Gun. I was the first gun. And on the sixth day, God created the first gun. And he saw that it was good. It was good. And that's why I should be allowed to shoot up a church. Hmm. Get rusty, rusty boy. Them. Rusty. I love him. Rusty frog. Gotta love this. Released. Um, one thing actually, with my just to look into my thought process. And why I find it hard to... What the fuck was that? Um... Um... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> that was scary. What was that... What was that noise? That's something to do with what the rust, womp, I think. Womp. What went womp womp? I think it was something to do with the rust. Um... But... One thing with my synergy thought process is... It's hard to think of fun synergies. Like, it's hard to think of interesting synergies that, like, aren't just, like, oh, with this synergy, the gun applies this status effect, which yeah. is really easy to do, but, like, no one I feel like that's... Like, no one really, like, goes, oh my god, I can't believe I got this synergy. It's just like, oh, nice, okay. Yeah, it's nice, and that those kind of synergies are good to have, but they're not interesting. No. They're just there. That's one thing I really struggle with. Yeah, it definitely is hard to think of really good synergies. Drop gun. Oh, also, something I've noticed, Alexa hasn't figured out you can do this yet. Why? Like, he's, he, he, he's a few times now he's gone, oh no, I've lost that gun, where's that gun gone? Oh well. And he's not realized that he's just accidentally favorited two of his guns. And so can't swap between all of them anymore. And so he, and he, but he doesn't know to hold down the button. So he, he, he just doesn't, he's never opened the weapon wheel. So why haven't you told him? Because I've only just remembered it now and I definitely need to tell him. <laughs> How do we tell him? Oh God, my back is hurting already. And we've got like four more hours of this. Oh, I'm sitting on the couch, dude. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm in my new chair. My new like, chair is pretty nice. I've got like I'm I'm sprawled out in some pillows, balls out. It's great. <laughs> nice. Really getting cozy. I, there. I I am wearing clothes. I would like to clarify. But you you just got your zipper undone. And you're hanging your balls out. No, no, that was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. My balls are in. They are inside my body. <laughs> is it when you talk to me they just retract? Yes. <laughs> you make me that deeply, viscerally uncomfortable. That's why I... That's why I have to bully you to feel something again. <laughs> oh god, yeah, the rust sound is strange. 
one major problem for me is like I I find it easiest to make a synergy when there's a reference in that synergy to make. Yeah. I one one thing that with with like missing synergies for me that it I I understand why people don't do them or like why they do get left out because it would just be a lot of extra work to do. But there's so many synergies where like they're so glaringly obvious that people don't make but i understand why like sometimes it'll be like oh here's the gold amulet and the gold coin technically i think they should have a synergy but they don't have to because it is just they're just at the same time loosely related. It, it does get really boring to make and this is the fifth item with gold in yes, the name I know, therefore that, it must synergize with every other gold item that, that is like, exactly I, what i'm talking about that's why i understand why people don't do it because that is tedious and i try i've tried to do that in the past but i've kind of just not like kept up with that because it, it gets kind of boring and, and, I'd and, much and, rather and have, then like, at the same at the same time if you've got like four things with gold that you've already made synergies for it literally puts you off making another thing with gold in the name yeah so I completely understand why people don't do it, but it's always one of those things where I'm like, ah, missed opportunity. But at the same time, I completely understand why. But yeah, like, walking away from a cliff is a missed opportunity to jump off that cliff, but that doesn't mean it's a good thing. <laughs> Capacitor. But like... I really should go back through and add at least one synergy to every item in my mod that doesn't have a synergy. Yeah, I, th I think so. But that's a lot of work and I'm, I'm a lazy bastard. Maybe maybe me and you'll sit down one day and just write synergies for all of your, all your things the that first happen. Time. We have done it before, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll just go through and write synergies for all the missing ones. That would make it more tolerable at least. Yeah. And I have what? good ideas. Okay, I get it's supposed to sound like a squeaky tire. Is it? Yeah, it's it's rust, so it's supposed to sound like a like a rusty wheel squeaking or something. Doesn't sound anything like that to me. Well, yeah, but it sounds like a computer going. No, you can't click on that. I don't know what it's meant to sound like, but it doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard. It it sounds like a squeaky wheel. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Rust on a hit. Rust on an axle is what it sounds like. Um, but it, it also sounds like a computer going, uh, no, actually, you can't click on that. <laughs> it is a bit of a jarring sound. It's a big boy. Ah, fucking Chungus. Chungus. Oh, I'm glad that meme died. I know. It took a long, longer than you'd expect it to, though. It, it was alive for a while. Yeah. It, it lived the natural expected lifespan of a rabbit. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, gosh. God damn, I fucking hate that bullets can be eaten by props. Just pierce the props, you stupid fucking bullet. It's so annoying. That's a thing that, like, people can set their, um, guns to do. But, uh, I only do it if the bullet's effect would be significantly hampered by props. Like this like, one's. If it's a, a slow-firing gun, I prefer to, like, make it pierce props because that would be really un Ooh. unfun and unfortunate. Ooh, I like this weapon. Shotgun with some Grill. extra punch hold to charge, a delayed burst, or don't charge to max out close range damage. I like it. Look at that little animation. Oh, it's cool. I just want a grill. There's a turkey over there. Cook it. Grill it. Grill that boy. I like this weapon a lot. Weapon makes it me happy. It is a good, good gun. Good gun, guys. Wrap it up. Meet you next week. See, question. 
How many people do you think are gonna watch this whole thing? Um, all of them. All of them. Understand? This is Understand, already significantly fuckers? longer than the average episode, so... You, you watch, or at least listen to all of this, or I'm gonna break your kneecaps. They're getting rusty. Making weird noises. Kill pillars are sharting. Oh, I got hit on the purpose for the sweet. damage burns, don't worry. Ah, definitely, absolutely. My my bad, good sir. Oh, also, I really am in this state where I want to hear if people think that an item can be improved in my mod. Because someone recently made the point that, which I completely agree with, actually, uh, on reflection, is that they feel a lot of individual items in modding aren't as interesting as individual items in the base game. Like, aren't really as beneficial to a run. Oh yeah, that's definitely true. There's tons of items that have very niche benefits, but it's just because, like... What? I don't know how to describe it, but there's just... There's not enough ideas in the game to make it so that every single idea for an item can be super impactful. Ah, uh, untrue. You saying think? that there's not enough... Saying that there's not enough ideas is, uh, okay. This is just something that I. Well, I well, I'm just all I'm saying. Feel. You don't, you don't want to repeat finish. yourself too much. My my point is, saying that there's nothing new to be made, like that there's like there's only a limited number of ideas, is a lot more telling about the speaker than the subject. Well, I don't know much. So that's why. That's just... Because, like, there are a lot of ways that certain things can be improved that I just didn't think of at the time, but it doesn't mean that they're not there. Like, uh, I improved tracer rounds to have a, a, a marginally more interesting effect. I, um, and I want to improve other older items as well. Do you want me to go through every item you ever made and scrutinize them all? Oh, on call someday, sure. Do it now as part of this call when we finish this run. Not this run, but like all the runs. We'll add an extra uh, six hours onto the recording. Uh, I don't think I'll be, <laughs> I don't really think I'm, I'll be awake enough at that point. No, I don't think so either. <laughs> if we are, sure. I mean, if you really want to. No, that but... would take forever. <laughs> I kind of get that. That's some, I wouldn't say that's a blanket like statement across across the board. I don't think that's that's the case for, for like too many of the items. But it, there's definitely a good few that aren't. Like if I just look at the, the run that I have right now, in terms of my items, like this table tech, I don't. I can't fucking highlight it. Fuck's sake. Like these but, two. Let, yeah, let's actually go over it. So the P standard is one that you haven't been using. I I, I literally There's haven't. There's a table tech you haven't been using. Well, There's well, well, an well, item well, that you said was bad. There's a couple stats. Oh shit! I never I drinks. never dropped that. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I just never dropped that. Fuck. No wonder I have so There's... many fucking guns. <laughs> and there's fart bullets. Uh, the rust bullets. I can't believe I never dropped that. Whoops. <laughs> Well, at the very least, you've been, you have used the item once, you have more room, you have more of a, a room to speak on it being bad. I wouldn't say it's bad, I've, I've definitely got good use out of it, I've got a lot of guns, but I just prefer items. I, it depends on the top person you are, I guess. Yeah, I just, I want to go over, because like, nothing's ever truly good first to try. And I've sort of had to come to terms with that and realize that I ought to go back and do another coat of paint, I guess, over older ideas. Yeah. For them to be truly good. Like, that punishment ray absolutely needs a new coat of paint. <laughs> it needs new sprites and it needs a tweak yeah, effect. Yeah, I, I would definitely say that the sprite work is not your finest on that weapon. But it's because it's an old weapon. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's like, for example, one thing, one thing that I always think is like, knife to a gunfight. It's a prime example of like, you can see how the sprites have gotten better. Like, personally, I think the violin sprite, I don't know how new that is. It's not an amazing sprite, it's decent. But then you look at this one, and this is just fucking awesome. This is really good. Yeah, it's this one's also pretty cool, too. It's definitely a little, um... Messy. Yeah, like, I'm not quite sure what that little green and red bit is, I'll be honest. That's the, that's the sandwich uh, filling. Yeah, but, like, it still looks nice, especially the coil at the front with the sort of ball at the end. I like that, and then the little sort of antenna sort of thing it's got coming off of it. But then, yeah, this thing looks amazing. It's basic, but it looks really good. Um, even this looks really good. The steam rifle looks really, really nice. And you can Absolutely, just, yeah. You can just see the improvement. Like, it's it's huge. And then, yeah, like you said, with some of your stuff, like, there's some of if your If you go to the there. Aminomicon, uh, in the gun section... Uh, yeah, everything I've made is together, so you can see the the variation even between entries in this list. Yeah, there's a huge amount of variation, and a lot of them could do with a touch up. Like this one, I think is just a bizarre sprite. I realize it's a reference, but yeah, it just looks. Th this nice. one I'm, is unlikely to change because it's. It's a good sprite representing what it is a reference to. This this one I particularly feel like is is lacking. Uh the high uh, yeah, it could do with it could do with um, it, look, it just looks so it just, it just looks so flat and like two dimensional. Well, that's cuz it that's cuz it is a, a very flat shape. But I mean like even things that are similar look better. I think this is another one that could maybe do with a bit of tweaking, the multiplic multiplicator or whatever it's called. Yeah, it, it's like slightly um, layer shaded, which isn't very good, but could be improved. Yeah, and then obviously like Punish Ray, yeah. But like like you said, there's tons of them that do look really, really good. The arc weapons look fantastic. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that could do with a touch-up. Definitely, yeah. By the way, the reason I went straight to the boss here is because uh, Katie just got back, so I thought we might as well finish out this run. Um, yeah. And then we can Don't take the, the bullet. Yes, good idea. I don't know why I chose to use the cactus there. That was a terrible idea. Uh, you wanted to do more dodging, obviously. <laughs> Do this uh, even if nothing goes wrong i'm still going to want you to send me the output log for this session but i thought the output log was only pair run is it for the whole session yes whole session oh, right i thought it was only pair run i thought it reset after our run no is it no, only it's, reset it's, on it's, game reboot yeah i believe so yes it's an output of the session oh you need to find the blacksmith i do um oh penis oh yeah Oh dear. Um. But yeah, uh, even if nothing obviously goes wrong in this recording, I'm still going to want uh, that there's output log. I'm going to say, yeah, it. there's going to be some back end shenanigans, most likely, with a session this long. Because I genuinely don't know if modded Gungeon has ever been soak tested for this long. Soak tested? Soak testing is where you, um, like... Bullet. Bullet, oopsie. Uh, soak testing is basically where you, um, like, set something up for a long period of time and see how it performs over a long period of time. Ah, yes. Yes. I, um, I thought that was stress testing. Stress testing is kind of the same, but stress testing is more just giving it a lot to do or giving it a high load. But, um... Ah, I see. Soak testing is more so like a long duration of time like for example at work we do a lot of live streaming stuff so a lot of the time we'll just leave a live stream running for 24 hours even though it's something that we'll never realistically do we need to see if our software is capable of doing the um the the duration um oh, but, right. but what i'm saying is i don't know if anyone has ever played back-to-back -back runs on modded gungeon for six hours it might have never happened 
Yeah. So we might find some hokey stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've already found a bit of hokey stuff, but nothing too bad. Honestly, this is the most stable session of modded Gungeon I've had so far in ages. I think that's because we it's haven't been used the more stable than your though. recent Isaac videos. Oh god, yeah. My recent Isaac videos have been a mess. And people say Isaac modding is stable. Um, oh, there you go, the call's coming back. I was very confused for a second yeah. there. See, that's, that's the effect that breaks and lingers sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it's a shame that these, like, sounds are difficult to track down on the soundtrack. Yeah. Hey, dude. That's your friend. I just tried One to second. kill him. Let's go do this thing. Get Tommy gun. Yeah, I always like to kill those first guys with a pistol. Make it a little easier. <clears throat> I love the dancing people. It's so funny. They're having a, they're having a good time. I've never want to make an enemy that... Hmm? I was just about to say, I've really, never really quite understand how the height works in this this past. Whether he uh, can shoot down like this so easily and you can shoot up so easily, it doesn't really make any sense. It is just a flat plane yeah. with some colliders. Walk right into the fire, um, Uber. But also, like, I... I really want to use that Molotov projectile he throws for an enemy. Ooh, someday. yeah, that'd work. It's like, I'm just reusing a projectile that already exists. Yeah, it'd be pretty easy to do, definitely. You're on fire. I realize. Brother, you're covered in Bifrost! <laughs> Luckily, he is pretty easy. I am just the talking head in the background, <laughs> narrating you doing everything, aren't I? You are, pretty much. Right. That is run three of eight, then? Yes, we're so, like almost halfway. We, we've done it's two hours and 17 minutes so far, so we've probably got another three hours minimum. Yeah. Probably a little longer depends than that, depending fast on the you, you... Depends on how fast you beat the hunter. Gunslinger yeah. uh, probably won't take that long. No, no, no. Gunslinger is probably going to be pretty quick. Bullet can be very quick. Robot's probably going to be the the only one that I have a really serious chance of dying on. Yeah. Because I just so, haven't played Robot in a really uh, long time. You go do your shopping, uh, yeah. and I will draw until you get back. I will probably be around an hour, because I've got to eat and stuff too. Um, but for, obviously, if you guys are watching the video, it'll be like literally no time at all. Um, but yeah, it'll probably be around an hour, something along those lines. Yeah, so pause the game and the recording, and honestly, this is just more stress testing. We'll see how long, see how long the game can stay paused. Yep. <laughs> right, cool. We'll stop the recording there. I'll pause the recording. This is still going to be one continuous video for you guys watching. And yeah, I'll be back soon. Uh, see ya uh, later. Bye. Hello again. We are back. We are back. No time has passed at all for you, but it has been many moons no, for No, no time has passed. It has been instantaneous. What were we talking about? <sighs> Absolutely no idea. Abyssal tentacle? It's not bad. This man took fucking 20 minutes to eat a sandwich. And take a shit. Oh, I... But you said you were socialising with Katie. Oh, well, I was. On the toilet. And then I needed to On toilet. the toilet. <laughs> did you take a shit on Katie, did you? Yeah, Come that's, that's really that's, worrying That's... Too. That's... Ugh. That's... What's that's, wrong with you? That, that's, that's what loved ones are for. Including family. I don't want to. I don't want to be your loved one anymore. <laughs> you do. You know you do. I don't. I really don't. I'd rather be clean. God, you're not gonna want to speak to me for like a week after this, are you? Oh God, no. <laughs> I'm sick of you already. No, uh, I'm. I'm excited to do the rest of this. <laughs> excited for it to be over. Few... <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. A bitch. So this one should be pretty fast because we have a little tentacle to start, which is going to speed things up on the first few floors. I think I might die as yeah. the robot, and Gunslinger and the bullet should both be very quick. But bullet very much depends on uh, skill issue. Yeah, it depends on the how presence yeah, and or lack of. 
That is true. That is true. I was just watching, uh, re-watching a playthrough series on the game Observation, which is... What's that? Such a good fucking game. It's this little, uh, story, uh, alien, uh, spooky thing. Story it's, it's a game where you spooky. play as the computer on a space station, which is something I absolutely love the idea of. Oh yeah, that does sound cool. I like that a lot too. Like, uh, playing as a computer is, is a concept that really is underutilized in games. When you play as a computer, you always have a body. Hello? Come on. Where's the rat? Oh, were you speaking? You didn't come through for a second. Oh, did I not? Sorry. Um, no, I, I gotta say, that is a really cool idea, definitely. I'm trying to get the ammo well, extension, just... but the rat's just not coming, so we'll just leave it, I guess. I think... Didn't you inst... Have you installed a mod that removes the rat from nope. ammo drops? I have not. I, oh, oh wait, I, then... I do I do have Sparpy's quality of life, so it could be part of that? Yeah, that's, that's what that mod does. Is that the only thing it does? No, it, no it's not the only thing it does, but it, it, it does that. That is quite nice. I did not know it did that. That's pretty good. Because, yeah, ammo is quite scarce sometimes, and it can be really annoying. Yeah, um, I was just maligning the fact that when you play as a robot uh, in games, you, they always give you a body. But I I think it's really interesting to exist through software Yeah. in a game. I, I love the idea of playing as, especially like a ship AI or a space station AI. I, I mentioned earlier about Space Station 13, but that's actually one of the roles you can play in that game. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta say, you've told me about quite a lot of the different roles in that game. Yeah, I should really play it more for how much I talk about it. You probably. <laughs> the main thing I've been... A, um, it's I, such a pain to play, I'd rather just talk about it and not play it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, I've heard it's... It seems like it's one of those games that... Yeah, in theory, you want to play it, and then you play it, and you're like, ah. Uh, what's this? Uh, this does the shadow clone effect when you take damage. So, uh, du spawns a shadow duplicate when you take damage. How long for? fires your gun. Uh, as long as the normal shadow clone. That's fucking ass. <laughs> I can't believe yeah, that's it's, D tier. It's uh, pretty good on hit effect. Yeah, so that's a very good D tier. It, it's D tier because it's on hit. Because, like, yeah. ideally, you're not going to get hit, but if you do... That's good, I like it. I, I do like also, having some more powerful items in D tier. It's not substantively more powerful than... Uh, the actual it... item itself, and the item itself is D tier. Yeah, I think I'm... There's also Double Vision, which is D-tier as well, and isn't substantively more powerful. Yeah. There's a good few D-tiers so, that are insanely good. I feel like, for an on-hit effect, it fits into D-tier. Yeah. I would definitely say so. But yeah, the thing that I've been watching but, at the minute, I've been re-watching a series that um, I watched a long time ago, and it's, it's sort of re-inspired me to start my own again. Uh, I've been watching Christopher Odd's Darkest Dungeon playthrough, which is just so entertaining. I Christopher really enjoy Odd. it. Christopher Odd. Christopher Odd. I know that name. Why do I know he, that name? He does a lot of different game playthroughs. You've probably seen him play a few things here and there. Yeah, oh, been... fuck yeah. I watched him play Half-Life years ago. Yeah. I want to say, I really, I, I've watched him play a few games. I really enjoy his content. Uh, what we got here? Light Some cube. Crystal. That sounds good and not harmful to your health. Sucks life from enemies works with almost all guns. Interesting. Uh, and then we we'll go back and get that ammo real quick. Uh, I, there was a time when I was really, like, obsessively into Half-Life 2. I wanted oh, to watch I'm, people play Half-Life 2. I'm really bad with that. I was only talking about that the other day where I have this problem where I burn myself out on games too quickly because when I start enjoying a game, I just consume as much content as I possibly can about that consume. game. Consume. And, and consume. Until, until I get to the point where I burn myself out. I did it with Elden Ring. I fucking love that game. I think it's amazing. I still haven't finished it yet. I'm not even probably, I'm probably only about a third of the way through. But because of when I was enjoying it and playing it, I was watching so many people play it and content on it that I kind of burnt myself out on it. And so I haven't been playing it as much. I still want to play it and I still am playing a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, so this just gives the life orb effect to every gun. Pretty good. 
Life Orb uh, is one of those guns where people really just forget how it works. Yeah, it's a very strong weapon. Um, Aragloss. Life Orb, when you, when you kill an enemy, uh, you take its soul and reloading deals damage to all enemies in the room. Uh, the amount of damage is based on the health of the enemy you kill. It's really good with it, the Lich. You can kill the Lich phase I, two in one hit. I don't remember if it stacks up or not. I'm pretty sure it doesn't stack, so you should use it as soon as you have it. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Also, it, I'm maybe stupid. It took me until now to realize that uh, it's the life orb, but the life cube. The life cube, yeah. yeah for some reason, I, it didn't occur to me that the reason <laughs> it was a cube was because the regular one is the life orb. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we all have those moments. Yeah, I make videos with you to look good in comparison. Ooh, this looks like a cool weapon. Oh, this is the one that... Oh, um, this is that one that, uh... That Alexa fucked up Yeah, with. that, uh, burned Alexa's butt. So, I'm pretty sure as you reload it while it's fully reloaded. Internal mechanisms of the LMG function much better when heated. Forged by one of the children of the sun, it'd be used to heat from their flaming bodies to loosen their firing pin. Light yourself ablaze or reload at a full clip to cram a thermite canister into the barrel. Safety measures have been added for non-plasma-based life forms. I'm guessing that means I'm immune to fire damage? Um, uh, it says reloading will flush all fire from the system. I see, I see. So, we want to go like that, set ourselves on fire, and then keep ourselves on fire. Oh, wait, what? That's interesting. You reloaded. No, I didn't. You so didn't I... reload to use the life orb effect? No, look, firing. Firing lowers the oh, fire charge. So you're supposed to, like, keep firing. That's really cool. Right. Really, really cool. But you, like, you've got to keep it in check, sort of. That is really dangerous, but really cool. The, the only problem with it is it kind of sucks with the life orb thing. Because <laughs> I have to reload yeah. so often. But it's a really, really, really cool weapon. Doesn't really work Man, for this run too well. Cool guns? Why can't I make cool guns? Honestly, oh, guns honestly, some of um, some of Ski's latest inventions have been really, really cool. Yeah, a lot of Ski's latest guns absolutely blow mine out of the watering concept. That those are real tiles, by the way. They just okay. don't have a texture. It's just a glitch. For some reason, there isn't a texture for that specific floor tile in this specific tile set. Come, come over here, you dickhead. Actually, that's a mimic. What the heck? Space the fuck is that? Increase the power of any gun you kill a boss with. Ooh, that's cool. I wonder if oh, mini bosses so you... count. I mean, maybe? They have to specifically exclude it. You should probably try and kill, deal the killing blow with the tentacle. That's exactly what I'm thinking, yeah. The... I can't say the only problem is I won't know when the killing blow is, but I actually will, so. That was stupid. Yeah. Uh, people were actually like. No, you shouldn't port this mod without uh, getting Golden Revolver's permission. Uh, I looked at the code. This mod is like three lines of code. <laughs> so, like, I really don't think Golden would be that possessive over it. Just use the tentacle now. You have the ammo. You have the ammo. Huzzah. You were... I was... Ah, fucking hell, you're a... Ah, I hate you. <laughs> this is actually pretty good in the salt gun as well. I was actually considering making a um, an item like this uh, sim. Why is it a symbiote, by the way? I'm entirely sure why that theming is the way it is. I'm not sure. Never I was originally really going to do something like this, and I might still do something like this, but with like fire rate, because honestly, that is something that's kind of untapped, I guess. Yeah. When people want to make items that in increase DPS, and I'm guilty of this as well, they go for the, for damage. But fire rate works just as well. Red Robin. This is a pistol that deals more damage when you're at full HP. I'm at full HP. But you could also increase a gun's DPS by increasing its fire rate. Yeah. But I think fire rate is always more fun than damage. Always. Because it makes some guns really wacky. Yeah, like, I might make 
uh, a version of this concept where killing a gun, killing a uh, boss killing a buffs a gun. Shut up. Where killing a boss buffs a gun, but make it like fire rate instead of damage. Yeah, that'd be cool. It's a really cool idea. Because my original concept that I never got around to doing was like notches on a barrel. Like, ah, oh, I've killed 16 men, and so there are 16 notches on this gun's barrel. Be cool if you could have a gun uh, like that, kind of like the Gunda Fury, where it like gets notches of how many bosses it's killed throughout every run, and it gets it gets stronger permanently in future runs, depending on how many bosses it's killed. I mean, you might have to have a cap on it at some point, but that'd be pretty cool. On the notches on his pistol, numbered one in nineteen more. One in nineteen more. That's exactly where I got the idea from. So Ooh, if I, like I do it. that, I'd have to make it have a synergy with the big iron. Yeah. I can probably honestly use this. This thing seems like pretty strong at full HP. Yeah, it's it's like a mediocre pistol at not full HP, but it's solid. It's solid when at full HP. It's never I, great. I, I but really, it's okay. I really like guns like this where it's D tier because it has a big downside. But if you use it correctly and like take advantage of its uh, of its quirk, it can be a really solid sort of B tier type weapon. Also, it has a custom muzzle flash, and I don't know why I did that. Oh, it does. It's cool. I like it. Oh, that was a fucking bullshit a hit. You know it. See, we lost damage, but we got a shadow yeah, clone, so. isn't aiming at the boss for some reason. He, he's special, okay? He's doing his best. Boom. Boom. Headshot. What is this? What are those? Fuck are those? Expensive bullets. Ah, oh, I think that does something whenever you purchase an item. I think I remember helping uh, Dalton make this. These bullets were forged uh, on the most capitalist of planets. They still yearn to wi uh, witness the exchange of currency. Grow more powerful with each purchase made. Yes. I think it's just damage up when you purchase something from the shop, which is real good. I'm actually surprised that like an item like this hasn't been made or hadn't been made already. Yeah, it's pretty basic, but it's a good item. Um, probably use the iron like, gun. One of the, one of the oldest items is the twin pins, which is just that, but for coolness. Twin pins is so, so good. I really enjoy twin pins. How long has it been since you had twin pins? Quite a while. Forever, perhaps. Um, I really like, I really like the fact that as well, it does the like rad gun noises when you buy stuff. I think the theming of that's just really nice. Yeah. Anytime people put the extra effort in to make their items like heavily themed, I really enjoy it. I think it's just really good. Yeah, that's another thing I need to fix up if I go back and look through older items and guns. Take so guns many that are a little, that just... a little too plain and make them a bit more interesting, sort of thing. Yeah. It's it's fine to have playing guns. Why are my bullets so big now? Holy shit! Wait. Did well, I add? I did think... I? Did I add 60% extra damage by purchasing two things? Uh, no. I uh, check your items. Uh, I'm confused. What's going on? But when uh, you I think it's the, the items... I think it's the R and gun. I think I've glitched it with the R and gun. Huh. Because like. Uh, when you purchased the items, it said you got 3%. I was looking at your stats. So was I, yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know where I got all this damage from, but I'll take it. Three stats. God damn, this life cube. Honestly, so far, Every single item that we found from Bleaker Pack has been very strong. Because <laughs> the, the, the oh, yeah. heart Bleak. thing was from Bleaker Pack as well. Bleak, like... Mm. Oh, the heart thing, the healthy bullets. Oh, hi. It's hey. me. Hello. You would be sacrificing uh, your thing, but these... You can... 
turtles. They have three times the HP and persist between floors. So, Can I get a super space turtle if I spend enough health? There is, I believe, a 1% chance to get a super ah, space turtle from that. But you 1%. can trigger it multiple times. Okay. I'll, I, won't, I won't spend any more health yet because I don't want to die, but... I did. I did. It did feel, feel wrong if you couldn't get space turtle. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Just, just especially based on the fact that like the way that my custom character works, it has that. It'd be weird if it didn't point, have it. Uh, we need to get your custom character ported. Yeah, yeah. I really want Alexa to play it. You need to make Alexa a custom character that that's isn't also just the true. Wanderer. Yeah. Also, I have this bad habit of saying Alexa as Alexa. Yeah, so do I. I so, so, so do I. I completely agree with you. That's my my random gun. <laughs> G20. <laughs> this is one of the guns that needs a, a refresh. It doesn't have enough range if you look, for me. It, the G20 refreshes every room. Yeah. Um, But it is kind of just snarly. Like, it's not good enough to use, and its sprites suck, and its effects suck, and sounds suck. And I really, really want to do a refresh. I was actually considering doing it, a refresh, somewhat recently, but then I remembered, oh shit, I have to update my mod before I uh, play with Turtle. Yeah. So. I just I realized that, that crossbow is really, really good with the life cube, because it just triggers instantly while I'm firing. Yeah, yeah. Um, on a note about the name Alexa. My parents have actually told me that if I was uh, born a girl, they would have named me Alexa. Oh, really? Um, I, what, what would I have been? I can't remember. Um, Rebecca, I think I would have been. It's interesting to like know that, like ha be told that, oh, this room is an Among Us. It is a bit, isn't it? And then my sister was named yeah. Kira after someone on Star Trek. Okay, docs. <laughs> Look up Kira Mellon on Facebook. Oh god, you've told me your last name, but I don't remember it. Someone out there knows it, because they fucking sent an email to my personal email address. It was kind of creepy. It's like, it's like Luke uh, Field or something. It's not. It's like something to do with grass, and that's all I remember. <laughs> kind of, but not really. <laughs> that's fairly the, far away. Close, close enough. Close enough. That's good enough for me. But yeah, I did, I did receive a, a random email to my personal email address that no one on YouTube should have, or Discord, or anything like that, just saying, hi, Turtle Melon. That was a bit creepy. I'm not quite sure how they got a hold of that, but it is the internet, so it's going to happen. I'm not going to think about it too much. He's got an insane stalker. But just just a tip for an out, anyone out there. Don't do that shit. It's fucking weird. <laughs> Um, I was actually named, I think, by my, uh, oh, who was it? It might have been my great aunt, uh, who is dead now. It was, it was some female extended family member. I don't remember mm. who. But uh, chosen in practice. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe you doxed me like that. I've said your name on here multiple times, haven't I? Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> you've doxed... So you're admitting to doxing me more than once. Yeah. Scandalous. Golden circlet. The... It... Each shot has a chance to summon a homing crying, ring yeah. of bullets. Take down your enemies. Another bleaker one. I'm guessing it's going to be really overpowered. So that's the old king's crown. Uh, if you look at his sprite, he has that circlet on his oh, head. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, and because it says it summons a homing ring. I'm imagining it's going to summon a ring kind of like how the old king does. Yeah. I don't know if it'll work with uh, with this weapon. Yeah. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, but uh, my parents have told me like the process of naming me and how uh, unpleasant it was. Um, so they were going to call me Leroy. Leroy? Yes. But they realized that my dad's name was uh, also started with an L, and they didn't want everyone in the family to be L. So they they didn't go for Leroy. Infinigun and this one again. 
Spinner gun's gonna be pretty damn good. Oh, that's cool. Okay, ah, this is right. this is strong. It killed all my tails. Oh god. Wait, can it? Why could it kill turtles? That shouldn't be possible. But it did. You can't normally, you can't normally shoot your own familiars. Certainly that feels like a bug. Though. Blake? <laughs> hey Blake! Yeah, you in the dungeon. I feel like Blake um, needs to do a lot with this item <laughs> pack. Just test it a bit. See if it uh see if it really is colliding with the yep. turtles. They just kill them all. Oh. Yeah, Blake's stuff is seriously impressive. Like making those rings is really impressive. Uh it's just a little buggy on the fringes. Because, like, that, I, that I feel health... like all the stuff is just a little too powerful. Those healthy bullets were a really cool idea and really well executed, but a little buggy on the fringes. Way too like, common. Way too common as well. Yeah. Like, Blake doesn't mod super often. He's, he's a busy man. He does taxes or something. Um. Oh, okay, that's a bug. Your turtle's respawned. They shouldn't do that. That they did. But yeah, those rings, I'm looking at them now as someone, I, I know how difficult that would have been to make, and that's really impressive. Um, Blake is an amazing coder, and he emerges from the woodwork every now and again to make amazing stuff, but sometimes it needs a little bit of tweaking. Oh, you know what I think it is? What? I don't think it's the bullets themselves colliding with enemies, because if you, if you look when one hits an enemy, it seems to hit them a bit from a distance. Yeah, it does, definitely. I think he's just manually dealing damage to entities nearby. Ah. Which would explain why it's accidentally triggering on uh, stuff like the turtles, because the turtles are technically entities. So, that is my two cents. Of course, I can't know without taking a look at the code, so I could be completely wrong. I feel like I need to, like lampshade that when I make a statement about someone else's modded item. Yeah. That it mu it's entirely possible that it does work this way. Uh, can't say that for certain. Undergrounds. Cleansing rounds. Chance to unjam jammed enemies when you shoot them. Pretty good, but we only have one care, so it shouldn't be too relevant at the moment. Didn't you forget? I think you forgot to get that thing from the I did. Thing. I completely did. You're right. See, that's why I'm here. I have to be the brain. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Oh. There's a lot of effects as well that I need to make work with beans. With beans? Or beans, beans, you daft cunt. <laughs> oh, we got this again. Oh, this thing, yeah. Philistine! Philistine? Philistine. Philistine! Philistine sounds like the name Phyllis. <laughs> That's all I think of. I know what it means, but it sounds it's like, like Phyllis. It's like, it's like a Frankenstein made out of a woman called Phyllis. Yeah, the Philistines. God damn, this is a powerful run. I recently tried to make an item uh, work with beams, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working with beams. It drove me fucking mad. It does sound annoying. Especially considering beams are pretty common weapon type. Yeah. That's another thing I need to do a second pass on with my items. Uh, go back, uh, do a second pass on my items, make sure they all work with beams, as, or at least work as well as I can make them. Yeah. Oh god, why did we as modders introduce a third, like, weapon type when we still haven't fully sorted out beams? <laughs> What's the third weapon type? Do you mean the electric? Me What's that? You cut out then. Melee. Melee, alright, yeah. What the fuck is that? Just this big fella. What were those? No, but like I don't know. A bunch I of bullets came them. down from above. I have no idea I, where they came the... from. That was cool as shit. That should be an enemy all on its own. But um, yeah, because of course, all styles of bullet weaponry are they have the same like code for making effects work. Yeah. Beams are completely different and require custom code 
to make items work with them, and melee is that again. Uh, requires custom code. Then you have undefined damage, and I've actually set up systems in Alexandria for it that should allow us to make items work with melee and uh, AoE damage, oh, that's like good. how the camera does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, however, I have been a bad example and haven't actually d uh, done anything with those systems yet. I've made the systems and want other people to use them, but I haven't done it myself. <laughs> you need to make like an example one, yeah. Yeah. I've actually been thinking, um, once we're into the breach has a few, uh, it has a few improvements to beams. Yeah. It, like, it makes blank bullets and explosive bullets work with beam weapons, which they don't by default. Yeah. And I'm thinking about expanding that into a, a whole different quality of life mod that oh, makes, yeah, uh, makes vanilla, like, vanilla items affect beams and melee. Yeah, I'd definitely do that. At the same time, that's work. What the hell like is a this? Mirror? Mirrored, Mirrored bullets. bullets. Um, oh god. Gives that's something... Ominous. Um, gives two curse and double spread, but the player will shoot an additional something bullet. Mirrored. Mirrored bullet. That sounds fun. Let's try it. So, double shot. Oh, it's the whiz. It's the whiz, but not quite as aggressive as an angle. It's the whiz. The item that you love. I always take it. Fly friend. I kind of want that too, but I can't afford it. Ooh, particle beam! That gun. It's a new one. Uh, I recently made, and I'd be excited for you to see it. I still can't afford it, though. I'm going to cry and... Oh, it's a hollow, so you should be able to sell some stuff. Oh, true, 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 true. It seems like the angle might be random. Yeah, it seems like it is, because it's just based on the amount of spread, like I got 20, 24 degrees of spread. It's just the way that it does spread. Right, right. This is visually quite messy. <laughs> but, uh, very strong. quite powerful. Very strong, but, yeah. Oh, see? See, that is exactly what it is. If you look at, um, when the rings all disappeared, there was an additional VFX effect in the middle that appeared, like a bullet deletion effect. Ah, right, Because okay. by default, bullets have deletion effects. So what I think it has to be is there is a center bullet that uh, is invisible but does all the effects. Yeah. Which is how I would do it if I did the, this item. So that's not a bad thing. It's just I'm trying to decipher how it works. Ah, uh, infinite money. Um. Yeah, you don't need the uh, cleansing rounds. That's probably it. Yeah. And then I can buy. Are you using both... that table tech? I'm not actually. You're right. Now, purchase. Right, fly friend. What does that do first? Despite her small size, this little fly can provide great hope to its friends. Um, minor increase to many stats. Decent. All right, so it, it's just an all, a small all stats up. And then we got the particle beam, invisible laser, which tears um, chunks from intersecting walls. Ooh, it destroys walls. It doesn't, but you take a look at it. It's an invisible beam. Uh, but it creates shrapnel where it hits, which can also damage enemies. That's pretty cool. Let's try it's not even, this out. It's, I, I'm so proud of it. Uh, also, it's a reference to the cartoon Gargoyles, which a friend made me watch. So. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, surprisingly, for the plot of a, a cartoon called Gargoyles, they have to take down terrorists who are using laser weapons. So, like... <laughs> Okay. It was it was like the eighties and nineties. That shit was kind of normal. Yeah, it kind of was. And now we have the Scooby Doo reboot.
No, no, it's not the Scooby Doo remote. It's Velma. Velma. Ooh, Velma. I have intentionally happens... stayed away from learning anything about that because I just don't want to deal no. with that right now. What happened to Mindy Kaling? God damn. I don't know what who did, this what... is the voice actor. She's the writer and creator of the show and the voice uh, actor of Velma. Ah, uh, um, right. What happened? What, what did white men do to her? Because <laughs> they, uh, they seemed like they did some real bad shit to her for the, the way that she portrays them. She was stung as a baby. Seems like it. But then also Glenn Howerton voices, um, what the hell's his name with the blonde hair? What the hell's his name? Fred. Like, why, Glenn? You're better than this. Come on. Speaking of inbuilt aversions, I really want to make, like, expose an arachnophobic to a spider. <laughs> uh, I, I've witnessed that many times because Katie is a ridiculously massive arachnophobe. I thought you were going to say it because... <laughs> No, I'm not going to even finish that. The way you said it sounded like a very different word. <laughs> um, uh, but basically, I want to um, find an arachnophobe and intentionally like make them hold the freakiest spiders I can find. <laughs> you have some fucking torture fetish. Yes, but that's completely unrelated to this desire. I want to expose them uh, even though the laser is invisible, it does still deal damage yeah, to Yeah, I can see that, that yeah. Through. What the fuck? When there's a shadow clone, the game does not like it. Oh, that seems odd. Uh, but... Um... See, it, it's sort of an idea like, I wonder if I could find a bunch of arachnophobes and convince them I'm doing it for a good cause. <laughs> like, let me make you hold a tarantula for charity. Like, I would adore that. That That is my dream. <laughs> a pretty sick dream. Like, yeah, I know, right? It's sick epic. Not quite. It's Trey's epic. Okay, for some reason this gun is quite laggy when there's a shadow clone about. I'm not sure why that would be. It's just like a normal beam with an effect at the end. Like, that shouldn't cause that much lag. It does not also, like for it. some reason, maybe the beam is colliding with the shadow? I don't, I don't fucking know. I think it is colliding with the Shadow Clone. Like, if I do, if I get a Shadow Clone again, watch what actually happens, because the, the particle effect of it hitting the wall occurs at the location of the Shadow Clone. I'm so very confused why that would be. <laughs> but that is what happens, so... Uh, I love code. I definitely <laughs> don't hate it. I love code. Oh, honestly, I just thought shock bullets will be really good with this. It depends on if all the bullets get post-processed. Well, it's even just the split shot that I'm firing. It'll be helpful. Oh, right, yeah, that. Sorry, I was thinking about the rings. No, 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 the rings I didn't even really occur to me. Okay, watch watch the Shadow Clone. You see it? You see that then? Happened very yeah, briefly reason, before it disappeared. The laser it fires... Um, seems to terminate at, at itself. That's so strange. There's no reason why it would do that. Oh, uh, uh, text box got stuck again. Just a little bit. Okay, so it looks like the, um, the fire circles don't get post-processed at all. Probably a good thing, otherwise it might be quite laggy. Like, not even the center projectile gets post-processed, so they can't adopt any bullet effects. Oh, they're breaking. Oh, oh look gosh. at them. Look at them go. Look at the dance they do. But yeah, it looks like not even the center that they're orbiting around um, does it. I've actually wanted to use this... I'm assuming they're using orbital bullets code and making the orbit target an invisible projectile. Yeah. That's, that's what I assume this is. And I have 
wanted to use, like, I've, I've thought of that as well, and I've wanted to use that for uh, an item, but not really been sure what to make it. Like, I've considered a gun, maybe? Um, that, that fires stuff that behaves like that. I'm still not sure, though. Piece of shit. <sighs> Cannot take this piece so of shit. You're so mean to me. You're so mean to me. You're so mean to me. Maybe. Oh, it's the diamond, but we don't know what does Enemies, it. enemies, I enemies. I always forget there's enemies in this room. Fuck's sake. That's why I was yelling at you. <laughs> always forget. Get me out of there. So you have 5.5 .5 curse, so I think the boss can be jammed. No, it's 6. Is it 6? Yeah. I thought it was just anything above 5. No, it's anything above 6. Oh, well, it's 6 or above, should I say. See, that's the thing, right? It really depends on how the code is written. Is it greater than 5, or is it greater than or equal to 6? I'm pretty sure it's greater than or equal to 6. I'm pretty sure. That makes all the difference. It does. I'm, I'm fairly sure it has to be 6 or above. You, you've got the Google. Do, 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 do Google. Oh, fucking... Oh, yeah, Google. Uh, how does boss work and enter Gungeon? Yeah, just, Google's just, gonna fucking know. Well, just go onto the fucking curse wiki. It'll tell you on there. Oh, my God. I've edited that page. It's shit. It probably does tell me, but I don't trust it because it's the wiki. The wiki uh, often... It gets small things wrong, like, not in uh, big enough things to where it matters generally, but it tends to get, like, if it was the difference between 5 and, uh, great, less, uh, greater than 5 or greater than or equal to 6, that's something I could foresee the wiki getting wrong. Yeah, I'd have to, fair. I want to actually look at the, the code itself to double check before I allow anything. Oh, it's going through and then doing shrapnel at the back. Yeah. Here. Yeah, these fire oh, rings are cool with the electric. Yeah, this gun looks really cool, but the fire rings are getting a bit wacky. Maybe there should be a limit of how many can be on screen at once. Yeah, or maybe they should just despawn after a certain amount of time. Uh, honestly, the limit sounds more fun. You fired like three in like one. <laughs> yeah, <clip. I> know. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget one the burst. bullet. Yeah, I won't, I won't. Well, you say that you won't, but you will if I don't tell you. Dog gun and what? Oh, dog gun. Glad that nothing is majorly broken with my mod. So far, nothing's been majorly broken, has it? This this session. Yeah. Majorly? No, not really. There was that one bug we got at first uh, with the Marine, but that went away on its own. Yeah. I hold my breath waiting for you to accidentally fall into bullet hell. <laughs> Depending on how long you we've been recording, this... the, the last one we might do bullet hell to end it. Well, you'll have to because it's the gunslinger and his past is bullet hell. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that. Um... You mentioned this in an Isaac video, but you mentioned, I bet people were watching the video and the moment I went to do this, they knew exactly what was going to happen. And yeah, yeah it is kind of like that. As in like, basically, yeah, I know that so many people are watching and they see the mistake well ahead of when I make it, know it's coming, and are just so annoyed that they know it's going to happen. Yeah, I can attest to that happening multiple times. I'm going to say, like it, it was, you... it, it, I remember saying it, it was when I fucked up with the um, the white fire thing outside the Holy Mantle. I went straight into the fucking curse room and just killed myself. Because I forgot that you have to unlock the Holy Mantle that you use in the shadow, uh, on the shadow, in the mirror dimension. Because I've literally never had to deal with that before because I already had a completed save file when Repentance came out. Also, uh, this guy, uh, Nazi. Nazi! Little Nazi fella. Nazi! Oh, my favorite clip of Mark Hamill is him yelling Nazi. <laughs> Mark Hamill is amazing. Um, yeah, you seem to be getting turtles back each floor, which is a bug I'll have to look into, but that's... That's the only major bug, at least. It's actually kind of fine. I like it. 
Yeah, it's fine, but if the turtles are going to be permanent, I need to tone down how easy they are to get. Because if you can get them each four, they should be weak, I yes. guess. Because th they're given uh, times three HP with the idea that they will uh, die permanently. But yeah, this guy is a Nazi. Uh, if we're talking about what the past or reference, the convict is, of course, Hotline Miami. Uh, Marine is Doom and Half-Life. Pilot is uh, Star Wars and uh, various... Space Invaders. Um, sh shmups. Not Space Invaders. Uh, Galga and Galaxian come to mind. Mm. Which, uh, have you heard of either of those? Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're the classics. My local arcade actually has Galaxian, so that's fun. Um, a local arcade? I don't have a local arcade, sadly. Yeah, you look like, I don't know how we have a local arcade. No, <laughs> this town does not have the population to sustain a local arcade. Like, you go in, there's it, like one person there. No, and it's full. Like, every time I've been in the park, really? it's been full. Too. Yeah, I guess it's just because the, it's the only fucking thing to do in town. <laughs> Right, is it robot next? Uh, yes, I would say robot. But oh, um, robot's roll sounds. And Hunter's Past is a reference to Indiana Jones, uh, Frankenstein, and uh, Wolfenstein. Yeah, definitely Wolfenstein. Yeah, it's mainly Wolfenstein, but it has. Uh, bits of the others. Holy water, no curses. Oh, no curses at all, nice. That's lovely. Yeah. Plus it has that synergy where if you... It, it doesn't prevent against item curse, but it prevents against floor curses. Yeah, yeah, I, so, I thought that's what you meant, yeah. So you won't have to worry about any of them. There is that synergy that lets them show up again, but be positive. Nice, 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 nice. But what's that with? Do you, know, do you remember? Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, no, I do not remember. Oh, for fuck's sake, really my first room and I get this bullshit? Oh, I just thought of a great idea for a quality of life mod. What's that? Uh, when you walk into a shop, it tells you what items in the- Like, if you have a synergy with any of the items in the shop. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, just a general thing that gives you synergy indicators would be super nice. It's like, you mentioned that you don't see a lot of synergies, but how many synergies have you probably just, like, Passed not gotten not knowing. because there was a- there was a shit item in the shop, and you're like, well, I'm not wasting money on that. Yeah, But yeah. it actually had a synergy with something. That'd and be you a just super didn't know. useful one, yeah. I'll, I'll look into seeing how I can do that. Like, I, I can't think of other situations where I could have an indicator, but, like... His chests are buggy, and I would... Like, the way chests work, they... They're, what is inside a chest is completely immaterial until you open it. Yeah. Chests do not know what is inside them ahead of time. Unlike Isaac, Unless... un unlike Isaac's uh, item rooms where item rooms already generate when the floor generates. Exactly. Um, the exception to this is if you have an item that has to check the contents of a chest. Stuff like those companion synergies that show you what's inside a chest ahead of time, or uh, stuff like the the scrolls that tell you if it's an item or a gun. They have to force the chest to generate its contents before they can um, tell you what's in it. Yeah. So in those situations, the chest content becomes uh, predetermined, and that's fine in most cases, but it's glitchy. Yeah, I can imagine. So, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you uh, if an item exists in a chest without potentially causing that glitch to appear a lot more often. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't be able to do synergy. I couldn't do synergy, synergy, synergy indicators for chests without um, potentially fucking up other stuff. And the only other source of items is really boss pedestals. By the way, it's really but weird they're... to be able to pay for this with money and not mm -hmm. keys. You, you can never normally get that without paying for it with keys. It's weird. Well, what if it's just in the shop by default? I've never seen it in the shop by default. It's always from the key shop guy. Anyways, carry on. Well, you, it's, 
it's uncommon because it's an A tier item, I believe. Yeah. So it's not going to appear in the shop appear in the shop very often, but I don't think it, it's prevented from. Um, but what I was saying uh, is, I really think shops are the only place where I could put in a, a hey. This completes a synergy indicator. Yeah. Because everywhere else, like, chests would cause glitches and boss pedestals. Y you're not going to not pick up a boss pedestal. Yeah, exactly. Who's lost the point? And if you if you do and you miss a synergy, that's your fault. Oh, bugger. Okay. I'll, I'll look into doing that uh, soon, actually, because... Synergrace is oh, blessing. Of synergies, I think this has a chance to replace chests with synergy chests. Yeah. Can synergies just be mimics? We were talking about can, synergies. Can be. They cannot. But uh, you will still have the keys to open them because you're saving yeah. keys on other chests. But, uh... Yeah, I think a synergy indicator in shops would be a neat, neat quality of life thing. Definitely, yeah. I'd, uh, I'd want to figure out, like, um, how to do it. Maybe when you hover over the item, kind of like how, uh, what mod is it from does. Yeah. Like, maybe just when oh, you maybe hover just over have, an item. Maybe just have an icon over it when it spawns. I don't know if that would work. I, I could, but maybe when you hover over it, it does the synergy arrow thing that appears above your head. Yeah. And it does like a sound, so that if you're just being a lazy bum, it actually like draws your attention yeah. to it. Yeah. Fuck's sake, how'd I get hit by that? Bullshit, cock fucking stupid gold piece of. Ugh. Why is that saw blade gun such horse shit? <laughs> it does no damage. It's gotta have some sort of like shtick to it that you're just not getting. I think it does. It's like, that, it's, it's a bunny oh, uh, gun, and bunny's. Fuck? Pissed the See, fuck off right now. You're doing that thing again. Oh, this is the. Oh, this is that gun. Yeah. What? Um. Uh. Shotgun king. Shotgun king gun. What does uh, this do? Steve recently made this. Um. It. Uh. It fires in like proper direction, like ca cardinal and ordinal directions. I think the word is. Um. And it show shows you the uh, angle of its spread exactly. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a neat little gun. I quite, I, it's not like that powerful, but I thought it was cool because yeah, of the I amount think. of effort that's clearly gone into it. I think it's cool too. I'm a fucking well annoyed that I lost so much health and that was some fat bullshit. No, it really wasn't. You just didn't dodge. Uh, it annoys me fucking loads though. I was like, ooh, this saw blade gun will fucking destroy him. And it's like, ah, I did no damage whatsoever. <laughs> It looks so That's meaty, and it makes them bleed like crazy, and it does like no damage. That um, that uh, mimic hit is funny because I, you do that a lot in, in videos where you're like, "Oh, how did that hit me?" It's like the enemy attacked. Yeah, but it, it's like the, the enemy... fucking bullet came from behind me. I thought it was well gone by then. Oh my god, the aim assist on this gun is janky as shit. Uh, it seems like it doesn't really work too well with aim assist, yeah. But it's a really cool gun, like in general. But like, look, I've tried to aim the system to that thing, and it's just like, I can't get between these two angles. It's fixed. There's no smooth movement yeah, between these two angles. That's the point, yes. That's how the gun works. Oh. Uh, ah, I see what you mean I said, now. I, I told you it fires in cardinal and ordinal directions. I don't, for some reason I didn't know that's what you meant. What did you think I meant? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think I meant? What did you think I meant? Oh, you assume I think? Exactly. Um... But yeah, that's another thing I see you do in Isaac videos. You're like, how did that hit me? And it's like, the enemy did its one attack and you didn't move out of the way. That's how it hit you. Normally when I say that, it's not because it's like the way that it hit me is bullshit or it shouldn't have happened. It's more so that I just did not see what happened. And so I was conf I am confused by what hit me. I just, it's just, oh, is, does, is that something that spawns more warm in Yes, it? it is. I think we should definitely take that. There's another cell creep there, so money shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. 
Remember this double gun was like the most powerful gun in your entire mod? <laughs> and I had to nerf it because... Yeah. Uh... It, did, it did like literally double the damage it's doing now and it was just obscenely good. It's already it's very good. Good. Now it's just good, not obscenely yeah. so. It's just because of how ammo efficient it is as well. Like even now it's still really ammo efficient. Double gun was foolishly made under the impression that you might miss the shots, which when is stupid. <laughs> when it's literally impossible to miss the other shot. Yeah, like you, it's possible because they are two different bullets. But it's kind but of like having 2020 like... and Isaac where you can, but you never will. Yeah. Good, what was good I talking things. about? I can't remember. I can't remember either. I'm a bit stupid. Oh, synergy. See, that's when a synergy indicator would be useful. Twisted bricks. Who knows what that synergy does? Just uh, be on the uh, lookout for wall mimics, because they're probably going to be a lot more common. I'm pretty sure like, there's one every room, isn't there? Like, with this setup. I think that's how it used to be, but I think Apache toned it down. Uh, but for all I know, that synergy may just tone it back up. I don't really have a good way to check for warm mix at the minute. This is going to be fun. Oh dear. I reckon they're probably not on this floor, because, like, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. picked the item up. But next floor, you're going to need to be real careful. Fuck. Again, that was just all on you. I, I know it was. For bullying me. I'm bullying you because uh, if I didn't, oh, you'd get full this weapon kind of sucks. You, you'd get a uh, big head, you know? Just I can't fucking have that. stop dropping hearts, you stupid prick of a game, and give me some actual armor, you fuck. That's another quality of life mod I need to make. Robot can sell hearts. Why sell? Why sell? I need armor. Did, don't you have junk that you could sell? Yeah, but junk is damage. Yeah, but the, okay, that's not how it works. Robot gets damage when picking up junk. If he drops the junk again, he keeps oh, the damage. I literally never knew that. Drop the junk if you don't believe me. Yeah, yeah I just see? hit it. I Still never got need the 5%. That. Yeah, it, it's some really weird coding that Dodge Roll did where he gets the damage directly when he picks up a piece of junk and dropping it doesn't remove it. Radar bullets. The fuck is that? Bullets have a chance to mark enemies to be homed in on by other bullets. Oh, I see. So it kind of makes enemies. It's kind of just lodestone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, but you know what, need, what they need to do with uh, with robot for the health. Basically, every heart and a half that drops on the floor, you can, like, trade in a machine for armor. I wouldn't go that far. I'd just make it so you can sell, like, the hearts for casings and use them to buy armor. Because, in a way, then hearts are still being turned into a benefit. True, true. I, I try to keep my quality of life changes, like, not too powerful. Because they're meant to be quality of life, not, like... We can't cure, like, the Marine's cancer, because uh, that's just too far. <laughs> Look, just the, the part of bullshit the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's just fucking stupid. Give me some armor. One armor drop. Just stop being such an idiot game. Yeah, armor is, is... Armor drops are, like, a lot less commonly than health. That's how it works. But I feel like even in normal runs, I don't get this much health. It's just ridiculous.
Not a fan of this. It's okay. Yeah, I'm taking them. Uh, nah, I don't care about that. That's chest. No, thank you. Pretty sure you can shoot him from a distance, like shooting into the room. Yeah, but he's shooting through the doorway and I'm going to get hit like I just did. Yeah, I take a shot, Colonel Clink. Pulls that one up. Just a second. I'm fucking terrified because there's a knock at the door and it's three in the morning. Oh lord. Uh, you do this. I'll go see what that was all about. Okay. The hell is this? Left-handedness. Empowers bullets when firing to the left. That's kind of an interesting idea. <laughs> I'm very annoyed about my current HP situation. Okay, it was an. It turns out it was an internal door, and it was a family member. Okay, that was fucking terrifying. And it sounded you to like shut the fuck up. Uh, no, they were. Uh, I think going to the bathroom. Okay. Um, it it really sounded like it was the front door. <laughs> that was fucking freaky. Yeah, that does sound a bit freaky. What kind of shit we're like. Uh. That's the kind of shit that starts off an indie horror like game. <laughs> I was all alone at three in the morning and I heard a knock at my front door. Also, did you ever notice that the holster has a skull on his back? I did not, no. If you go above him, so he turns around and shows his back to the camera. Oh yeah. That's really cool. It's, it's such a weird detail and I don't know why it's there, but it's neat. Maybe it's just a... Uh, it's like a poison frog situation. Mimic. I know, I've got a mimic bracelet. Why, why are you aim, oh, aim assisting onto the wrong goddamn thing? Stupid game. You, see, you say that you know, but knowing has never stopped you from doing stupid shit before. So... <laughs> Black Wonstone and... Whatever the hell this is, what the heck? What the fuck? Sweet talk. Interesting. Is it making real explosions? Seems to be. <laughs> I think those are, are actual explosions. That's fucking incredible. I hope this is high tier. Because if it isn't, that's overpowered as balls. Try shooting him through the doorway, yeah. I got him. So, what, you still took the gun? I was in the room. What did, it, what right, did he then. take? What did he I take? Check the note. Uh, you can read the know. note that he left to see what Appar he took. Apparently not, because I can't teleport back to there, so I can't be asked. You're it was a strange a, it was man. A, it was a DTHS chest anyways. I didn't want to risk rolling over those gaps again. I al already almost fell. I've got very limited HP. And also, yes, I know I'm a strange man. Part of my whole shtick. Or you cut out there. I said, I know I'm a strange man. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Do you want to hear something delightful? What? Yesterday, someone joined my Discord and then immediately posted pictures of themselves harming. Oh, lovely. I was like, um, why? And then I uh, said. In what fashion? They literally just posted pictures of them slicing their own leg, um, and that was it. And then uh, my mods uh, told me about it, and I messaged them and say, said, don't do that, that could be triggering for other people. And they said, yep, that's the idea. So I banned them. Oh, what a kind and compassionate soul. Why are people like this? Like, if, if you are in a situation where you have wound up hurting yourself, that Nothing to be ashamed of, but like generally posting pictures is going a bit it, too it far. It wasn't even it wasn't even like a post result picture. There was quite a lot of blood in the picture. Shrink shot. Ooh. That'll be uh... oh Schwarzschild radius. What's this? I have no recollection of what that's. I'm gonna guess was. it's just when in the radius of my Gwonstone it can make things small, right? I would imagine. Uh, that that Gwonstone has a chance to make a black hole when it blocks a bullet, I think it's something about making the black holes stronger. Like, I mean, it either makes them 
bigger or makes them last longer. By the way, I gotta say, this weapon is redonkulous. Yeah, this gun is amazing. It has I love so the way it much ammo. But it better be S tier. Like, if this gun is anything but S tier, it is uh, a travesty. No, whip! Shoot him! It's all, I know, I didn't leave the room for long enough. He wasn't going to steal it. Oh, yeah, God. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, um, one item you have is clearly fucking that up. Yeah. And then electric shot rounds or whatever they're called. Battery bullets are making it look even weirder. Oh, fuck. I just realized battery bullets are the reason that this gun has that electric trail. Yeah. Honestly, it kind of looks cooler with the electric it trail. It does, yeah. I like it a lot. Uh, Dalsum might need to think about um, adding, like, making the bullets electric by default so that it still has that trail. It will change, like, nothing about the gun other than it'll Patches, just uh, maybe, make it electrify water. Maybe this gun has lower accuracy as a base, though? I don't know. It's entirely possible. Still, I, I think it's a really cool gun. It just, yeah. if, it's, if it's anything but S tier, it is way too overpowered. And even then, In it's fact, really it, strong for S tier. Does it say? Quality C. Oh, C tier. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why is it? Okay, hold on. It's got 600 ammo and it's got expl Maybe it's not meant to have real explosions. Maybe that's a mistake. I, I don't know. Um, I'd recommend, if you want to balance, I'd say... Uh, put it in S tier, and uh, lower its damage a bit. What's this? Or not lower it, lower its max ammo a bit. Pestilence gives one enemy per room the plague. It's decent enough. Uh, but yeah, it, it maybe like cut its max ammo and move up, uh, it up it in should, tier. It should have like maybe 150, 200 max ammo with the amount of damage this thing can output. Because it, it's so it ammo fires efficient. It fires really fast, though, so I'd say, like, 200 to 300. If it's an if it's an S tier. If it's anything less, then yeah, like 100. Like, I am genuinely interested. This is no disrespect to um, Dulcimer or whoever created this, um, or any gun that's like this. But how do balancing issues like this happen? AVGN GIF. What were they thinking? I, like I'm not I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. I'm just genuinely curious. Like, how do you use this and think this is a C tier weapon? Like, I'd like to know the process because it is interesting to me how people balance stuff. Because some people are a lot worse at balancing than others, and some people are really good at it. And sometimes you just have one gun. You've had it before with your mod, where you just for some reason it's really out of whack and you don't know why. Generally, it's because. Um, you use it for a bit to test that it works, and your experience and balancing decision is then based on that test. Um, and that maybe that test gives a skewed perspective on how good the weapon is. Mm. For me, early on, I had this big issue where I would just give guns way too much ammo. Something has infinite ammo. What the heck? Uh, infinite ammo, but an active recharge. Ah, I see, I see. Also, you should you might want to try the portal. Because uh, you don't need master rounds for health. Unless Bunny made it so that you lose armor when giving master rounds, but I don't know why he would do that. I don't know why he would You wouldn't. might be able to... You might be able to just give him the master round for free. Just give it a shot, see if it works. Yeah, I can. Okay, nice. Nice. How many master rounds do you have? Uh, you have, you still have one? You could get that, uh, spirit thing. Yeah, that, that gives me an extra life, so. Where you go? So, it's good to remember, it's good to know that those are just free as the robot. That's a very big benefit for a robot, yeah. I, I, yeah, I gotta say, that's definitely, we spoke about it a little bit in the, uh, Lost episode, but, um, definitely something I'm hoping that, uh, Bunny adds is just adding more things to that room. Because currently the pool is interesting, but quite limited. It'd be nice to see a variety of powerful and and weaker things in there, and just a, a larger array. Although I've realized, obviously, they take a lot of effort to make and think of, so it's not like a hard requirement, but it would be nice. Like what I was saying with, um, with curses, like, the curses, like, directly stolen from Isaac, of course, but, like, the thing with them that makes 
like the, a bit frustrating is that it is, it's that familiarity. Familiarity breeds contempt. So when something is risky and it appears over and over again, contempt grows for that thing. Yeah. Like, you don't generally feel as bad about something that fucks you over if it only fucks you over, like, once in a once a year. Yeah. Or, like, but if it's fucking you over once a week, you, like, you hate it. Or love it, I mean, but that's outside of the realm of this hypothetical. Um, which is why I really should add more curses. Mm -hmm. I think you need to, like, at least double the amount. I think have what you, Schwarzschild Radius the, is um... doing... Carry on, carry on. I think the Schwarz Schwarzschild Radius synergy makes the black holes deal more damage to enemies that get sucked in. Ah, nice, nice. But what I was going to say is, have you looked at the cursed collection in Isaac the mod? If you haven't, that'd be a good place to look for some curse ideas because some really cool curses in there. One of them yeah, that I like. Yeah, but I kind of don't want to steal. I kind of don't want to steal too much from Isaac. That's why. That's why the only curse that is directly taken from Isaac is Curse of Darkness, yeah. because I think Curse of Darkness is a really funny meme. That's true. <laughs> but one of them that I like in that mod that I think would work in this is Curse of Decay, which is basically. Uh, Pickups when they spawn have a chance to like have a decay on them, and if you don't pick them up quick enough, they'll disappear. That could also work, yeah. My one thing with that is like pickups. I it would have to be with like pickups spawned after floor ah, generation. Ah, first one. Because secret room pickups exist uh, don't spawn when you enter the secret room they exist by default on floor generation what the fuck corrupted, corrupted junk. junk i don't remember what this I does got, so wait did i get corrupted bricks so what the hell have i got here because I, I got a synergy called something bricks and another one called corrupted bricks yeah a different synergy i think i remember i don't remember what the first one was called but i i remember it wasn't called corrupted so I can't believe that's the first one that I've found so far, like... Probably because you said I'm looking for them. I kind of forgot what the item existed. No, but normally they kind of stick out like a sore thumb, or like, just appear all the time. They really, they really don't. Like, they are completely innocuous. In innocuous? Innoc... What's the fucking word I'm trying to say? Innocuous! <laughs> innocuous, no. This is a good gun for finding them, though. Yeah, this, like... I don't want to give the um, wrong impression because Dalsim's still a relatively. That item it was that, a that enemy just. You killed one. Did I? Where? Oh, I know what it is. Corrupted, corrupted bricks must be turning war mimics into other enemies, because that was a shotgun can, but it gave you an item, and it came out of a hole in the wall. Oh. That room layout doesn't normally have a red shotgun can in it. That wasn't a red shotgun. That was a grey shotgun. The grey, red, whatever the fuck. I'm just, I'm just pointing out, I think that's what the Corrupted Brick yeah. Synergy is doing. It's replacing War Mimics with random enemies. Kind of like how they are on the glitched floor. Hello, hello, hello. I don't... Mm. I've not seen greedy clips before. Hmm. So Terracotta Pot, that makes it so you can't heal, but you gain temporary shields each room, but you can still buy armor. So does this work really well for this character? You can try it out. Why not? I don't think you can drop it, though. Average Joe. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Can I buy armor? I can. Okay. Right. Ter Terracotta Pot is insanely strong as his character. Yeah. I, I don't want to discourage Dalsum, uh, because he's a relatively new modder, and, like, I realize that I don't know how he, like, takes criticism, because I, I don't think he's received a lot of criticism before. He's a cool guy, and I like him. But, like, <laughs> uh, this gun needs to be uh, in S tier. Like, it is a fucking awesome gun, but it is what it is categorized way too weak. Yeah. What does this do? You can check the description. That's what I'm gonna do now, yeah. Unholy abomination between the beast and gun. This gun has an unsatiated blood, 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 blood lust. Um, makes his gun go ravenous. I might need to use it in combat to yeah. see. How much does this cost? Okay, cool. That's all I was trying to afford. You had 69 money. I did. Coffee. Mimic a bit. 
We have a lot of Mimic-centric uh, <laughs> stuff going on this run. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Yeah, because, like, the first... The reason... Like, I feel like uh, Mimic Tooth Necklace was the a magnet that caused um, all this stuff to happen. Because there there is actually an inbuilt system in Gungeon's loot that... Uh, makes it so that items that complete a synergy are slightly more likely to be obtained. Oh, cool room. So like, picking up the Mimic Tooth Necklace may have made that brick more likely to appear because there was a synergy. Yeah. That's how, that's how it works. Uh, obviously that effect isn't very strong, because if it was strong it would be overpowered. Uh, but at the same time, it's there. So. Yeah. Okay, that that enemy was not a mimic and just dropped an item, so... Oh, wait, that's not an item. What the hell was that? Cursed Pearl, I think? Or something like that? You... Oh, I think it's an effect of all-seeing eye. Sometimes enemies drop choice pickups. Oh, you can okay. choose what you, what you pick up from the exchange. Dead hands hand Accuracy gun. brings power. Oh, God, your items are not looking too good. Yeah, they're all glitchy. The corrupted junk. Patchy really fucking loves that glitch shader, doesn't he? <laughs> Reminds me of, um, back in the day, Patchy was working on some stuff, and I remember someone telling him, I swear to God, if this includes one more glitch shader, I'm going to scream. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. Get it. Do you think? Do you think the black hole guanstone is good? Yes. Because <laughs> it scared you for a second, so I wanted to make sure. Also, this is high priest. Oh yeah, I remember actually. Bleak. The reason why Bleak has these items based on bosses, I think, is because uh, back in the day he went on a spree of trying to make items based on boss attacks. That's cool. Reloading an empty clip fires a shot that aggressively hurts on enemies. Empty. Yeah. That would, would, wouldn't really work with this. Yeah, so it just shoots shoots a oh, homing bullet when you that. reload. Yeah, yeah. I see that. Based on the uh, High Priest's attack. I think he did one for the Cannon Balrog as well. Nice. I like that sort of stuff. You've done a few guns based on bosses, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, for that Mimic gun that I still haven't finished making uh, because I got completely sidetracked. Yeah. <laughs> no commentary, just uh, gets real close to the mic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, don't I, don't do that. I can get closer if you like. I fucking hate that. Step <laughs> away from me right now or I'm pepper spraying you. <laughs> Down the microphone, just pepper spray your own mic. Yes. So this will be a choice. Oh, I fucking and walked into one of the choices. I meant to get the arm of the ammo. I just walked into one of the choices by accident. Why'd you do that? I didn't realize it'd spawn like that. So stand still. This thing is bananas. P A N A N A S. I am slightly disappointed with the lack of one in this, though. I thought there was gonna be like one every other room. Well, they are free items, so like. True. I like that you haven't used the uh, the cauldron because you haven't had to. Because no. everything's just dying immediately. <laughs> Oh, it got turned into a synergy chest there. Nice. Oh, that bell is not good. But it has a synergy, dude. Pick it up. That's true. Just see what the synergy is. New waves. Try it. Yeah. Bell seems fine, honestly. It just doesn't, it just doesn't do a lot of damage at all. Uh, but yeah, the terracotta yeah. pot thing that we got going on with all these shields going around us. As this character... It's so, so powerful. <laughs> like, regularly, so I, I actually, this... um, it's, it's an item that Alexa got in his first episode, and so I suggested the uh, ski buff it to make it so that when they get depleted, they do a little blank effect. Because having to trade away the ability to heal on a regular character is obviously quite devastating. Yeah, like, 
This is one of those situations where not accounting for the robot makes an item better instead of worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like Riddle of Lead. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did Riddle of Lead works really well. Oh, fucked up thing. Uh, gonna have to look into fixing... I Bot was looking into this at one point, but then she left, so I might have to look into it uh, oh, myself. Uh, because... Robot-based custom characters no longer get vanilla uh, robot effects. Oh, right, okay. Because, like, there are special, unique interactions that the robot has with certain items. Yeah. Like, uh... How, if you have Gunsoul, he responds with one armor instead of one heart. Yeah. Like, two armor, I think. Uh, that's a unique interaction, and dodge roll, instead of programming it so that uh, it looks for because the robot instead of looking to see if the player's health is only armor uh dodge roll coded it to specifically check if the player is the robot which uh causes issues ah uh, oh nice oh, we literally just fire. got this and then we get uh it makes enemies drop fire all just all the time yeah, by default they drop, uh, make, makes enemies drop oil. Set the world on fire makes that effect, um, makes the oil instantly. Oh, there was, there was two, there was two, um, thingies in this room. Also, yeah, the set the world on fire synergy is going. That's gonna kill me. Doesn't give me fire immunity, so it's, it's gone. Ah, oh, such a baby. Fire immunity, <laughs> schmire immunity. It's so much fire. So you were talking about how you don't really get <laughs> yeah. synergies. And this episode, this fucking episode, this run, we've got like a thousand. Episode. Okay. The bell seems yeah. pretty good now. Okay, well, that mimic dropped two items. I think it was because it was glitched, actually. Yeah. Also, they are still war mimics, so it's not random enemies. I think it just fucks them up. I think it just applies a glitched effect to war mimics when they spawn. It seems to, yeah. That's the first enemy I've seen shrink so far. I literally can't use anything other than this gun. It's just too good. Also, yeah, you haven't seen enemies shrink because you've been killing them instantly. <laughs> yeah. I don't even need those other rooms. Excuse me. There you go, I got it. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, wait a minute. I love it. I love it. I love the... It's It's been marinated in the wall. Uh, that's another synergy, of course, but Master's Chambers doesn't really count. No. Uh, let's grab the bullet. I'm surprised how many synergies you've gotten, not even through the synergy like, chest. Yeah, item, but just, just, just in general, just natural synergies. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. This has been, this has been the the most fun run yet, despite having a single gun that, that basically ruined the entire run by being so unbelievably powerful that every gun was useless. I don't think, I don't think it ruined. Not, not. I don't mean ruined as in like it's not fun. I still had a lot of fun with this, but I mean like it made every other gun that we got not worth using. <laughs> Yeah, made every other gun superfluous by being so dang strong. Yeah. Still a lot of fun, this gun, though, and I really like it. I think it's really stylish. You've probably gotten a lot better at balancing as time's gone on. Definitely, yeah. It's one of those things where, in Gungeon, balance isn't an exact science. It's more of an art. Mm -hmm. Just like medicine. Uh, you sort of have to get a feel for it as as you develop. Uh, and it's actually a lot easier to balance an inscription. Because inscription has strict rules for, like, point systems and stuff. Yeah. To balance card cost to card effect. And uh, Gungeon, of course, does not have that. Because there's so many different things to account for. Yeah, it's very hard to account for them all. Anyways, we have a lot, Still need a to lot get you of to finish inscription. 
um, going into... Oh, there's a one back there. I missed it, damn it. Um, imagine if, wait there's a minute. probably a war mimic in this I should also say, if, if I had the rat boots, I'd go and check. Because I bet there's a war mimic out here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Inscription just wasn't really my thing. I still think you ought to finish it, at least. I just... I really lost interest, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, but that was when, like, Isaac was booming, so you fixated on Isaac, and because you weren't playing it, you weren't excited to continue playing it. I, I wasn't really excited to play it in the first place. You just made, you just kind of oh. made me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm making you finish it, dipshit. That's how this works. It's, I don't know, it's just not really my style of game at all. Ugh, fine, but at least make me watch you... What, make, make me... Make... Okay, at least let me make you watch me play it at some point. <laughs> Maybe. Is, uh, is anything going to happen? Okay, there you go. You need to actually uh, touch the controls to make the game happen. I was I was pressing lots of buttons. It wasn't doing out. I don't believe you. I love how the stuff on the walls is like references to different games. That's pretty cool, yeah. Like if you look around during the boss fight, if you uh, have the ability to. There's like, I think that's Nidog. Uh, there's Bots Don't Shiv, which I think is a Batman reference. There's Atlas and Peabody from Portal. Oh, that's, oh yeah, yeah, I see that, yeah. There's Laser Lily, uh, which is the reference to the Convict's alias. There's Jail from the, uh, I think, S Super Jail cartoon? I don't remember exactly what the name is. Uh, there's Metaton from Undertale. There's an Undertale reference in here. Yeah, on the right, just behind her, where she's standing. All oh, right. There's, I, th I think it's, I, I don't know exactly what that one above you is. It might be Robbie the Robot. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. There's also a Rick and Morty reference somewhere in here. Chest teleporter unlocked. So apparently this is the first time the robots passed in the surf file. How have you not done this yet? I don't know. Is it a natural aversion to playing the robot coupled with a natural aversion to doing the pass? Pretty much, yeah. Have you even unlocked Blasphemy yet? Probably not. I like the fact that I have some reason kept Terracotta Pot. I actually kept Terracotta Pot into the uh, past there. Hmm. Maybe her items just persist like that. Well, I wouldn't know, you'd have to ask uh, Ski. Oh my god. Because, yeah, uh, in the most recent update, I also updated a bunch of sprites. I've, I've shown you them already, but... Yeah. It's just... It's, there is something nice about polishing stuff. It can feel tedious or a waste of time, but there is there is value to it. I don't have the goddamn skin. I, I was supposed also, to in, I was supposed to install the shotgun kin skin. I forgot. Oh, well, that sounds about uh, sounds about normal for you. Juggernog, will give me more HP. Withered something, clover, I think that was. Oh, Withered Clover. What does Withered, Withered Clover do again? I think Withered Clover makes all chests bad, but you get more of them. Withered Clover um, seems to be affecting the bear's look negatively. All chests are replaced by either C or D tier chests, but spawn four at a time. How the hell are we going to open them? <laughs> yeah, I think that's how... I, they might be unlocked, I don't remember. If they're unlocked, this is great. If they're not unlocked, this is an item that I might be dropping fairly quickly. It's an interesting idea, but you need a fuckload of keys to make it work. We'll maybe, see. Maybe C tier chests require keys, but D tier chests don't? That's how the game Perhaps. works sometimes. I mean, D tier chests often give you something back as well, so that might be how it works. True, yeah, D tier chests can give you keys back. We'll just have to see. Yeah. It's we definitely a really interesting item. I'm not going to diss it straight away. It's a very interesting item. I 
You're not going to distance straight away, except that's that. exactly what you did. Yeah. I can't remember to do that trick where you, like, destroy all the bullets on the screen at once. Guard flashing. Yeah. It's where you, like, I think reload you need to, like, and turn around. To, reload yeah. and turn around and, like, attack. But I used to know how to do uh, it, because I, I used to do it when I spe did speedrunning. I think I have to rebound. What the fuck? What the fuck is, no, go, no go, go back to the right. Go back to the right. What? What? Oh fuck! Uh, uh, video lagged, and I wasn't able to get my uh, was my it? command out in time. Uh, the blue bullet kid, the blue shotgun kid was just humping the buff guy. <laughs> oh! And I thought it was funny. He threw it over the wall, you dick. <laughs> okay, I, al I already lost my head, so that's good. Uh, I have to do rolling then. On the first floor, you can still kill most enemies in one shot by slashing and rolling into them at the same time. That's my technique, personally, if I yeah. get uh, fucked over. It it's surprisingly effective. Most, A lot more people need mm. to realize that you can do that. Because I've known people who restart if they get hit as the bullet before they get a gun. Is this real or is this clown? Never gonna give you up, and never gonna let you down. Never gonna Just run around and hurt you. Rocket Man. Doesn't work with infinite oh, ammo. Rocket Man. For... I think it does work on infinite ammo, but I, I don't recall exactly. Oh, no, it does, it does. There you go. Just find a rocket. Okay, this is pretty good. Man, I'm, I feel like I'm simultaneously good at singing and bad at singing because some <laughs> songs I can sing and some genuinely sound like I'm having a seizure. I just like, choose I'm just, to not really sing. Like, sometimes I can sing a song and it sounds great. It, I'm best at singing, like, filth, but that's just because I listen to a lot of it and it's not that difficult to get the tones down because a lot of filth is sung by... Uh, raspy old people <laughs> like talking in a real low tone which yeah. is where i because I, I, I can't hit high notes my voice is simultaneously again too high to to be real manly but uh, uh too deep to hit high notes when singing okay maybe it just means it spawns a fuck ton of chests because goddamn no that's not what it means i've, um... I've seen it in action Break upon colliding with any projectile, make them bounce around and deal damage to enemies. Um, player projectiles that collide with canisters this way gain double speed and damage. So you shoot cans that bounce off enemy bullets and bounce around and deal damage if they do. Interesting. Just kind of explode when I hit the enemy bullet that time. Seems decent though. I mean, it does a blank. It's yeah, yeah. Decent. Get it with an ammo and it'll be pretty darn good. But yeah, like, Filk is this really weird music thing that is similar. It's like, it's really weird, and I, I, I like it, and I feel ashamed for liking it because it's so strange and weird. It's, it's science fiction folk. It's science fiction folk music. We're going to be seeing a lot of stuff. Not that one. keeps coming up. I've got this hat that doesn't really fit. <laughs> and you've got a companion. All right, let's have a little look, see what we got going on here. Um, so we've got an active. Pulls enemies towards you and slows down enemy bullets while active. Oh, wait, this is just telekinesis easy. from Nuclear Throne. Yeah. Uh, Jammermancer's hat. Take the hat from a Jammermancer. It starts following you around and trying to get his hat back. While it's reaching for its hat, it accidentally buffs your movement and attack speed. Profit. <laughs> this is bleaker as well. No, Set your HP to half upon entering a new floor. Enemies have a random chance to start at near death. Um, that seems pretty decent. Although, with the sword, it's going to be pretty bad. Well, just get a gun. Just yeah. Get a gun. Just get a gun, dude. Come on, it's not that difficult. Um, I really love is... this Jammermancer thing. <laughs> Filk is science fiction folk music. Um, so it's like Star Trek uh, it's like Star Trek ballads it's really weird what? oh every one of those spores has a chance to trigger Rocket Man oh fuck 
<laughs> yes. How do you do this every yes. time? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's just one of those interactions. I don't even think I can fix it if I wanted to. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, I also, I reckon it. that 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 other chest room wasn't affected because it was a Rickroll yes, chest. Yes, exactly. Imagine if it spawned four Rickroll <laughs> chests. <laughs> That'd be kind of great. You're mentioning cross mod synergies. Apache, Spuppy, get together, make this happen. <laughs> um, this is a really cool uh, item, though, Spuppy. I really like it. Basically, no keys required for the rest of the run, and we get way more items, but we're never going to get high-quality items unless it's through something that isn't a chest. Oh, wait. Um, that is not halving my HP. That is way less than half. It didn't, it didn't say it was going to do it. It said it sets to half a heart. Oh, for some reason I thought it said sets to half. I, I actually caught that, but I didn't say anything because I wanted to laugh at you later. Okay, that's kind of dangerous. I might have to re-evaluate re if I keep this or not. Um, because that could really cause some issues. I mean, it doesn't seem to affect armor, so... That's what I'm thinking. If I can get armor, then I don't need to drop it. But, if I can't get a good amount of armor each floor, I'm going to have to drop it. Because this is a cool yeah. run and I don't want to lose you know, it. You know how you talk I, about, I've already um, been hit. I've already lost my being armor. Able so. to, being able to see the mistake coming as it comes. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those well, situations. Just remember that I ain't good at English. I can't do the speaking so good. I know, I know you're not good at English, but I, what I am good at is bullying you, so, like, I'm just gonna do that. But I'm such a piece of shit sometimes, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. You, you like it when I do that. So all four of these are gonna be guns. <gasps> Clown shotgun! Oh, these are two great weapons. Oh, I'm really hoping that would fire Rocket Man quite quite a lot more often than that. But oh well, but Clown Shotgun I love. Clown Shotgun is stupid. Whoa, it's got jammed bullets. Why? Why? I do not know. What item is making it do that? Probably the Cursed Crown or something. Maybe. Cl Clown Shotgun is one of those cases where. The sound is annoying and definitely too loud, but it works for the type of gun that it is, so it's no point changing it. Well, you see, the thing is, I actually turned up the sound on Clown Shotgun because I felt it was too quiet, but now it's too loud, and I'm just sort of... No, I've sort of reached a point where... I don't know how to balance volume. I don't know how to do it, and it drives me mad. And I'm just sort of coming to the conclusion that I, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave it. If it's too quiet, then it's too fucking quiet. You can listen. Listen better. Hear better, dick shit. <laughs> Causes me a lot of anxiety. Um, you like being a piece of shit is my love language. <laughs> you can tell I like you because I'm being fully mean to you. That's and that's I would the, never, I would never be friendship. mean to someone I don't like. Be careful. These guys can deal contact damage, can't they? No, not to me, because I'm the bullet. Oh, right, right, fuck. I completely forgot. <gasps> Look who what it is! We're talking about that. <laughs> and, uh, uh... Well, Rod. It's fine. Do we That's... have any on-hit effects? No. I mean, it does work with armor. So, like, if you just get a piece of armor, that's good. You watch that actually expended one of my three hits for my, uh... My broken armor. My rusted armor. I wouldn't be surprised if yeah, it did. I, I wouldn't either, because just why would it check for that? That, there's, that is an on-hit effect. Like, objectively, that is an on-hit effect. It depends how it triggers the on-hit effects. Does it just does it just hit you, then give you the health facts right away? Because if that's how it works, yes. then it definitely wasted my rusted armor just then. Yes, that's, what it, that's how it works. I've actually looked at the code for it. Do you know what? I've decided. I love this crown, but I'm going to drop it. I, this run's too fun. Um, I mean, I might as well let you munch on my booty a little bit. You keep saying that, and then you say I'm the weird one. Three little munches is all she needs. Actually, we'll do four. Three, we'll do four. 
Three little munches. Isn't that a kid's book? Probably. It's not about a vampire chowing down on your asshole, though. Cool. Ooh, where? Of, of why? Why not? Cool. Why can't it be about a vampire eating ass? Like, the kids need to learn the harsh realities of life <laughs> one way or another. Cool. I get coolness for doing this, so why not? Cool. Cool. Supporting the local academy. That's cool. Yeah, like, Filk is, is just one of those things that, it's such an obscure genre of music that I feel, I feel like I should be wearing a beanie talking about it, <laughs> is basically. You feel so hipster. It's, it's, I feel ashamed, because I feel like I should be wearing a beanie to talk about Filk because it's so obscure. But at the same time, it's so obscure that the people who do wear beanies and talk about shitty music don't know it exists. <laughs> yeah. So like, you're more hipster than the hipsters. It's the sort of thing like most filk music that is available on the internet it sounds terrible. So what's this? Uh, something all chests with mirrors. Oh, replaces all chests with mirrors. So all chests. Well, appa apparently, apparently, I mirrors. do have a synergy with a synergy with it. Oh, look, it's highlighting green. Yeah, I'd say it's I'd say it's with the uh, clover. You're probably gonna get four mirrors. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> that's gonna be uh, a little wacky, I think. Oh, you just don't get synergies these days. Like, I know. what's going on? <laughs> Also, interesting how that one highlighted green to tell you you're going to get a synergy, like you were saying earlier. Well, that's that's the um, hover over. Uh, that's that's just a thing with item descriptions. Item tips, whatever it's called, yeah. Item tips, yeah, but like people often aren't going to be paying attention as much to item tips. Like there needs to be an. I guess that's why an arrow would be good, just like permanently there because you need to be. T told to hover over the item. I don't know. I just think it would be good. Shut up. Stop criticizing me. Fuck you. Um, stop I'm saying mean things about me. I'm not criticizing you. I'm just pointing out that yes, it already Yes, you are. Has... You're, doing it, you're doing it on the inside. Um, I don't know why I get flustered. Um, yeah, like... A lot of the filk music on YouTube is so old um, that there, there aren't high quality recordings of it because nobody listens to filk anymore. Yeah. Um, and it, what there is is stuff that has been taken, like scanned off of cassette tapes. Oh, lovely. That was sold at indie music festivals in like the 60s. Yeah. Kind of makes it more so, authentic though. It was recorded by some guy on his guitar at home uh, who sold the cassettes himself at an indie music festival. Someone took the cassettes, left them in their attic, and eventually they found their way to somebody who was like this music cool. archivist <laughs> yeah. who put them on YouTube. Good hell. And I kind of love it. Yeah, it gives it more of like authenticity, I guess. Just, they're these like folk ballads about the exploits of daring heroes, except it's sci science fiction. And yeah. it's from an era of science fiction that was like a lot more optimistic than nowadays. <laughs> it's not just about aliens invading and killing us all. Because science fiction these days is very pessimistic. It's, it's cyberpunk, it's the dark realities of the future. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only fucking. Seinfeld reruns or whatever. Yeah. It's like it's all very pessimistic. It's all right, bleak. Back in the day, you had you had Star Trek and you had this very optimistic vision of the future that mankind would uh, explore the bold frontiers beyond the stars. And there's something oh, so you don't get mirrors, but you get an extra chest instead of getting four, you're getting five. Pretty good. Uh, so that's a second hat. <laughs> so that hat mod that you're playing, I'm making at one point. Well, I have that. I also yes, have do. eight keys. <laughs> Should I always say keys being an issue? 
Right, what did we get there? We got Hollow Knight, the Weaver Charm, um, Turkin of the Fears, the Spiders, Friendship, Fears of Spiders, uh, allied with you. Nice. Uh, Winchester yeah, Hat. Permanently charms all enemies in a radius one active item use. That's really good for the current active that we have. Another bleaker item. Um, this is changes enemies' health. I think that's just up or down. Also changes their size, I believe. Gone so many June Lib ones. Um, even when it, with its age, a chunk of gold like this is still worth a good amount. I'm guessing I can just sell it. And then doubles range. Good shit. Neither. This would be really good for getting junk. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah, I didn't even consider that. Um, but... There's actually uh, Filk songs making fun of the... Uh, it's not really Filk, I guess that's kind of later stuff by Bill Sutton. But th there's a song called uh, Xenophobia. Which oh, I've is, heard, I, I think I've heard Xenophobia, yeah. Yeah, entirely about making fun of the fact that... Um, Movies are all about aliens coming to kill us. Yeah, my, my, my friends into that sort of music, and he showed me a few of them. I, I remember Xenophobia uh, gained some resurgence because of... Uh, what's the fucking game? Stellaris? Alright. Which is like a alien, uh, alien empire management game that my brother plays. Yeah, and, that's uh, he's yeah. He sent me... Uh, videos from the Stellaris community about people playing incredibly xenophobic uh, alien empires and committing <laughs> genocide. <laughs> Let's be xenophobic. It's really in this year. Let's find a nasty, slimy, ugly alien to fear. There's no more cutesy stories about E.T. phoning home. Let's learn to love our neighbors like the Christians learned in Rome. Oh, what, what does this do? Um, increase projectile fired. Is that just more projectiles fired? Because if so, that's insane. Okay, no, it's just Shadow Bullets, essentially, I think. Right, right. It's oh, good stuff, yeah, though. I like that. It must just increase the Shadow Bullet stat. Yeah. yeah. It's weird that Shadow Bullet is a stat. I know. It's that and, like, YV Bullets. Why are, they, why are they stats? I, I hate video game. Video game bad. Um. Isn't this stuff like, uh. I know that. Filk also gains a bit of a, a, commu a continued following from Space Station 13. It all, it's all connected. Yeah. It's all because Space Station circle. 13 is an, a fucking ancient game about dipshits on a space station fucking around. And Filk sort of embodies that. Yeah. Like, I know that um, Sam Jones, I think it was, is the name of the song. I know Sam Jones is... is played on some Filk server, some uh, Space Station 13 servers. Wait, 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 wait. We have the Fun Ganon and the Fungo Cannon. Yeah. Different items by different people made independently. One of them fires a missile that trails spores, one of them just makes a spore cloud. Those were all my guns as well. <laughs> oh lord. But, uh... So, um... <sighs> Fuck, what's the name of the song? I know, I know the songs, I know, like, most of the lyrics even, off by heart. I can't remember the fucking names. Um, some kind of hero. Some Would kind of hero. Do me a favor, piano man, please. I want you to write me a song. They call me the hero of Antelope's Run, and I've got to show them they're wrong. You see, it all started a week ago In the bar down on Corridor 3 There was nobody there but us regular bums Two losers, the barman and me Slopping up booze in the north corner booth Was the old man they called Captain Jed 
Cause he owned a tramp freighter, the old antelope, a ship that like him was half dead. Molly, they say, was a crack pilot once. Crack a gal pile. with a crack pilot. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> crack a gal pile. with a brilliant <laughs> career. But then she started doping on regular so spun and finally washed out down here. And me, well, I wanted the, the Navy bad, but it seems that they didn't want me. So I stopped chasing stars, started sweeping up bars for bed, board, and all my drinks free. It was quiet that night with the docks closed down. There was nothing doing for a week. Not a ship was in port, the old antelope. When a red alert started to shriek The whole station shook like a hurt living thing Then the lights dimmed and faded away Then the gravity went Then the air pumps cut out And the bartender started to pray Ah, stow that bilge, head for the antelope now Jed's voice cut the dark like a knife the station reactor's gone critical load. Now run to the docks for your life. When we got to the docks, we found stationed out there every soul that had been left alive. They begged with their eyes for poor old Captain Jed to tell them all how to survive. Break out the suits, said the captain to them. For it's dark, and it's airless, and cold. I can, I, I swear I can get you all out of here safe. Packed into the antelope's hold. I'm doing this from memory, okay? I, I'm gonna flub sometimes. It's just like nice music to have, for some reason, sang to me while I play. <laughs> 200 alive in the antelope's hold. And the captain, and Molly, and me. Fuck, I actually I forget this section. Oh dear. Damn. Um, see, I, I've sung this so much to myself for no reason, so I remember most of it. The crazies have taken hold. I've just had that, I even fuck off. Molly, he said, can you navigate? I, she said, who do we have for a crew? The antelope needs only three hands, he said. And I think our young friend here will do. Jammed enemies are more plentiful. Interesting. Um, if an item's on cooldown, holding look, healing will instead remove it. That he rushed at bit. me then, okay. made my heart Just turn to spawn over with pride. I never once thought about backing away. I think I would rather have died. Two hundred alive in the antelope's hold. And the captain, and Molly, and me. We slammed the locks just as the station blew wide. Jed hit the main jets to get free. Now that kind of G-force is rough on the heart. Too much for his ticker to take. So when we came around and we saw how he lay, we knew Captain Jed wouldn't wait. So I took the comms and the engineer aboard, and Molly took helm and the nav. With the manual spread out all over the deck, and her mind for what they didn't have. Three jump, two jumps made clean, <laughs> only one more was left. The red alert started to... I just kind of Blast. love the fucking clown shotgun sound as she said this. And it, the fact that clown shotgun is sending enemies into clowns is quite hilarious. Her old worn out shields had come loose in the stress. We were losing our heat and air fast. On the bridge, there was only one vacuum suit left. But they say a lady luck is stone blind. Heads or tails was the question I started to ask when I felt myself hit from behind. When I came to again, I was sealed in the suit. She was belted down tight in her chair. 
with her hands on the console, a smile on her lips, and the ice on her face and her hair. Here's the instructions to get us all home. I saw she had left on the screen. If any old crewmates should ask after Ma, just tell them she finally died clean. I made the last jump just like she told me to, and I brought us in just like she'd said. They called me a hero now for what I did, but they don't mention Molly and Jed. Are some kind of heroes or lunkheads like me? Who only do things that they're told. Some kind of heroes are out for the glory. They're heroes on purpose and cold. Some become heroes for bravery, sure. And some just because all is lost. But a few are the heroes like Molly and Jed. Who give without doubting the cost. So write me that song now, Piano Man, please, and sing it out often and loud. So they all know the story of some kind of hero, the kind who makes everyone proud. God, I don't know why I felt I wanted to sing that whole thing, but I just, I don't know, to prove that I could remember I mean... the lyrics, I guess? We have time, and it shows it shows how we descend into madness with this reaching four hours and ten yeah, minutes. Yeah, I wouldn't have sung it if it was just a normal, like, video link, but I figured we had the time to, like, <laughs> do something stupid and, and engaged. Yeah. Deep into the stony hills, miles from keep or hold, a troop of gods comes riding Cubic with the lady and her gold. I'm not going to get into another song, though. Makes reloading easier, but bullets will take on rectangular travel pattern. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, it's a uh, square wave. I don't know why. I don't know why she's called it a ret rectangular travel pattern when she means square wave. But oh god, the spores are having a seizure. Just a bit. And I don't even know if I can fix the um, <laughs> this, this Rocket Man interaction. Why does it not happen uh, with your spore gun, though? That's my question. So it happens with this, but if we, if I use this, it just doesn't do that at all. Because it fires less bullets. What? Like, no, like, it fires less, but, like, it still fires quite a lot. <laughs> That's That thing is firing, like, many, many, many times more bullets than the, the Fungo Cannon. Oh, is it? Uh, member card. Purchase at the shop will add extra of what you spend into a minimum cap of your casings. Can never f Ooh, that's really cool. Oh, like a minimum amount of money. Yeah. Sounds like you could get very busted very quickly. This run has been insane. This run that has been fucking crazy. I can't believe that Clover's D tier. <laughs> It kind See, of makes sense we... theme thematically. It makes sense that it's D tier, but it's still crazy. That like to start with, I thought it would be dog shit, but it's just amazing. We uh we budgeted our time around the idea that Luke was going to die on at least one of these runs, but I don't think that's going to happen. Eh, I don't know. There's still paradox I mean, that could go awry. You're not going to die on Gunslinger. No, Gunslinger so should be fine. It... You'd well, have paradox to get a really unlucky right. Paradox run. I have been close to death a few times. Even on um, this run, I've been close to death. I, I especially love songs that Also, there's, that a, there's a very good chance... Sorry, there's a very good chance I die on this past. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just I really love songs that glorify the real history of space exploration. Like, Fire in the Sky is about the history of space exploration. Prometheus, they say, Ooh, yeah, like God's it. fire down to man. And we've caught it, trained it, trained it since our history began. Now we're going back to heaven. 
Just to look him in the eye, and there's a thunder across the land, and a fire in the sky. The garden was the first back in 1961, when, like Icarus undaunted, he climbed to reach the sun. And he knew he might not make it, for it's never hard to die. But he lifted off the pad, and rode a fire in the sky. I just love it. I love it. Yuri Gagarin was an amazing man. Love it. I like I like um, songs like that where it's like more of a well-formed story and song rather than just random ass lyrics. You can get, get like stuff like that, like rock operas, don't you? It's like it's like ballads and and stories. Like. Yuri Gagarin, it's weird because I don't really have quote-unquote personal heroes, I think that's rather silly, but Yuri Gagarin is a man I really admire. Yeah. First man in space, I mean, there's what's not to admire about that. Yeah. Definitely. I think idolizing anyone really is, is rather silly, but it's okay it to admire people if you do it in moderation, it's like booze. Uh, not that you would know anything about that. I guess would you say that I drink in moderation? No, oh, uh, he hits me up, like, on a regular basis, being like, Hey, man, I am... I am checked out, and it's three in the morning. <laughs> it was... What, what was it? I messaged you on uh, Friday. It was, like, 3 p.m., and I'm like, I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you took chose to tell me, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that information. I don't know, I just, now, now that there's a precedent for me always telling you, I just make sure that if I remember, just to tell you. I still love the fact that you're wearing two hats. Yeah, me too. We've gotten a lot of Skeletar stuff uh, in this episode. And this, is, this has been just a genuinely fantastic showcase of some of, the, some of the stuff in modding that I haven't seen before. Yeah, and a lot of, like, I don't think anything... Still nothing is majorly broken, and we're this far in. Like, yeah, Ski's, like, Ski's it's stuff. Kind of crazy. Uh, I know Ski has some insecurity. I mean, he's a modder. He's going to have insecurity. I have insecurity. So, I know there is a, some insecurity about whether or not stuff you make will break. And it's really nice uh, to know that I can show, I can send Ski the link to this video, or like tell him that it's going to be uploaded without having to lampshade it as, so some stuff went wrong, but it's okay. Yeah. I can actually be like, your shit was great. And I don't have to like worry that I'm going to upset him. Holy fuck. Open it. Open. Open dipshit. Just be quick. I found it funny how in Alexis' video he got the boxing glove and he's like, this is great. And I'm like, pick up the boxing glove. Dipshit. No, it has I a don't synergy. Want it. it has a synergy. <laughs> But it's bad. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I'm not quite sure what it's doing, but do you know what I, that does? I don't recall exactly what punchline does. It might be a knockback increase. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Let me let me double check. Oh, slow down there, lads. Just got to double check my stuff. Got to make sure it's a lovely. And that's why you should pick up items you don't like, because they might have synergies. It's true, it's true. The boxing glove is horrendous. But yeah, Alexa was like, this is the best gun ever. And I'm like, no, Alexa, it's not. There's oh, a mob that synergy gives... Good. That synergy gives the boxing glove a charm effect. Okay, that's nice. So anything you punch gets charmed. Obviously, it doesn't matter now, but... Just good to know, yeah. This will be the first boss this hasn't killed. God, that looks so strange. <laughs> it's actually not great when I'm against a wall because the rockets keep hitting the walls. I didn't save any blanks for the goddamn boss. Let's see if I can buy some. I should point out, uh, this is just something that recently reoccurred to me. The only person I have ever met 
uh, who knew what Filk was uh, immediately after me, like, like, mentioning it to them, like, who knew what it was. And this was only, they only vaguely knew what I was talking about. But they knew what I meant. Yeah. Was a, like, woman in her 60s who was selling uh, rocks out of the back of a, um, of a caravan uh, with, like, guides on the spiritual properties of rock healing at a gypsy carnival. <laughs> this is bizarre. So, um, you didn't have Blasphemy unlocked. Nope. I did not. Unbelievable. So, like, that should sort of tell you how, um... How uncommon this is. Also, there's still a chest in that mirror room. You didn't get the chest in the mirror itself. I think it's up there in the missing spot. In the spot. The top right. Are you clicking? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because I think the uh, the clover item shunted it to the side. Yeah. So it didn't appear in the reflection anymore. Right, let's go die to the uh, to the past. Because I am very bad at this past. Yes, I did. Okay, just making sure. I like the way the hat was already there and you landed into the hat. That's funny. Don't go to bullet hell or else I'll smack you. Oh boy. Two uh, more characters tips. to go. Tips for this past. Um, Dodge. with the... Yes. With the uh, chain gunners, if you spam attack and roll, you can kill one of them before they like sync up. Which makes it a lot easier to kill them. Nice. So, like, absolutely laser focus one of the... One of the, um... Chain gunners. Cool. Sorry, brain died for it's, a second. It's mainly there. the pig bit that I have trouble with. The actual fight against cannon. You can do that. You can spam roll in that bit as well for more DPS. Oh, also, funny fun thing. This guy here who gives you the sword. Yeah. Obviously, he looks like old red. Yeah. Uh, in the, in the the gungeon, the main gungeon, but that was never confirmed until exit the gungeon. Okay, it doesn't matter. I, I took way too long to set up there. No, yeah, no, yeah, just. And now he's pretty low on health. Oh, yeah, you let them sync up. Unbelievable. Oh, for fuck's sake! You gotta, you gotta run away so that one of them runs ahead. Because they move slower when they're swinging. Okay, good. that's good. See? Oh yeah. But uh, in in Exit the Gungeon, there's a line of dialogue that confirms that they are the same character. And like, Old Red is a ghost. The guy, the blank guy, the guy who yeah, sells yeah, blanks. Yeah. That's why he's blue. That's his name, by the way. His name is his name is Old Red. He is blue, and he is a ghost. Uh, at least uh, presumed to be. Because in Exit the Gungeon, there's a line of dialogue you can read from Red where he, he basically just says, Ah, oh, my head hurts. An old wound, perhaps? And that's like where he got stabbed. Yeah. I'll be honest, I completely forgot to fight this guy, so I tried swinging at him and realized that doesn't actually do any damage and took damage in the process. You're great at this game. I just forgot Honestly, how to they fight. Need, they really need to be more bosses that you can't directly damage in the game. Bollocks. I hate the fact that whenever you hit the little ball, it lags. It really throws me off. That's that's not even like a glitch. That's just yeah, like I know. how it's, it's programmed. Just, like, it does it on console, too. I think it's just programmed to like slightly slow down a bit to emphasize the effect. It just It really throws me off. Oh, also... Uh, the reason why a Gunnam's dialogue is shitty in this area is actually intentional. Like, he's like, you, the bullet person. Ah, oh, you big green cock. Go ahead on. Um, the, the reason why he speaks in broken English is a, is a reference to uh, stuff like Zelda having bad translations. Yeah. Like, Darknut. Cool. And stuff. Right. 
No. Good chance I die into this next bit because I do not remember at all how to do it. Try not to mess it up. I'm probably going to. I I, I haven't done this fight in so long and I've only got four um, health. I already forget what the fuck does that attack do. Okay, fine. You could always stand back a bit uh, to figure out how the attacks work. That one, and then he comes in and he shoots them at you. That one's that. He only yeah. has like three attacks, I think. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, he has like three attacks, but because you're restricted to melee, he's quite difficult. And eventually he starts to break those uh, pits there. I'm at the wrong side here, fuck. Get Remember, away. you do still have two blanks if you're in a yes. really hairy situation. Oh, bugger. Okay, I almost fell in the pit there. That was close. That, that would be funny, though. If, like, you were to die on this pass, but to a pit. <laughs> um... Oh fuck! That's a new attack. Yeah, that's the that's the third attack I was talking about. Oh, I got hit by it twice. Lovely. <sighs> What's his name again? What's the Nazi that worked for Walt Disney? Walt Disney? No, the other one. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dude! I'm dead. I'm so fucked here. Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun was a rocket scientist who worked for the Nazis designing missiles. Uh, and who... Basically, like, he, he went to work for Walt Disney designing uh, Disney World. Lovely. You do still have two blanks, so there's a chance you don't fuck it up. Yeah, I'm gonna say there's a pretty good chance of it. This attack fucks me up every time. Then blank! <laughs> what I say, every time. I cannot dodge that attack. I don't understand how to fucking predict where it's gonna be. I'm really bad at what it. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's a spiral. Yeah, I know, but I don't know how to predict the spiral. I can't do it. I always end up walking into it. And the fact the fact that it can hit you... like go off screen and then come back on screen, it just hits me every time. Have you, cons have you considered using your eyes, mate? Right. We're gonna just replay the fucking fight until we beat it. Are we? Are we now? We are. I thought, I thought if, if you died, that was it. Shut up. I want to also, I think if you, I think if you skip to the past, you're going to start with Blasphemy, but, uh... Meh, yeah, that, uh, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, I know it doesn't bother you, because you're a cheating whore, but, like, uh, you shouldn't use it, because that's, that's cheating. God, my... Like, uh, Werner, Werner von Braun, uh, he was one of those fellas who tried to claim that, uh, uh, no, I was just following orders. Oh, of course you need to go back and beat the past yeah. because of that glitch. <laughs> um, but, uh, he, he tried to claim he was apolitical. Apolitical? Yes, apolitical. No, it's not political. I just made pits for the Nazis. I was just, <laughs> it's just a job, mate. I, I work on commission. Uh, Nothing sus here. There, there was actually a song written about it. Oh, that's a glitch in the console, but... Bullet pass. There we Bullet go. Bullet pasta. Werner von Braun, uh, song. There was a song written about, uh, Werner von Braun. Gather round while I sing you of Werner von Braun. 
A man whose allegiance is ruled by expedience. Call him a Nazi, he won't even frown. Ha! Nazi schmatzy, says Werner von Braun. Don't say that he's hypocritical. Say rather that he's apolitical. Want the rockets are up? Who cares where they come down? That's not my department, says Werner von Braun. Mm. Some fella. have harsh words for this man of renown. But some think our attitude should be one of gratitude. Like the widows and cripples in old London town who owe their large pensions to Werner von Braun. You too may be a big hero once you've learned to count backwards to zero. Oh, don't do the ball attack In German shit. or English, I know how to count down. And I'm learning Chinese, says Werner von Braun. I love that. I love that. It's so stupid. Like making a song <laughs> playing an it bullying an ex-Nazi, uh, but at the same time, why, what better reason to make a song? Yeah, why not? Oh, with a fake bullet. I love how, how like, big of a thing a Gunnam is in Gungeon. You can fight him oh. uh, three separate times in three separate boss fights. What's the third one? Oh, the Ghost, of course, the Shadow Man. Yeah. Oh, you hikey. What does that mean? What? Sorry, what slur is that? Which one is that? <laughs> it's, a, it's a derogatory term for a traveling person. Oh, uh, maybe don't do that on <laughs> video, because that's very mean. I know I said I went to a gypsy fair, but that's what it markets itself as. So they, uh, they're called travelers, and you will refer to them as such, young man. I already Jeez. have to bully my dad when he's racist, so I don't want to have to bully you too. <laughs> Fucking hell! You really had to, you really had to drop that on me here. Unbelievable! All right, fucking Brit shit. Fight me! I actually find it's easier to attack him from the uh, area he's, from the direction he's firing the pistol in. Like, if he shoots the pistol to the left, you get in the circle in the left and attack from in there. And then dodge roll out like that, yeah. I yeah, see. you can kind of you can kind of linger in it longer if you attack from that angle. You're already doing better. I am, yeah. It's just remembering the fight. It's just I didn't remember the fight, like, at all. Yeah, you, you, you say that a lot about things, but, uh... Oh, it I'm got me again. I I'm just convinced, yeah. I can't dodge that stupid bullshit. What do you... It's a bullet. It's oh. it's a bullet moving oh. in a set... It's a bullet moving in a set pattern. Okay, so <laughs> I, just I have... can't do it. I have now come to the conclusion that at some point I need to make an enemy that uses that attack just to annoy you. Huzzah. And he's dead. I, why is that? Why is the chicken flute unlock and the blasphemy unlock the way around that it is? Why isn't that the unlock for blasphemy? You literally create blasphemy. Uh, because the the blasphemy unlock predates the bullet having a pass. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, you're right. Uh, when the game first dropped, only the main four characters had pasts. At that time, the bullet and robot who were the only two secret characters at that time, didn't have pasts to kill. Yeah. The pasts were added in the supply drop update. And so they wanted players to be able to actually get Blasphemy and use it. So they made Blasphemy killing the dragon uh, instead of killing the non-existent past. Yeah. So they made a different item for the past kill. But they should have swapped it when they added the past. Probably, yes. Anyways, it's time for Paradox, the only character that has my I remember, I remember playing in, um, pre, uh, pre... I think a, I started... Pre, pre Supply Drop. I, pre I Supply start, Drop is what I was thinking. I started playing just after Supply Drop. 
I started playing before Supply Drop, but Supply Drop came pretty quickly after that, after I started, so. Oh, also, it just occurred to me, if you use the gun, oh, you didn't use the cheat mechanism, nice. I didn't. Um, if you use the gun that can kill the past as Paradox without a past to go to, you might get that glitch effect. What glitch effect? So, the color glitch that we've been oh, right, yeah, lamenting. Yeah. You know that thing that's yeah, annoying yeah. and happens. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I so it might be, it might be worth uh, once you beat the dragon, just killing yourself, or returning <laughs> to breach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. So we shouldn't shoot the gun. Oh, this, I see this what looks you mean, like yeah. a good gun. Seems decent. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed that I didn't accidentally, I accidentally forgot to cheat. I would have preferred to have cheated. Yeah, I know you would have, but I'm proud of you for resisting Forgetting. the temptation. Forgetting. I would have done it if I remembered. Resisting the temptation! How are we going to explain to your parole officer if you don't play along with me? Oh, what other long-form stuff have we yet to do? Watch TV show. <laughs> Okay, but I I wanna I wanna like there's so many games that I think would be fun to like. I really want to do city, commentary. I really want to do City Skylines. I think that'd be really chill and quite a lot of fun. And we could create something. That would stupid. be a lot of fun. Yeah, but like we need to finish Half Life. Did we wind up doing Portal Two or? We not? didn't do Portal Two. We finished Portal One. We never got around to doing Portal Two. Right. Yeah. I still need to make a thumbnail for Portal. I I was curious. I couldn't remember if you had or not. I made a thumbnail. I made the thumbnail for Half Life. I haven't made the thumbnail for Portal. Yeah, we, so, for those of you that don't know, we recorded all, like the entire game of Portal One, like a year ago at this point, and I still haven't uploaded it. Yeah, you have the second channel. I'll, I might try and uh, if I have got the energy after we're done here, I'll make a thumbnail for Portal, and then you can upload it. Uh, but we we gotta like get back onto doing long form stuff. Yeah, that I've, isn't dungeon. I've definitely got a bit more freed up time now um, as well, because while work is busy at the minute, once we once the business dies down, we did hire someone that has taken away a good amount of the stuff that I sh was was doing that shouldn't have been really doing. So that should free up some of my time. Yeah. Basically, I, I was doing time all with the you and playing games. Yeah, it's like... fun. And also, like, like I've said, I've said this numerous it... times before as well. For, for anyone watching, I've said this numerous times before. A lot of the long form stuff we record, I record it simply because we're both YouTubers. I don't. I would be happy we're to just play. It. Yeah, well, exactly, yeah. But I'd simply be happy to just play them and not record them because the games I have, I haven't experienced or think it'd be fun to experience. Or it's been a while. But at the same time, I'm just like, well, I might as well record them. Um, yeah, me and me and Luke, we call and do stupid shit like on our own time. Yeah. As well, we don't record everything we do. We just record like when it's a game that would be good for uh, YouTube on the second channel or first channel if he has the balls. Uh, we just record it because why not? It's it's happening anyway. So. Yeah, I haven't uploaded any of the me and Never Name stuff to the second channel yet. But kind of the point of the second Why? channel. I just haven't got around to it. I'm going to re-upload all of the um, Half-Life stuff when I get the energy. Um, what do we mean get the energy? It's like some basic file management. Exactly. Bomber jacket. What does that do again? Through. Bomber jacket uh, it triggers an explosion at your position. It's kind of like Kamikaze if Kamikaze didn't hurt you. Desk fan. Weird reload sound. And Why is it made of wood? Pushes enemies away and does slight damage. Don't know why the desk fan's made of wood, but okay. Meant to be rusted, but I didn't know how to do a rust texture at the time. I need to. That's another sprite I need to redo. Because it, it, you will admit it does look just look like it's made of wood, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I think chocolate more than wood, but yeah, you have a point. <laughs> that, I also see that, yeah. Thing with uh, bomber jacket, it's not very good, but it can destroy bullets and oh, kill nearby you enemies. Bastard. Oh, I was so focused on waiting to use Bomber Jacket again that I just got hit. <laughs> oh, hello, again. <laughs> this, the same gun again. Hell, equilibrium broke. Set, set, uh, please fix. 
right, down we go. Down we go. Like we gotta, we gotta do Portal Two. Yeah. Then I'll do the rest I'm, of Half Life. We gotta do the rest of Half Life. We gotta do Portal Two, and then I'm gonna bully you to play Portal Stories Mel. Oh yeah, you reached that before. That sounds good. Because Mel is is a very good game. Uh. Then there's, uh, oh god, I should make you play Mystery Combat Man. Fuck. Mystery, Mystery Combat Man is, is a blight on society. Mystery Combat Man is a Half-Life 2 mod that was just made by somebody who wanted to make the most unplayable mod ever. <laughs> Amazing. There's this weird, like, thing in the Half-Life, like, the Source Engine modding community where people just try and make the most broken-looking shit they can. Like, the most <laughs> bizarre, unplayable nonsense. Cape of the Resourceful Rat. What do you reckon that does? Yeah, uh, steal the soul? I don't know. It's a fursuit. Because I, I have a feeling it's going to be like seven. It kind of cost me seventy-eight casings to stop him stealing ammo or something. But it already does. Mm. Nice. I I don't want you to like. I don't want to bully you into playing too many like niche uh source engine mods but portal stories mel is definitely up there i've heard of like, it a lot yeah i've heard a lot about it at this because like there's that thing of you don't want to make someone play like for youtube you don't want to make someone play a source engine mod uh that's not like hey. well known like a, a neat mod because then no one will watch it but at the same time there's the chance that because it's such a niche mod like it, not mel obviously but a hypothetical mod like, yeah. there's a chance that there's something that is such a niche mod that it gets more views, it gets views because of people are well, looking for anyone playing it. The, the good thing about the second channel stuff is, yes, it will get Doesn't significantly matter. less views than it would on the main channel, but also, I don't have to at all worry, because unfortunately, the reason that I want to upload this to the second channel is because YouTube does this very annoying thing where if you have consecutive videos or multiple videos that perform poorly, even if the, even if you have other videos, like my Isaac series, that's still performing well, if you have multiple videos that are performing poorly, it just stops promoting your channel as much. And so by uploading stuff like that, that generally ju does just get less views on my main channel, it is hurting yeah, my normal series. Yeah, and it's series. all your fucking fault, you viewer bitches, for exactly. not watching more of the videos. You need to watch everything and like and subscribe and go back in time to favorite and rate five stars back when that was still a mechanic. Yeah, exactly. He's right. How dare any of you not watch every single thing I upload. To be fair, if there's anyone out there that watches every single thing I upload, I I feel for you. You you must have even, some issues. I don't even think I don't even think you watch everything you upload given how you play. <laughs> nah. Most times I'm half asleep. If I make a, a large amount of content, it'd be surprising to me if there's anyone out there that watches literally everything I upload. There's a few people yeah. that I think might. There's, there's a few people in the comment section that I see in the comment section of almost every video. Oh, something for this video, actually. When you upload it, you should uh, timestamp uh, the different character runs. Good idea. So, yeah. like, in the description, so that it shows up as chapters in the video. Good idea. And we people can this? skip... It's an active, Go for it. Why not? Of it. active. Yeah, active. Go for it. Now we have two different types of clothing as actives. On use, choose uh, one of the three rat's attacks to execute. Turns out the rat um, wore capes before it was cool. Interesting. Okay. Ah, so you, you trigger a resourceful rat attack. Nice. Um... So yeah, like... Oh, I was going to say something. Okay, thought. that was weird. It used the attack and instantly disappeared. Did you use it as you were walking into the room? I, I looked away for a second. Maybe I did, yeah. I might have, have used it too soon. 
Because when when bosses like activate, they delete all bullets on screen. It must have been that. You're right. Oh, it spawns a bunch of the doggies. Mouses, but okay. Oh. I didn't see that beady there. Just get the shit out of me. I was gonna say something and it completely skipped my mind. I'm dying on the inside. Free bargain. Nice. God, I hate it when that happens, when you were gonna talk about something. And it's just gone. Oh yeah, you should chapter the video. Yep. Um, so that people who don't want to watch the whole six hours in one sitting uh, can, can know remember where they were, where, yeah. where each run starts and ends. So if they just want to watch, like, okay, I watched the marine segment today, the pilot segment uh, tomorrow, so oh, on and also, so forth. Also as well, if you say to a modder, Hey, on the runner's robot, this broke, or they got this cool item of yours. They can skip around and find it. Yeah, so don't forget to do that. If you I forget, won't. I'm going to follow you until you end. If I forget, immediately like, mention once you see it and let me know, and I'll fix it. Because it's really easy yeah, that, to add chapters. That really does annoy me when, when like, YouTubers say, I'll put this in the description and, and you check, and do. it's just not there. It's like, we'll put a link to... Uh, this in the description. Oh, oh, I looked up a tutorial. I'll leave a link to the tutorial in the description. There's no link. Yeah. Because, like, I guess, okay, it happened 20 minutes into a, a like, 40 minute video. I, I guess you could miss that. Like, come on. Dude. The, pro the problem whenever I do that is normally that I have such a large backlog that by the time it comes around to forget to, to actually uploading the video, I forget which video I even said that in. And and I don't watch through the entire 40 minutes of content before I upload it. I basically, I click on the video, I skip around to find good thumbnail-worthy uh, items. If they trigger a memory of the run, then I go, oh, that's a good thumbnail one. The thumbnail and I for this sure... run is just going to be all the playable characters. Yeah, and I, I make sure all the audio is working, and that's basically it. That's all I do. Also, I, oh, something that I annoys me editing, so much on YouTube. Something that annoys me so much on YouTube is when people are like, the comment like, oh, no audio? It's like, oh my god, you're just watching the video too early, it hasn't processed yet. Refresh it. Every time. It's not my fault. It's your fault. <laughs> um, excuse me, but the video is only processing in 140... The video is yeah. only playing in 144p? Yeah, I, I get think that all you the time. Something up there, mate. I it's think, I think you made a mistake and you need to fix it there, chumo. What's, what's little munchy? Portable muncher. Decent, but not super useful for me right now. Would have been very good on that last one. Why? Because it's cool content that you very don't really like. No, see. but la last time that I went there, I died. I don't want to die. Exactly. Live this time. I'm not going to do it on this run. I'll do it in the future. Oh god, this looks horrendous. I'm just not going to bother. Why? This. Because I'll this die. Whole... I know that I'll die. But this whole, this whole run, this whole like recording is about experiencing and showing off as much modded content. As yeah, but not it modded content that I've been known to, to avoid it. I've, I've literally died on that thing both times that I visited it and still don't really understand how to complete it, so I'm not gonna bother this time around. I'll get to it, but not now. You complete it you complete it by not touching the thing that kills you. Yeah, but he went through walls and he killed me last time. Uh, I really need to give this gun a special effect, because it's it's satisfying to use, but it, it needs it's I like, it feel like, like a spark or something. Have... When it hits things. Well, I... Or it needs to be able to like push into the walls and something. I don't know. That was my idea, actually. The idea was that it would be able to um, push enemies towards walls and pin them there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's like, what I was you, just thinking. You like jam rebar through the fucking chest. Um, uh, but. I was trying to figure out how to do that in a way that wasn't glitchy as shit, and I just couldn't figure out how to do that, so... I, um... I elected to not do it until I could figure that one out. Because it's satisfying enough on its own. What the heck? It's, uh... It's meant to be, like, in... It's, it's meant to be... What the fuck are those machines called? The monitoring ones. 
heartbeat monitors. Yeah. But uh, Beam doesn't really look like a heartbeat monitor. It's, it's, it, I kind of get the idea, but yeah, it's just a little bit off, isn't it? By the way, I it's like the fact that like I have a rebar launcher cool. and a constructor. I have a very construction-heavy setup. And I have a bomber jacket as well. I don't know why, but that kind of fits. Bob the Builder. Yeah. Bomb the Builder. Bomb the Builder. My, uh, my girlfriend, when she was uh, going, like she was driving to somewhere for work, it was quite a, quite a long journey, and they were putting different music on, and they accidentally found a Bob the Builder rap album that was released by the actual voice actor that played, uh, well, yeah, voice actor that played Bob the Builder. Like, is that like the Peppa Pig rap album? Kind of, yeah. It was just like a bunch of rap about different Pop the Builder characters and stuff. It was kind of strange. Build the motherfucking house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to hear Bob the Builder just completely lose his mind and say a lot of racial slurs. I think that would be very funny. <laughs> what Pop the Builder's known for, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, he looks like it. He looks like he would. He does. He really does. He's a working man. He he shouts slurs at women from his white van. Seems like the type. I mean, he's a builder. Catcalling is like part of the exactly, profession. Exactly, yeah. Oh, I, I shouldn't say that. My dad's a builder and he doesn't do that shit. But... <laughs> Not uh, that it's you funny know to, of. It's, it's, it's funny to make fun of builders, uh, unless I know them. Ah, poor guy. I picked the wrong one. Do we have any water-based weapons? We don't. How about the fans just blow it out? This is terrible. Oh, and it blew up on me, goddammit. Blow on the fuse. That definitely won't accelerate the... Uh... <laughs> we'll put out the fire by adding more oxygen to the reaction. That's exactly how you do it. Oxygen makes everything better. Ah, ah, ah. Well, that's close. This pointer there's not like a, an effect for those guys spawning in. Oh damn it, I fired that the wrong way. God damn, my constructor has done no good this time around. It spawned a table. Where's my turrets? There you go. We got him. Okay, it did spawn one to it towards the end there. Nice. Did we get this creature there? Oh, no, we didn't. We've got this gun again. This gun again. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of, like, a time-based RNG seed. With, yeah, you know, this, it's, 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 it's the same on Isaac. It's like, it, it could be confirmation bias, but I don't know. I'm, I'm hesitant to make like, bold statements about probability because the thing with probability is that you could always just be getting lucky or unlucky yeah but yeah. it seems like it shouldn't be possible it seems like it's forming a pattern sort of thing even though it's not but i i i, like, I still think over the amount of hours i've had in isaac especially vanilla isaac without mods i really do think there is a time-based rng to when you get certain items or when you have luck on getting certain items because i have had it where i've played for like three hours in a row and got an an item like on multiple runs within that session that I haven't seen in weeks and that has happened many times yeah it's just like recently I was testing like I, I had to test the curses in once we're into the breach because I was absolutely certain they were broken because they were triggering way too often I had one curse right yeah and I got a floor curse for five floors in a row oh my god and I was convinced that I had fucked up the code somewhere, but I didn't think that would be possible. I checked and double checked, and I was—I had just gotten absolutely monumentally unlucky. Yeah, it All can the just code happen, was can't. correct. It can just happen. Yes, it was a six percent chance uh, per floor, and I just gotten that five floors in a row. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Which is why I'm hesitant to make bold statements about probability, saying there's no way this could be possible uh, because it's just so unlikely. Because like that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. It it's only once be... it, it only once it gets to the legitimate extremes that you can be like, th this is definitely like improbable that this would happen. L like with the dream I mean, situation, like, like that sort I of mean, thing. Like even even like one in a billion 
like situations even one in a million situations happen every day yeah, yeah, yeah like one in a billion situations probably happen every year or so like that's just like I it's think unlikely it's, it's something, but it's you something need more like, proof than it just being unlikely i'm gonna say it's something like a moment is classed as something like seven seconds so a one in a million moment yeah happens like once a day <laughs> I'm of the mindset that probability isn't proof, but probability is reason enough for suspicion. Yeah. Like, it doesn't it doesn't prove anything on its own. You can't prove anything with probability alone, but probability is good enough reason to look into something. Oh, this room was actually made by the pointy one. Oh yeah, mushroom room. Yeah, I um, I said that Pointy and their partner could make a room each, and I put them in a mod, and they did. And this was the result. This is the one that Pointy made, and it's by far the most fair one of the two. <laughs> um, there's no mushrooms enemies in here, though. I'm a bit disappointed. Yeah, it was a room for the hollow, so Pointy felt that it wouldn't be appropriate, I guess, to put mushrooms in here. But it would be cool. It's a good room, though. Like yeah, it's generally, yeah, it, it is. It's not too difficult, but not too easy. It matches the level, like difficulty of the floor. I like it. I like it. This room has this. This run, sorry, has been nowhere near as wacky as the last. It's a good run, but it's not insane. Yeah. It's on. It's on its riddle end. It's just, it's kind of crazy that, like, we're, we're recording this this uh, this run for, like, episode 100, whatever. But if we were to just do this, like, once a month, I'd basically have all my episodes ready for the entire month. Yeah, but then I'd, I'd feel uh, annoyed because I wouldn't have anything that, to watch that I hadn't already seen. <laughs> That's very true, yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, ne Nevernim tends to just sit out a video every now and again just because he wants to have a Gungeon episode that he can watch without him in it. <laughs> Yeah, I hate myself. Dude, you gotta do it from the inside. You gotta do it from the inside. Do you from the inside? How else? Yeah, how else do you think you're gonna get through the green barrier? You bounce it off the inside of the green barrier to create holes to get the ones in the back. Boom. It all worked out. And we got the fucking Cobalt Hammer. Dog shit gun. Cobalt Hammer's fine it's just not a tier it, it, it literally just comes down to the fact that it has 60 ammo it needs 200 like cobalt hammer is a is a b tier gun. and also it comes down to the fact that it's charge that like charge like ability it's just not worth using ever well we'll use it you know we're doing a lot of stuff we don't normally do on this but it's just this, a waste uh, of ammo use it at least once use it Yes. None of these are combat rooms. I know. Ooh, I'll definitely take that, though. Why'd you walk away? I don't know. You're special. Like, it's good in terms of full room damage, but it well, just so takes up too much ammo. The ammo that it uses and the amount of ammo that you have, it's just not worth. I don't know. I, I don't really hate it as much as I guess you do. It's it's whatever. Ooh, scroll. I love him. Scroll of exact knowledge. I'm, I'm ten off. Yeah, I bet you fucking are. I don't know what that means, but yeah, I bet you are. You you would be ten off, wouldn't you? I would. Typical. Bloody oh. typical. Sitting in the chair is making my back hurt a little bit. My back feels fine. Thank you for asking. It's because I lean forward slightly to speak into my microphone more directly when I record, which is fine for like an hour, but like multiple hours in a row, it definitely starts to ache a little bit. Again, I'm just sitting on the couch. Uh, balls in. Balls in. Yes. I 
Yeah, we can't afford it by two, so let's do the boss first. Ah, priest. Good old priest. What a bunch of bastards. The, the High Priest is uh, is weird to like nail down the reference, because he's a reference to a few different things. Like, there's uh, his boss art is a reference to some obscure enemy from some weird little little game. Uh, I'm probably offending everyone who knows about it, because it's probably some major title that I've just never heard of. <laughs> uh, and he has an attack. I think his attack where he disappears is a reference to Bloodborne. Maybe? I... Uh, Like, he disappearing oh. this one. This one. I believe it's a reference to... There's a boss in Bloodborne that disappears and there's fog everywhere. And it leaps out and does, like, slashes at you. Um, and I think the only reason we know this is a reference is because the name of the attack code in the code is, like, uh, Meru's Wet Nurse ah. Attack. Which is, I think, a reference to the name of that. I think it's actually a misspelled, like, uh, reference to that boss. Like, uh, the boss isn't called Meru's Wet Nose. It's called something similar. Yeah. But it's but they misspelled it. Come on, scroll. Scrolly. Let's go. Scrolly. The walls. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, that would have meant that secret room. That would have meant secret room. I know. Oh my god, I think after this run, before we do the last one, I'm going to get up and get a drink. Yeah, I'll probably stand up and stretch my legs. Yeah. Stretch my balls. Stretch my balls. Uh... Oh god, they got the Rasta Bear out again? The Rasta Bear? Oh god. Oh yeah, my, my family has this, uh, this Rasta Teddy Bear. I don't know where they got it, it's ancient. Uh, and they've got it out of the cupboard again, and I don't know why. Lovely. That doesn't sound scary at all. It's not scary, it's just odd. Oh god. So, my family has this thing about keeping toys. Yeah. Uh, we, we keep, uh, childhood, like, stuff. Uh, Stuff that belonged even to my, my, my parents, and I think some stuff that belonged to my grandparents, we still have. Yeah. So, one of them that I've seen, I don't think it's, I don't think it's like here, but I, I think it was my Aunt Patricia. Yeah, and yes, I have an Aunt Patricia, the most stereotypical aunt name. <laughs> um, uh, she has this homemade teddy bear. And it looks like a demon. Oh, lovely. It has this really fucked up face, and you can tell it's just completely homemade. <laughs> oh, there's also Stitches the Clown. Stitches the Clown was this clown doll that I, uh, I basically inherited from my great-grandmother. And I kept him in the attic. And you might already be wondering how I haven't been murdered by it. <laughs> uh, just based on that description alone. So, I, for a time, it was this uh, cheery looking thing. Yellow clothes, hearts for cheeks. Um, but for a time I lost him. And I find him in behind some furniture up in the attic. Torn to pieces. Oh god, the rats get to him or something? I don't know, because we don't have rats in the house, and we, well, at least we've never found rats. I gotta say, you don't know, but in an attic, it's very easy to have rats and not know about it. Well, I say we've not had rats, we haven't found rat shit, which means yeah. we probably don't have rats in the attic. Because when you have rats, you, the, that's the, the indication. The telltale sign, yeah. So I don't know if it was just accidentally moving furniture over him, or, I don't know, demons, but like... Um, yeah, he'd been torn to pieces, so I, I hand-stitched him back together. 
Ah, <laughs> nice. I don't... I can't, though. I know how stitching works on a basic, like, understanding level. Yeah. And with that knowledge, I clumsily stitched him back together and dubbed him Stitches the Clown. <laughs> nice. He, he was, like, missing one of his, like, legs. Uh, and he had, like, scars all over his body. He looks oh, God. horrifying. <laughs> and then one day he just vanishes. And now he's just gone again. Only I don't know where he is. Only to be found in 10 years, re-ripped apart. I don't know where Stitches is, and uh, it concerns me. Where was he last seen? Up in the attic, sitting on a shelf. Oh, God. What if you have someone living up there? I would be fucking terrified, but it's also entirely possible. There, there's enough space up there that somebody could theoretically live up there without our knowledge. And it, it's an idea that I don't like entertaining because I stay up there sometimes. Oh yeah, you've been up there and record a few times, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't like entertaining that concept, so thanks. Uh, <laughs> the idea that there could be someone living in your house without your knowledge is terrifying, mainly because of the fact that it's not unfounded. Yeah, it's happened many times before. Yeah, like, what was it? The Denver Spider-Man or something to that effect? No, it was the uh, something hermit. No, I, well, there's been multiple cases, so like... Sadly, nothing there's of my taste. Ah, uh, yeah, Theodore Edward Coney's The Denver Spider-Man. Ah was a homeless guy who basically he went he was a homeless guy went to an old friend's house looking for like help because he was really down on his luck found his way inside and realized that instead of asking for help he could just find a place to hide and live in his old friend's house without anyone knowing lovely how long did he end up living there i don't all the exact length of time, but it ended when he murdered the guys. Ah. Nine months, I just looked it up. Nine months. Nine months. Shit, me. He must have had a lot of parts of the house they never visited. Uh, no, actually. The guy spent most of his time cramped into a compartment barely big enough for an adult man. Like, crammed oh, inside. Uh, he was out, he would come out when the, uh, when the people of the house left to go about their, you know, lives, yeah. you know, to go to work and social stuff, and he would steal food, refrigerator, uh, and such, but he was caught when one of them came home unexpectedly, and he ended up beating the man to death with his own cane because he, uh, didn't... He didn't know how else to react to the fact of being caught pilfering from this guy's kitchen. Can help. Uh, and when the police came to investigate, the guy had just hidden back up in his compartment in the roof, hoping that no one would find him. I was just going to leave the body there, was he? Yeah. And just so, basically course, people... make, make the wife or whoever think it was just a random home invasion or something. Yeah, he was hoping that he could just hide up there. But the police did search the house, and they almost didn't search the compartment he was hiding in because they didn't think it was big enough for anyone to be hiding inside. Canal. You've got to imagine the shock at the, at the yeah. first person who opened that like tiny cramped compartment, fully not expecting anyone to be in there, just to see a guy staring back out at you. That would have been fucking terrifying. Yeah, definitely. Someone that was probably covered in a bit of blood as well, if it was that same day. Oh, I don't imagine he showered much. Yeah, exactly. Uh, a reason he was called the Denver Spider-Man wasn't a reference to the comic, by the way. Uh, the Spider-Man comic hadn't been released yet. So that he was just nicknamed the Denver Spider-Man in the papers because he lived in the like in yeah. small compartments inside the house. 
literally named him after the way spiders hide in people's houses. God damn. Utterly terrifying. Yeah. Fucking is. The best right, part, so I know that there are several compartments in that attic that a person could theoretically <laughs> oh, fit into. And you wonder why your clown went. Yeah, no, no, you can't go to the past. Can't go to the past. Can't no, go to the past. No, I know. I'm just gonna exit back to breach. I'm not gonna use the gun. Don't worry. Oh right. I'm just gonna exit right, into here, so then the run's finished, right? And then return to breach. Ah, ah, right. Of course, I see. Oh my god. Absolve you of sin. Right. I will be a few minutes. Keep the people entertained. Oh wait, no, you're leaving the recording on? No, no I'll don't pause do it. that. I'll, I'll pause it, it's fine. <laughs> Dickhead. Right, one minute, let's wait until we're loaded back in here. Yeah, there's this one compartment that just contained like spare rebar up there that when I was a kid I realized I could crawl into and it was very claustrophobic, very uncomfortable. But I wouldn't be surprised if a live adult man could fit in there. Yeah. Good hell. Right. Let us go and get a drink. Be right back, people. We are back. We are back for the final stretch. It is time for the Gunslinger. And I'm definitely going to add some new stuff to start with him, because it'll be fun. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, sure, why not? You know, three keys could really go well about now. <laughs> Yay, we got one thing that probably doesn't have a synergy. No, it doesn't, because you didn't get the synergy icon. See, this is what I mean when I need to go through and you give stuff that doesn't have synergies. Synergies. Was this one, was this thing called the protein? Protein. We were just talking about protein. Yeah. I had a protein bar in the middle of the pause that we just had. To give me energy. Never name didn't know that protein gave you energy. Let's go. The final stretch. Uh, protein uh, is a word that just means erratic and chaotic, basically. Yeah, I actually remember us talking about this last time that I got the gun, because I was, I was like, what the hell does that mean? I don't know nothing. Nevernim knows a lot of stuff that's mostly useless, but sometimes useful. Like your fonts thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wooden bolts. Oh, th this is one of the reskins. Oh, it looks very. It's nice. one of my oldest items. It's, it's, it's one of my oldest items. It's just like five percent to most stats. But like, uh, it used to just have a really shitty. Right. It was literally just plus one bullets. Uh, text removed. Uh, recolored brown. I'm now absolutely so. Good. Yeah, in the recent update, I went back and I, because I've been doing this thing where I choose the sprites in my mod that I think are the absolute worst. Yeah. And I redo them. And it was definitely one of the worst. Don't uh, no, yeah, no, yeah. don't I use know, that. I know. Yeah. Unfortunately, that gun is I currently actually, broken. I... The update is being worked on as we speak, though, so it should be fixed soon. Yeah, I actually mentioned, I mentioned to Dalsum, the creator of that gun, that we were doing the marathon thing, and he said, don't take no farts. Yeah. So, uh, I don't think he'll be too mad. What was she saying? Uh, saying about what? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember either. About use, having useless information and re respriting your old Something ones, that. That, your old textures. Oh stuff. yeah. Uh, yeah, wooden bullets was definitely among the worst sprites uh, I had. I remember this being pretty good. So I'm, I'm glad it's now in a place where it looks like a good item, even if it's not. Yes. Good, good, good. Yeah, damaging non-boss enemies has a chance to inst insta kill them and explode them into blood. Like, it's silly how the brain works, but the sprite of an item, the way it looks, is almost as important as what it does. Hmm, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I think... I think it's hugely, hugely important. Um, because, I, I mean... I, I'm... I've definitely said on multiple occasions for both Gungeon and Isaac that I can be a bit of a snob about mods. Um, a bit of a purist in, in terms of the fact that I really, really like it when a mod replicates the themes and, and style of the actual game that the mod is for. I'm not a big fan of mods that go out of their way to change the how they sprite things or the sort of general styling of what the game is trying to do. It's why it fucking annoys the shit out of me when I try to... What the fuck? Um, hey, we got this room! It wouldn't be a true showcase of modded without this shit show showing oh up at God. least once. This is just a room I made. Uh, it's really quite... It's quite rare. Oh, you just don't get synergies these days, man. Well, I like, I'm a character that only gets synergies with guns. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I'm bullying. Um, but yeah, like I just wanted to make a really stupid. Sh I was trying to say sh shitty and stupid at the same time. Uh, a really stupidly common, uh, uncommon chest room that was ridiculously large. Turns out at that scale the floor just breaks and stops rendering after a bit <laughs> so only the floor only exists in the middle of the room i'm guessing bottle rocket only has the one synergy i can't see anything else changed yeah i think so it missed <laughs> Man, someone really has to port Realms of Ruin at some point. Realms of Ruin? Yeah, the uh, the Risk of Rain items pack. Oh, that right, yeah. Well, isn't this the Hippo gun? It is Hippo, but it's got no synergies. <laughs> so sad. But yeah, I gotta say, as I was saying, like, I can be quite a snob about, about guns, and it's why I don't like the fact that you try and find a single Darkest Dungeon mod that isn't fucking anime. Oh my god, why do people that like anime have to fucking destroy everything? Ah, hate it. Stop making games that are really cool thematically into weeb shit. God damn it. <laughs> Frustrates the fuck out of me. Anyways. Um, yeah, so oftentimes in Isaac or, um, or to be Gungeon, fair, half of those, uh, half of those anime mods are probably just viruses. Probably. But, um, in Gungeon, um, and Isaac, I really prefer mods that have good sprite work. And I know that it's not always easy to have really good sprite work, but one of the things I like a lot about your mod in general is that your mods, your, your, your items and guns look very, very similar to the vanilla items and guns, they fit in very, very well. Um, both normally in We've their usage. We've shown multiple examples in this uh, in this run to prove that that's not always the case. That's not always the case, but for the most part, it is. Um, and some mods are pretty close to the mark, other mods are uh, are a little further like, away. Um, Skeletar's stuff is generally really close to vanilla, like. Uh, especially his more recent stuff, as oh, the yeah, quality's the, improved, the more it's come out a lot more. Yeah. But like this gun, this gun, it could do with being a bit more animated. But at the same time, it doesn't look non-vanilla. No, no. It looks like a vanilla weapon. Um, I'd say the one that's actually furthest away, in my opinion, is Planet Side, but not in a bad way. His sprites are actually better than most vanilla ones, and it makes them stand out. But that's not a bad thing, because their sprites are really good. Mi Mr. Planet Sides mod? Mr. Planet Sides. Also, yeah, Equilibrium is making items from the reference collection shop uh, really, really often. Yeah. I've seen quite a few of those boys. This is what I was afraid of! It's a worthy sacrifice to not just see your items only. Your items are good, but it's not fair. <laughs> you're so, you're so, you're such a bully. I say after bullying you for like six hours straight at this point. <laughs> Probably much. like seven if you count the head start I had before we pressed record. Yeah, that's true. And all the things that you said about me while I was gone. Yeah, yeah, all those things. You just carried on berating me to yourself. 
Oh, yeah. Was gone. Yeah, I'm sort of losing it. You've, you've drained my sanity so much that I, I berate you when you're not even there. <laughs> Ooh, this is a new one. Or relatively new. No synergies. <laughs> no, because the gun itself was hard enough to make. Cash Blast is decent as a room clearer, but I wouldn't use it on a boss. Honestly, this guy goes down pretty fast to just using regular old standard pistol. What's it doing? Uh, it's healing them. I think it's healing them. Healing what? I couldn't even okay, find who was, who was healing. I don't know what it was doing. It, there was just green sparks and I was scared, okay? <laughs> I felt afraid. Yeah, so try Cash Blaster in a normal room. Yeah. Does it give me more money when I kill things? I don't think so. Micro enhancement? Hmm. I could it? do with one of those. Oh lord. Yeah, sure, why not? Active. Boosts the attack damage of companions significantly for a short period of time. Useful. Gives the user a slight boost in damage as well. It also gives me a slight oh. boost in damage, so... Okay, decent enough. Not right now. It's not very useful right now, but later on it could be good. Ooh, nice. It's good with this, uh... Thing as this well. is one of those guns where I'm really just glad with how it turned out visually. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. Like I had to figure out, I, I'm for the gun I made. I made a gun called Laundry Material Rifle, which is just a, a dryer that shoots clothes. Um, <laughs> but for that, I had to figure out how to make guns leave debris on the ground, which is something that uh, no one had actually done. Uh, for some reason. I guess because oh, really? it was overly complicated to figure out how it was done. But once I did that, I, I realized I could apply the same idea to a uh, cash gun. You know, those, like, awful flexing yeah. things. So I just added a simple slowdown component, uh, uh, some vari variant components, and uh, made it so that they leave cash when they eventually die. I like it. Brown Guanstone orbits faster the more D tier items you have. Nice. That's another one that could do with a, a slight respray. Yeah, it doesn't need definitely. a huge respray. It just needs a, a color change because it, it just, doesn't hue shift enough. Yeah, yeah. It's just a bit bit too block color, isn't it? I, I've spent. Graphic I, I've shot. explained. I've explained the uh, nature and reasons behind hue shifting to Luke like three times now. Yeah. Because oh, I care so much about... Oh, I like oh, that. Oh, I love that. I love that. I'm going to need to have to steal yeah. that see how it works. Love That's this. really cool. I'm going to steal your code. Who made this? This is uh, Ski, I think. Oh my god, Ski, you are such a sexy man. How do you keep making these guns? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. We've gotten so much stuff from Ski this run, and honestly, worth it. It's amazing. Yeah, there's some really impressive stuff. All, all of his guns so far this run, it, oh, this run, this uh, recording session have been great. Me and Ski share the same first name. Oh dear. I I, know that's that. just a, a, an interesting thing that we, keep, we like to keep bringing up, because uh, it, it's concerned us at first, and I think we've just both embraced it. <laughs> like, uh, we share custody of the name. Uh, it's not a super I, uh, he common gets name, the name on so. weekends. It's not super common, but it's also not super uncommon. See, I know quite a few people with my name. My name's fairly common. Yeah. Luke. It's from the Bible. <laughs> Why is my active not charging? Huh. That's odd. Maybe it needs a certain... Maybe, maybe like you can't charge it while it's... I don't fucking know. I'm trying here. I, I don't have a reason why. Um, but yeah, the uh, etymology of Travis is that it comes from Travers, uh, which is French. Uh, the name originally came from uh, toll collectors. People who would 
charge travelers to pass through an area. Oh, so okay. uh, that name, you know, Travers, Traverse, Travers, Travis. Interesting to see, like, to hear how names are formed. Mine's just like it's from Bible, isn't it? Yeah, like, ah, oh, I'm still disgusted that my name is French. <laughs> Yours is like, ah, oh, my name is Abrahamic. And I'm like, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> it's boring, but I don't really like, care. My dad's... I, I've looked into the um, etymology of my immediate family's names. My uh, my brother's name is uh, has its origins in Greek. My father's name also has its origins in French. My grandmother's name... Uh, has its origins in uh, ancient Rome. My mother's name, I think, has its origins in fucking Gaelic or something. Celtic? Something like that. Uh, and it's, it's... You wouldn't know to hear any of them, obviously, because they've, yeah. they've all changed so much over time. Uh, they're all very, very common. Uh, not very common, but n normal English uh, uh, first names. By the way, I just realized something with this. You can charge it up for as long as you want, and it keeps taking ammo until it reaches a certain maximum, and then it fires a ton. Yeah, That's I really figured cool. that was the point. That's really, really cool. This is genuinely one of the coolest guns we've gotten on this session. Yeah, I thought I had a four-shot maximum, but turns out it doesn't. The only thing I dislike about it, and it's a very nitpicky thing, is that walls can destroy your shots, but it still takes ammo. That feels like an appropriate downside. I should probably also charge it while I'm walking through a doorway is all. Yeah, but at the same time, charging stuff between rooms can be kind of OP. I mean, it's not too hard to make it not collide with walls, so if, if Ski wants to do that, I can show him how. Or he can just look at most of my code. Like, I use that component a lot. But, like, if, if he wants to make it not collide with walls, it, it's entirely possible, but he doesn't might, have to. I it's say, not it, bad. It might be that he did it, did it on purpose. Who knows? Yeah, Ski's, Ski probably knows how to do that. Whatever. That sounded so condescending, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yeah, he's, prob he's probably smart enough to figure it out. I mean, I saw him feed himself the other day, so <laughs> he can probably do it. If you, if you get the, uh, the bullet modifier called Trickshot that adds plus five bounces, this thing would be wacky. Musket. Musket rifle. What is energy? Uh, that What's makes it cheap do? smoke at the same time. Cheap smoke. It, it's not that powerful. It's not that powerful of a synergy because one smoke projectile on its own isn't that strong. But it's more just for this, uh, like the symbolism of. The thing. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's cool. The smoke projectile. Yeah, that's cool the smoke. as well. You want to use them more. Yeah. Exactly. Also, this thing's busted with hip holster. <laughs> hip holster? Um, the the black hole hip holster thing. Yeah, what holster. might that be called? Yes, yes. Took you a second there, didn't it? Man, Apache, can you make sure the mushrooms don't spawn right in the doorways, please? Because that's like the third time this 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 session that I've just walked directly into a mushroom upon entering a room. <laughs> Okay, but third time after, like, you visit know, the mines not, eight times, it's, that, not like, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't have to be fixed, but it'd be nice if it was. Die to the smoky fool. It lasts a while. Smoke doesn't do, like, much knockback or much damage on its own, but if you build up a cloud, it can be quite strong. That's kind of the idea behind it. Like there's a gun that I'm really proud of, uh, the smoker, the smoker yeah. that this that that projectile was made for, and yeah, it just it looks so good when there's a lot of it in one place. I'm Even so when proud there's just one cloud of it, it looks really cool. I feel like the, it's the best way I could have made a smoke projectile. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's like making something as hazy and immaterial as smoke into a projectile was always going to be a tricky task. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I want to use that, like, effect in some more stuff. Like, I can recolor it to get poison gas. Yeah. Yeah, you can do a lot with it. I, I considered at one point an enemy that shoots enemy smoke that uh, doesn't deal damage but blinds you when you stand in it. Mmm, that'd be cool. Like, like that. Like, you get the uh, the darkness effect when you stand in yeah. smoke and it's immediately removed when you step back out of the smoke. I'd like that, that'd be cool. As long as it's You'd not like too it until intrusive. You fight it. No, as long as it's not too intrusive, I think that works well. As long as it's not like literal blinds you. Yeah, like a temporary thing for as long as you're in the smoke. Expand also has very few items, so you get expand items a lot. Yeah. That might be where you, that, that thing, uh, the thing that you, the thing that you think? Thing yeah, you that think? thing. Yeah. What thing? I'm glad that we came to a conclusion on that one. Um, man, I could just, I have to give thanks to Sparpy as well, because he taught me how to make the bullets translucent. What the fuck is this? This fires a lot of shots at lower damage. Is the wielder oh, a chance. through bullets? So it's like scatter shot, but on a chance based thing. But I'm guessing because this gun only has one ammo per mag, it has higher chance. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a lot cooler than scatter shot. I like that. Are, are they bouncing? Or is only one of them bouncing? I'm not sure. Fire at the wall just to see. They bounce, they bounce. They all bounce, yeah. It's just a bit difficult to see when they're all moving so fast. Yes! Only one of them synergized, but that's weird. That's a noise. That's a noise right Welch. there. Also. Randomly influx of cash. Ooh, how about this thing? Hmm. It's a bit hard to tell, really. Oh, there you go. It did it then. Oh, dear. Trying to see how it works with different guns. There you go. It did it with that one then. It seems that the uh, the multi-shot cluster shots don't, like, stick around very long. Like, they can't last as long as the originals do. They just kind of, kind yeah. of fade quickly. Which is why it looked like it wasn't bouncing. Yeah. That's a cool item though. At first I thought, isn't that just scatter shot? But actually seeing it in action, it's, it's significantly different to scatter shot. Yeah. You have entered the squelch zone, <laughs> wet and wild, splash zone. Mind the gap. It's time to get squelchy. See, the thing with seeing such cool modded items is a double-edged sword, because they're awesome, and I love the fact that they exist, but at the same time, I'm like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> and I guess for a lot of people, it's the it's the reverse with me, because I've made so many different, like, things that a lot of the time when someone thinks of something, I've already made something yeah. similar. But, like, at the same time, it means that when I don't haven't made something, I feel like I've failed because there's an expectation that I've made everything, and I almost <laughs> hold myself to that expectation unconsciously. Uh, but by the way, I think this um, this character uh, gun reveals that it revels in the pain it brings. It enjoys most when it can break both the body and the heart. Chance to charm, um, permanent two damage buff after killing a charmed enemy. Ooh, interesting. Um, this this is really showcasing just how few guns have synergies in modded Gungeon. We have so yeah, yeah. many guns that have no synergies, which is looks like I'm most, not the only one who's. It's mostly like I'm not the only one who fight. needs to go back and uh, back and do a second pass on things. Yeah, it's mostly in in part because obviously knife to a gunfight just doesn't have any synergies, but uh, there is other guns as well that we're getting. Does it not? I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen one yet. I might be wrong in that, but I haven't seen any knife to a gunfight synergies thus far that, that I can remember. There, there might be a, ta a time where I've had one previous in previous episodes, but I can't remember off the top of my head and ever having a synergy with any knife to a gunfight weapon. Huh. Maybe that's something that uh, Ski should look into. 
Because, like, I don't know. Sinage is a cool. I could help him come up with ideas if he wants, or if he's not patronized by that suggestion. If he is patronized by that suggestion, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I have this bad habit of uh, saying yes when people ask me for help. You're getting yourself into trouble. No, just getting myself into more projects and stuff. Like, somebody... Uh, I was invited to a development server for a Binding of Isaac mod. Uh, uh God yeah. mode. Oh, God mode, ooh. Yeah, another one. Well, isn't God mode, like, and, uh, real rough? <laughs> oh, you, you glitched out a bit there for I said me, it, what were you I saying? I said, isn't God mode, like, really rough? Last time I saw it, at least. Yes. God mode is rough, and it's changed hands a few times, and the current uh, director of God Mode invited me to do some concept art and design, but, like, I said yes, because, like, okay, I could, I could, you know, do stuff if they provide me with the right materials, but they haven't, like, explained what they want, so I'm, I'm sort of, I haven't done anything yet for it, because I'm not sure what they want. Mm. They're just like, and and you can do design and uh, for these for the floors, and I'm like, okay, so what are the floors? Oh, and they just list the names, and I'm like, okay, could you explain the themes, the color palettes, the idea <laughs> behind them, like what sort of stuff you want? Yeah, it's and difficult, it like, that, isn't it? Uh, the wine cellar has wine, so like wine and fruit. I, f I and feel drug. like I feel like unfortunately. A solid 50%, maybe more, of these big, sweeping Isaac mods just have very little actual direction in what they want to do. Like, I, I just yeah. recently joined uh, um, another mod, uh, a similar thing, where that, they said, oh, you're good with mod ideas, you want to join. And I'm interested in it so far. Um, I, I'm by no means slighting this mod team. But just in general, I've joined a few in the past where they just have very little direction as to what they actually want to create. They just want to create a big mod. And that's usually why they lose steam. Yeah, like... I like where this, this gun has I'm a sound okay. when I get damage ups. I'm okay with... Like... With helping out. I enjoy it. I really enjoy an opportunity to design stuff. Without having to code it myself. And... This is basically Greed's Eye, uh, has a chance to, for bullets to consume a casing to deal, uh, increased damage. Nice, okay. And if you hit with that bullet, you get the casing refunded. Nice. So you, so you only actually lose if you miss the bullet. Yeah. I like that. Hey, carry on. But, uh, and I'm, I'm okay with helping out, even on projects that are kind of lacking direction. But if they have no, if they don't have enough direction to even tell me what, like, what I'm supposed to do, I can't tell. Like, there's yeah, nothing yeah. I can do. If you don't tell me the themes of each floor, I can't make something that fits into those themes. And you don't want to make it up yourself, because you don't want to be responsible for making that direction and then them not liking it. Oh well, yeah, and I also, I, I agreed that I would design enemies, I didn't agree that I'd design a floor. Yeah. It's very difficult. Like, I had yeah, to, yeah, you're right. I had to ask them to even tell me where the floors come in the progression hierarchy of the game to know how difficult things should be. Oh shit, yeah, like, that's, that, that's got to influence your design. They didn't even tell me that. So like, I, I just feel like I don't have the information I need to even help out. Definitely, yeah. That's busted. That could be good, yeah. Thermometer, that's coolness equals damage or coolness equals fire rate, I don't remember. I think it's fire rate. Um, let's go with a sniper. And then let's go with a watcher. I'm really liking the sniper. Honestly, skis, just anything ski is done is just masterful. It's so good. 
Yeah, the only, literally the only complaint is the lack of synergies. Yeah. Oh god, I just realized, if you fire a bullet that gets gilded by gilded bullets, and it gets duplicated, if they hit you, you get multiple casings back for spending <laughs> one. Yes. I can make money with this, like that look. Yeah. Yeah, so I just made a bunch of money off of that. Square Peg's another one that could use synergies. Oh, my leg got numb. Don't worry, we only have one more floor and the, uh, the bullet hell. And bullet hell. The bullet hell. So we have two more floors. Thingy. Yeah, to do. I always feel you we have, have two more floors. Yeah. But yeah, I'm liking the How long has it been since you fought the glitch? How long has it been since you fought the glitch lich? Literally the last time I unlocked Gunslinger. I've never done it past that point. Which was, I think, about four days after um, <laughs> Expand the. Uh, what is what's it called? The last DLC, whatever it's called. There. I can't remember what it's You'll called. You'll get there. Um, there are there nice. we go. Um, so it's literally about four days after that came out. It's probably the last time I ever did this. Oh, God. And you say you play these games. <laughs> That's the thing that I find so strange is that you get settled into habits that mean you just don't see a lot of the game's content for ages. Mm -hmm. You get settled into the habit of not doing it. Yep. Like, like the rat, you get settled into the habit of not going to the rat, and then you just never see him. You get settled into the habit of not doing the past, so you just never see the pasts. You get settled into the habit of not playing this or that character on Isaac, so you just never experience them. When there is, uh, like, depth and complexity there that could make for an interesting video. Or at least an interesting video ending sort of thing. Yeah. I gotta say, I think with, with Gungeon especially, I just need people to, to like, tell me what they want to see more. Because <laughs> at the minute, I'm just, I just kind of get on with the runs I get on with and people seem to enjoy them. And if people seem to enjoy them, there's not much point mixing it up. But if people want me to mix things up, let me know and I'll mix things up. Like, there's ups and downs. Is this vlog going to load? I mean, it's, it's lagging, isn't it? it the, the bullet so, kin is lagging, so things are looking decent, but it, this is taking yeah. quite a lot longer than it has done in the past. It's probably that fucking diamond room. Yeah, there's issues with that diamond room, isn't there? Okay, there you go. My stats have loaded. Yeah. Once hey, your Tatum. stats are loaded, that means the floor has actually... Yeah. Curse of Sludge. Tatum has just come to say hello. She's sticking her head in my and all up in my business. She's yes. right next to the microphone. She wants a kiss. <laughs> oh, she just yawned. I can't wait to get. Her. I love her. I love her. She is best dog. Now Ooh. she is my footrest. Tatum, no foot, good footrest. Ooh. Sit still, dog. Good footrest, sit still. Oh, my feet are cold. Do you want, do you want to hear something really cringe that I did? Go on. Um, when I was back home for Christmas on uh, Boxing Day, we always have like a party and have a bunch of people over. And our next door neighbors a few doors down. They usually are the ones that end up staying latest. So at that point, I was very, very drunk. And we were talking about like cats versus dogs. And obviously I'm a cat person. Um, and um, we got into like a bit of a heated debate and it just basically ended, bear, bear in mind the person, the, my, the, the next door neighbour is very, very much a dog person and they earn a, earn a dog and everything. And I just ended up betting out, dogs are shit, <laughs> like to this person's face. That's very rude of you. And I like, oh god, just thinking back on it makes me cringe. I was like, oh, why did I say yeah. that? I don't even think so that. Like, uh, I was just like so like in the heat of the argument. It wasn't even like an aggressive argument. We were just we were just arguing a lot, and just oh, in yeah. the heat of it, I'm just like, dogs are shit. Even though I don't actually believe that at all. <laughs> and I had to it's proper uh, backpedal, and oh god, it was cringy. So it's currently five thirty in the morning. 
keep in mind we started at uh started at like 9 t 10 p.m 10 give or take for yeah. me uh which means because it's 5 30 in the morning my father has just woken up he's like why are you still awake uh, he's well. I, I have to record in the in the living room to prevent waking anyone up when yeah. it's late at night. He's just put the jug on, so I don't think he really is very considerate about the, uh, the, the recording. Yeah, the jug, the kettle. Uh, Fine. If you want to be, if you want to be specific. I've, I've never had anyone. Oh, good. The he's wearing pants. Jug. Thank God, he's wearing pants. <laughs> that is good, at least. Also, the jug is just what we call it. I've never heard it referred to as the jug. Does that before. black chest look small to you? I don't think so. It actually, it kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it's just the size of the room. I don't think it's room. real. I don't think it's real. Could you interact with it? It is it's real. Oh. What the hell's going on there? Fucking poison curse bullshit. The clown's gonna go get him. <laughs> uh, we're, yeah, getting it's, it's, we're getting there. Uh, we're almost done. Almost free from this torment. I can go and never speak to you again. Yay. Oh god, I just got hit by a headache saying that. I think the, the world is punishing me for being so mean to you. You just got hit by a headache, is there? Yeah. Like, just all my of a head... sudden. Yeah, all of a sudden my head is really hurting. What the fuck? Normally they come on over time, broken. right? I think I'm just broken. I think you're just sleep deprived. I'd say I feel pretty good, considering that I've only been awake for like since... Since 7, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 5. It's been like 10 or so hours, give or take, so not like, not like a short amount of time. I'm definitely a bit tired, but it's like it's the end of the day. Yeah. So like, I'm not overly fatigued, actually, because I, uh, I, I specifically slept enough. Got him. What's going on here? Chem grenade. Chem grenade. Off world of medicine. Oh, chem grenade actually. Chem grenade actually gives poison immunity. Poison immunity. Mm, might be good, but like past this floor, it's not great. And we got this guy. I thought he you only sells to go to stuff. bullet hell. Oh no, this is a different guy. Yeah, I have to go. Wait, no. I, do I go to bullet this hell or do I use the second time the... you've made that mistake? I don't go to bullet hell, do I? I use you the gun. Use the bullet. Yeah, 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 I've already but got the But it takes bullet. you to bullet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just to make sure. Right. I don't need to buy anything else, I don't think. I think we're it good. absolutely flabbergasts me how you constantly get that guy confused with Rusty just I because do. they're both brown. I know. <laughs> that sounds like I'm really racist in real life, but yeah. It really does, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe you should think about this a bit more in your own time for some serious self reflection. Kind of messed up, dude. I know. You're making too much money. The reason why I suggested chem grenade is because you have an explosive gun. Oh wait, does it make poison when you explode things? Yeah, that's what it does. Ah, I thought you just chem meant grenade... to give poison immunity. Oh. Chem grenade leaves uh, poison pools whenever an explosion goes off. Okay, maybe I will buy it then. I have lost a lot of money so far though. We're at 93 and we're now at 62. I, I wonder how much of that money I'm going to get back. And he's dead. I think overall I lost I the money. It's a C tier item, so I don't think it's too expensive. Yeah, I lost money overall there. 
but money for damage. We got it, we got it. And now money doesn't matter. Right. Remember, don't go to bullet hell, use the gun. Yes, 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 yes. I don't even know if the bullet hell portal opens as Gunslinger. It might just be closed. I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it is still there. I've heard someone saying that a while ago, and I guess I just didn't know enough about it to call bullshit. Yeah. I can't believe how on the money we were about how long this video was going to be. I mean, it's, it's gonna eight like, characters. It's going to be like almost exactly six hours when we finish this off. Like maybe a little yeah, bit just, further. We're just guessing. Like uh, For all we know, it could have taken four to eight hours. Like, I, I only said six because the lowest time submitted onto speedrun.com for the eight-character record was four hours and five minutes. And I'm like, well, we're not going to be as fast as that. Let's add, like, two hours onto that to be safe. Now, we could have done it in three if we really tried. Uh, I reckon the fastest I could probably do it is, is in probably four hours. Three seems a bit quick. Now, we could do it in two. We could do it in two. Right, let's go. I'm really glad they don't keep the bullet speed. And they catch a sniper shot, yeah. that'd be impossible. Good. And loop one. No, oh, I love those parts. They're really cool, but goddamn, the visual clutter scared me. Also, uh, minimap has been broken, so I guess it is the shooting the gun that breaks it. But uh, you're gonna beat the floor soon, anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're on the last character, so we don't need to really worry too much. I think I'm doing the right hey, way thus far. Hey, quiet in the cheap seats. Dad's moaning in ecstasy as he eats his crumpets. <laughs> were you were you there when he went to bed? Uh, yes. Actually, I'm the one who ushered him out of the room <laughs> and said, uh, bedtime. I need so, space. Yes. So I've spoiled his weekend by making him go to bed too early. It was 10 p.m. He needed his he needed his beauty sleep. <laughs> really enjoying this gun. Yeah, it's really working well with that uh, cluster shot though. Yeah, and uh, just the fact that it increases damage the more charmed enemies you kill. We've gotten it to a point where even without the cluster shot, it's doing really good damage. I'm noticing how sometimes it just doesn't fire a shot, though. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Ooh. Uh, luck? Yes. It's a... Uh, see? Explosion. Poison. Poison. Lovely. The colors are so off on this guy because of that glitch. Yeah. It's probably a custom character thing. I don't have a custom character in uh, modern stuff. Well, something to do with Alexandria's character API, yeah. I'd wager. Some some sort of hook that's meant to load custom pasts is activating every time the gun fires and messing up the uh, shaders. Must be, yeah. Uh, improves dodge rolling abilities. Oh, fuck no. Get that out of my hands right now. Out of your fans? Out of my fans. So, now that we're coming to the end of this run. So perfectly then, but I still got hit by some bullshit. God damn it. What was you going to say? Coming to the end of our stint, huh? That we are. 
What are you going to do on the outside? Ah, oh, well, I'm going to have a small break, and then I'm going to probably do some more recording, because BD1P asked me to record yesterday, so... <laughs> you just really... No rest for the wicked, huh? Well, I, he, he, me and him have been talking about recording for fucking ages at this point. Like, weeks. And every time he asks me, I'm like, nope, I'm busy. Or every time I ask him, he's like, nope, I'm busy. And he asked me, like, yesterday, and I'm like, well, I'm kind of busy tomorrow, but I technically do have free time after, like, 6pm, so... Oh, what are you doing? Recording. I, I, did, oh, I told him, I was like, I was like, we're gonna be recording most of the morning, so... But luckily for him, that's fine, because obviously he's in America, so it's time zones work out if I do it later. Unfortunately for him, he's American. Unfortunate for him indeed. I'm probably gonna go play some Call of Duty with my friend Luke after this if he's actually got his desk set up. Oh, why do you, why do you people make friends? Why are you coalescing? I know. So he's been very inconsiderate actually. He's recently bought a house and he's not had his PlayStation or desk set up for a few weeks now. I've not been able to play Call of Duty with anyone for weeks. Been very upset. Why do the why do the Lukes have to join forces? Don't know. We just we just all coalesce into one one conglomerate Luke. I love that little room. Baby room. Yeah, it's uh, it's cool. it's a room that can appear on every floor that I made as like a test thing, but decided to leave in the pool anyways. Because I thought it was, uh, I thought it was cut charming. Uh, it's just called the meatball. <laughs> the meatball. Why is that one yellow? Gold, gilded. Bullets. Oh, the gilded, gilded smirk. I see. I thought it was mustard gas. Not yet, it isn't. But maybe one day. I really want to introduce other chemical warfare and unethical things into the game. Sounds like a fun idea. It really does, doesn't it? I love causing people suffering. That's why we get along so well. <laughs> get along. You torture me. I mean, that is a way of getting along. Getting along poorly, I guess. <laughs> nah, I torture you just as much by berating you about your mods. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Although, I am actually outstanding at how fucking stable this has been. <laughs> like, uninstalling yeah, like... character mod is something I might just leave off for a bit, because it is just running so much better without it. Um, unless you want to play a custom character. Yeah, unless I want to specifically try a custom character. Because uh, it is running a lot better without it, and... Um, yeah, also, not going to the um, alt floors is helping, I think. I think that causes issues here and there. But I do want to go to those more often, so I'm hoping the issues with them can just be sorted oh, oh. out eventually. Listen, yeah. custom, the, the soundtrack for this is different. Is it? Yeah, it's custom backing music. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Why do some of these oh, fucking shots gonna... go yeah. wavy? What the hell's going on? You're gonna kill him before he even, uh... I watch these grenades sometimes. What the hell, what the hell's going on with that grenade? Oh, here's the... Okay, one of them's dead. But the, the real one's dead, the fake one's still alive. Got him. I love that version of the boss theme. It's yeah, another it's really one of the cool. songs that just isn't on the OST at all. Right, there you go. I can't believe the only death I had was on Bullets Pass. I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, you... For some reason you were able to curb the skill issue. I was. I think and it's because I was actually like... I, I just knew that I'd be playing it for a while today, so... I had to focus on... But... We yes, end this off, trust. okay, okay, we're at five minutes, uh, five minutes, five hours and 58 seconds, for, uh, five hours, 58 minutes and, and 44 that's seconds. That's time, that's time no, no. for the speed run. We, we've got to, we've got to cut the video exactly six hours if I can. That's, that's time for the speed run. We've got like a minute when we've got to cut the episode exactly six hours because that'd be really satisfying. Uh, uh.
It's not going to be exactly six hours. It's going to be like 5.59 or 6.01 or 6.02. It's but not going to be exactly six hours. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. So let's let's say our goodbyes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I, hope, I really <laughs> sincerely hope that you don't drown. Same. But yeah, I hope all, all of you guys enjoyed that. That was, that was quite intense but honestly i didn't really feel like six hours at all i really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun no, it felt, i've been it felt like a five and a half i've been waiting to do this <laughs> been waiting to do this for a long time this sort of thing and this was just a really good excuse so yeah i'm thankful for never for joining me for it it was a lot of fun and yeah i hope you guys I'm enjoyed you finally, i hope, uh, I hope any of you that made it once. to the end of this video still have your sanity in check because that is genuinely a worry of mine people are going to watch this over like six days Probably, so. yeah. There's no, no one's going to watch this in one sitting unless they're crazy. But we have 10 seconds left, so let's do this. One, two, uh, three. Patrick four, McGinty, five, an Irishman six, of note, fell in for seven, a fortune. He eight, bought himself a goat. Nine, said he five, should have 